ये इलेक्शन छीनना चाहते हैं तो ये भी तो पुतिन के रास्ते पर ही चल रहे हैं फिर ये डिक्टेटरशिप है From behind bars, Arvind Kejriwal managed to bring together bickering opposition leaders who condemned the arrest in one voice, calling it the murder of democracy. In a rare show of solidarity, leaders from across opposition parties went knocking on the doors of the election commission against what they called the deliberate targeting of leaders. In the 75th year, the first time, a Padasin Mukhya Mantri was arrested at night at night. We had a question that 11 other people हाल के रीसेंट उदाहरण पुराने उदाहरण तो सैकड़ों हैं वो 11 के 11 एनसीपी से लेकर टीएमसी से लेकर कांग्रेस से लेकर विपक्ष के हर पार्टी पे है जहां पर एजेंसी का दुरुपयोग हुआ है गिरफ्तारी हुई है लेकिन एक भी उदाहरण नहीं है सत्तारूढ़ पार्टी का Less than a month to go for the Lok Sabha polls, an unprecedented constitutional crisis in Delhi, with the capital's chief minister under arrest. Anticipating the arrest, however, Kejriwal had handed over almost all the key ministries to party firebrand Atishi and trusted aide Saurabh Bharadwaj, who are now in charge of running New Delhi. एक ऐसा केस जिसमें दो साल में एक रुपए की रिकवरी नहीं हुई है उसमें आपने एक सिटिंग चीफ मिनिस्टर को बिना किसी सबूत के गिरफ्तार कर लिया है वो भी चुनाव की घोषणा के बाद आप ये बताइए कि अभी राउज एवेन्यू कोर्ट में दिल्ली हाई कोर्ट में इन समन्स की लीगैलिटी की जांच चल रही थी क्या ये समन्स कानूनी है कि गैर कानूनी दिन रिएक्शन टू दिस अरेस्ट ऑफ अरविंद केजरीवाल इज इज एब्सोल्युटली मिस्टिफाइंग एंड इज एक्सट्रीमली आयरोनिक बिकॉज़ अ पर्सन हु वाज गिवन अ नोटिस बाय द एनफोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट व्हिच इज अ लॉ एनफोर्समेंट एजेंसी फोर टाइम्स एंड चूजेस टू इग्नोर इट एंड डिस्पाइट द कोर्ट गोइंग टू कोर्ट एंड द कोर्ट नॉट अपहोल्डिंग his plea that he be uh, let out of this investigation even then four times arvind kejriwal has ignored the ed notice to appear for the investigating this alcohol bribery corruption scam and now to act as if it is some sort of a shock and surprise for a man who started his journey in politics with a crusade against corruption Kejriwal's arrest is the biggest dent to his party's Kattar Imandar image on which the Aam Aadmi Party was founded over 10 years ago at the iconic Ramleela Maidan. With Arvind Kejriwal in custody, the Chief Minister's residence has been turned into a fortress. Arvind Kejriwal, remember, has managed to defeat the BJP in Delhi more than once and conquer two states in just a matter of few years. Well, while the charges against him are serious, the fact that one of the BJP's strongest political rivals has been arrested days before polls raises serious questions. In New Delhi with camera person Prem Singh, Vedant for NDTV. All right, sir, let's just quickly go across to uh, Vedant Agarwal, who you just saw there. Breaking news coming in. Arvind Kejriwal has been sent to custody. Vedant, what are the details? That's right, Vishnu. Arvind Kejriwal has been sent to a seven-day custody. Uh, any moment now, Arvind Kejriwal's uh, uh, Arvind Kejriwal would be taken out uh, uh, from the Rouse Avenue Court to the Enforcement Directorate headquarters. It's about four uh, kilometers from this uh, place, and he has been sent to a seven-day custody. Remember, the Enforcement Directorate had asked for a ten-day custody, but usually in matters uh, pertaining to the Money Laundering Act, uh, the court prefers a seven-day custody because remember, the Enforcement Directorate had made arguments uh, about how they want to confront. him with evidence with witnesses with statements from witnesses and approvers in this particular case uh, which is why they need a 10 day custody but the court deciding on a 7 day custody uh, this is uh, of course a senior police official leaving the enforcement directorate headquarters and uh, uh, leaving the rouse avenue court and now arvin kejriwal's uh, uh, motorcade will also uh, you know leave uh, the rouse avenue court in just a short while from now uh, mr abhishek manu singhvi had made compelling arguments about how this is unconstitutional and how uh, just having a the power to arrest does not mean that uh, the agencies go out to arrest each and every opposition leader but for now the big breaking is that arvind kejriwal has been sent to a seven day custody he will now be taken to the enforcement directorate headquarters from the rouse avenue court it's now preeti sharma menon of uh, the aam aadmi party nikhil mehra joins us amitabh tiwari uh, ajoy kumar of the congress and shazia ilmi of the bjp preeti the allegation 
uh, made by the Enforcement Directorate is that Arvind Kejriwal was directly involved in the implementation of the policy. He is the kingmaker uh, in this entire uh, alleged scam uh, and that um, there was a certain amount of money which the Aadmi Party received which illegally went towards other functions such as funding your Goa campaign. How would you respond? I think that it is very clear to the nation today that the ED is an arm of the BJP and 95% of its cases are against opposition leaders. And the moment those opposition leaders decide to join the BJP, the ED closes the cases, as we've seen in Maharashtra in the case of Chagan Bujbal, we've seen it in the case of Ajit Pawar, they lose the files, they close the case. So if Arvind Kejriwal were to join the BGP tomorrow, obviously this case would be closed. There has not been a rupee found in the so-called liquor conspiracy. So this entire scam is entirely designed to somehow bring down the Amadi party, which is the fastest growing party in India today, the third largest party. And it is shocking that when the model code of conduct has been announced at such a time, they go after the leader of India's third largest party. It is shocking that a sitting chief minister has been arrested and the PMLA laws have been changed to, uh, be, uh, to suit the convenience of the BJP and keep opposition leaders in jail for an infinite period of time till such time as like, you know, some Mr. Bagel or Mr. Ajit Pawar or Mr. Narayan. All right, but to the, the specific BJP. question, in fact, Preeti, you're just making one point that there is no uh, evidence which has been found. But in fact, the ED has said, and I quote, we've examined the money trail. The money in Goa came through four routes. These allegations are also corroborated by one of the Ahmadmi Party's candidates. This person was paid in cash. Everything that the BJP, uh, that the ED has claimed is only statements made by approvers. And we've seen the approvers. The moment somebody is accused and then they donate large amounts of money to the BJP through electoral bonds, they are then immediately released and they become approvers. So every the whole, whole case of ED rests on such approvers okay. who have had some kind of quid pro quo relationship with the BJP. All right, that's an allegation. Let me get a re reaction from Shazia in me. There is no other proof. The, not Shazia, would approval. you like to in respond to that? Brigade. People turning approver on the pressure of the BJP is the allegation. Please go ahead. Yeah, Vishnu, that's all you get to hear, like a rehearsed uh, speech, like a stuck record. There are no answers whatsoever when specifics are asked for, which is exactly what ED is saying and, and proving. Whether it's money trail or the forensic evidence or the destruction of evidence or the phone call between Samir Mahindru uh, through Vijay Nair to Arvind Kejriwal, to the meeting of K. Kavita and the South Group, to being given nine zones out of 31 zones, to the entire confabulation and uh, uh, formulation of the policy, which was later, which was later tweaked and then retracted, and not just that, for the profiteering that was done, where the wholesale profit was was increased to 12 percent and 185 percent, to the loss to the exchequer because of the increased sale and consumption of liquor and despite that a huge revenue there was loss. no loss to the exchequer oh, at no all answer of that indo spirits vijay nayar samir Bahindru, uh, amit arora uh sharad reddy no answers whatsoever bjp 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 uh narayan rane suvindu adhikari this is one rehearsed speech when it comes to the actual corruption in the party and it's rotten to the core rotten to the core that is what this lady here represents. These people are so corrupt. And the fact of the matter is it was born out of an anti-corruption movement. It's a matter of shame that earlier we protested and we went all over against corruption. And now this party and its people are going for and corruption. And now Shazia Ilmi has embraced Ajit Pawar. Menin, would you like to respond before I go to my other party. panelists? Just briefly for respond. Yes. Yes, please. Shazia, yes, half a second, yeah. Uh, Shazia Ilmi has, Shazia Ilmi has, uh, Shazia Ilmi and her party have embraced every person that they have so far called corrupt. And I'm telling you, tomorrow, if we say we want to join the BJP like Shazia did, they will immediately accept them. They will accept anybody who's ready I to join the BJP that. as long as you are ready to puppet what they say, as long as you are ready to be corrupt with them. Let's come to the, let's come down to the liquor scam. She made a false accusation over here that there was a lot to the exchequer. Okay, one sec, Shazia, one sec, Shazia, let us speak. increased revenues when the excise policy was enforced. Don't delay the topic. Don't delay the topic. All right, both of you, just one second, both of you, let me go across my other panelists. I can't hear either of you.
Let me just go across uh, to Nikhil Mehra. Nikhil, that is one of the points. Specialty. Okay, okay, hang on. Both of you, they were fighting, so I can't hear. Let me go I'm across to Nikhil fight. Mehra. No, I'm not no, but you I'm are interrupting. Uh, Shazia, hold on one second. Let me, I'll come back to both of you. Let there be some peace in the interim period. Uh, Nikhil, uh, let me come across to you. One of the points which has been uh, made uh, in the defense of Arvind Kejriwal is, and this is what Abhishek Singh we said in quote, that there is a pattern, there is a witness who doesn't name Arvind Kejriwal uh, in earlier questioning in, in, in the initial statement or the second statement. That person is then uh, arrested, his bail is uh, opposed vehemently and that person ends up being an approver uh, and ends up giving what Singhvi called a brilliant statement. Is this a fact? Uh, whether it's a fact or not, I wouldn't know. I haven't examined exactly how uh, what the remand order is none of us have. Uh, but I, I think what Mr. Singhvi was adhering to is that the evidence of an approver is generally regarded as weak evidence. But, but you have to balance this with something else, which is that when you look at a conspiracy, a conspiracy is generally proved by approvers, that is by members of that particular conspiracy. There are only a limited number of people who will be in the know of, of all elements of a conspiracy. And so therefore, that kind of information does come from within. But this is an ED case, and in an ED case, you eventually have to establish uh, a trail of funds. And so perhaps that is the thing that will emerge more tomorrow. Because let, let's remember one thing. The Supreme Court had denied Manish Sisodia bail, right? Uh, but at that point in time, the the existence of the 100 crores going back to uh, the Amadi party for their Goa election, that was still under investigation. One of the primary reasons why it was allowed, or why his bail was denied, what are the 338 crores that was deemed to be the excess profit made by private liquor sellers, wholesalers, was deemed to be pro uh, proceeds of crime. And that there were various conspiracies that were hatched in terms of a 65% market share for just two retailers with a 20% market share for another 14 to 15 retailers. This was a substantial deviation in policy and suggested, therefore, that there would be a substantial kickback. So I think if they are going after Arvind Kejriwal now, it is perhaps in his status as the head of the Aam Aadmi Party. Uh, and, and the kingpin status that they are alluding to will be both as chief minister within the government and also his status within the party. Okay. Which means that they must have produced more evidence in relation to the 100 crores of, uh, in relation to the Goa election. Um, Ajay Kumar, uh, every political party, not least of all Cong the Congress, at some stage or the other, fights on an anti-corruption plank. Uh, now, the Aam Aadmi Party is, a, you know, a party which uh, you, uh, you know, you're working fairly closely with. Certainly, in the Delhi context, you're looking at uh, unity within the uh, the the, uh, the India bloc, as it were. But the allegations are fairly strong. Uh, the allegation is that the total proceeds of the alleged crime according to the ED, exceeds 600 crores. That's 100 crores apparently paid to the Southern Group, which includes K. Kavita, who was arrested last week, the TRS leader. Given the gravity of these charges, how do you actually say that, uh, you know, I mean, these are trumped up? Because there are lots of specifics which the ED has said. And so, therefore, how do you keep supporting and endorsing the Aam Aadmi Party in this situation? So, Vishnu, the same question would be to you also, that how do you keep not doing a TV show on the electoral bonds? I did I did three shows on the electoral bonds. Three of them, my friend. Like Shazia, you're interrupting me like Shazia, so let me come. <laughs> the fact is, Vedanta, there was a raid. There is an electoral bond. Grassing, there is a raid. So, the joke, I mean, I'm hearing all the panelists. If you want to have an honest thing, raid happens, money given to BJP. Utkal, Grassim, Hetro, 18,000 crores. So Mr. Modi will be the first person if, when this government goes down, who is the kingpin of the corruption. ED does raid and gets money. So if you're having the same barometers, which are saying that there is a kingpin and money was extorted, then what was the enforcement director doing at, apart from enforced? Uh, no, Shazeti, let me complete, madam. I'm saying if you have this high moral state of saying that there is a money trail, there is a direct money trail for the Bhartiya Janta Party and the raid with Utkal Cement and Grass Cement, Hetro, companies which sold expired drugs, Glenmark, were raided, no raid anymore, money given. Okay, and the important question, Vishnu, as a most enlightened anchor, what happened to Glenmark after selling spurious medicine? Was there any action? There was a donation, no action. Remdesivir manufacturers, 
who who looted the people of India. There was a raid. ED raided. Uh, drug enforcement raided. After that, no. Action. No, no. But are you suggesting that no action in a previous case should mean that there shouldn't be action no, over here? I'm suggesting. I'm suggesting. Shazia, half a second. Shazia, hold on. I'll come to you next. Shazia came from the Congress party. Shazia, I'll come to you next. Last, get, let him let him have one or two more sentences. Throwing and throwing Ajay marks and under the bus. No, Shazia, we can't do it. Like we can't have this sort of a fight. Hold on one sec. I promise I'll come to you next. Go ahead. Just finish your point, Ajay. Shazia was a very well-mannered person before she joined the Bharatiya Janata Party. The question again. That that's a pot shot. That's unfair, and she's still very well mannered. <laughs> now okay. carry on, Ajay. Okay. I mean, it's a different Shazia I'm speaking to of late. But anyway, I think no personal thing. My question is very simple. The country has to know that I agree with what Preeti said. Is where is the recovery? I heard one of my colleagues before this saying that there is must be money. You tell me, sir. Three convictions in uh, the ED cases in the past ten years. Three convictions out of five thousand seven hundred cases. The problem is you are becoming Putin's Russia, and all opposition leaders will become Alexei Navalny, and then they will be able to wheel for this country because this is what you know. I want to ask the ED record on this TV channel. Three convictions, sir, and we are believing that the the devil of ED is preaching the scriptures. No so matter when you come to me, ten years, you 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 contract me on that. All right, one sec, Shazia, go ahead, reply to that. Yes. Ajay, Ajay, you made your point. Let Shazia reply. Yes, go ahead, Shazia. Friend, who is still very well mannered, despite the fact that he's continued to be in the Congress party, um, <laughs> um, says says here and throws his his colleague Ajay Makan under a bus, who was busy standing, sitting next to Rahul Gandhi, talking about electoral bonds. And it is the same Ajay Makan who actually talked about the excise policy first. It is, in fact, Anil Chaudhary of Congress Party who actually brought this to light. And the entire excise policy scam was brought to light by the Congress Party, something they were very, very proud of. So while they will use it in Punjab, they will actually now, I don't know whether Ajay has more interest in Delhi, but the fact of the matter is that it was taken up by the LG on the complaint of a Congress member and not the BJP. So this is just to point out a few facts. You might have missed out on Mr. Bill Mannard, Ajoy Ji. Okay. Secondly, uh, yes. are you talking about Putin and all of that? These are courts. The courts have refused bail to Manish Sotia. The Sessions Court, the High Court, the Supreme Court, and not once but many times. The curative plea was dismissed. So you're saying the courts also come under the BJP? And the same courts have given bail to your leaders, Sonia Gandhi, P. Chidambaram, uh, Rahul Gandhi. And this is the same court and the same ED and the same CBI and the same system has not, uh, the same ecosystem has not given bail to... Uh, okay, Manish I get Sotia. the point you're making. Let me just go across to Amitabh Tiwari. Amitabh, what happens now as far as Arvind Kejriwal is concerned? Uh, is, it, is he now, is it incumbent upon him to step down as chief minister because at some stage would he not have to do that see essentially uh Ahmadni party has categorically stated that he would not uh, step down as chief minister because he continues to be an mla he's not disqualified and not convicted yet legally perhaps tenable but uh, in the spirit of law and, and constitution and as an ethical and moral question perhaps he should he should step down. Now we'll have to see whether the LG intervenes here because the LG and the Ahmadi party do not share a very great rapport. So whether the LG intervenes here, whether the Home Ministry intervenes here because as uh, we have been reading in reports that he ultimately is also a public servant. So we'll have to wait and see how things fold, uh, fold out. Because the battle now is of course in the judiciary where the Ahmadi party despite making some strong points or arguments somehow the courts are either not accepting these arguments or the uh, evidence which is being presented by ed is all right is amitabh i'm just interrupting you now we are getting some reactions coming in on the developments in court uh, with arvind kejriwal spriti irani speaking let's listen in kejriwal ke vakilo ne nahi kiya ek aur tathya bucchi babu ca of miss k kavita 
तेईस फरवरी 2023 उन्होंने स्वयं ये स्टेटमेंट दिया कि विजय नायर जिनको अरविंद केजरीवाल अपना माय बॉय कहकर संबोधित कर चुके थे उन्होंने शराब के इस घोटाले के संदर्भ में ये ऑफर दिया कि कुछ पॉलिसी में ऐसा बदलाव हो सकता है जिससे कि कविता को मुनाफा हो मात्र ये स्टेटमेंट नहीं है कोर्ट में बुच्ची बाबू जो सीए हैं के कविता के उनके व्हाट्सएप मैसेजेस भी उपलब्ध हैं ऐसा कोर्ट के सम्मुख कहा गया तब भी अरविंद केजरीवाल जी के वकीलों ने इस स्टेटमेंट का और स्टेटमेंट से संबद्ध व्हाट्सएप मैसेजेस का खंडन नहीं किया सार्वजनिक रूप से अब दस्तावेज जो उपलब्ध हैं उसमें कोर्ट में जांच एजेंसी ने कहा कि अरविंद केजरीवाल ने घूस मांगी साउथ ग्रुप से उसके संदर्भ में श्री एम एस रेड्डी का बयान पिछले साल का 6 सात 2023 और सात सत्रह सात 2023 स्पष्ट रूप से लिखा था कि अरविंद केजरीवाल ने सेक्रेटेरिएट के अपने ऑफिस में 16 दिसंबर 2021 शाम साढ़े चार बजे मिलने का समय दिया Smriti Irani speaking over there. The Aam Aadmi Party's senior leader Atishi also responding, reacting to all of this. Let's listen in. ED के द्वारा केस करवाए जाते हैं क्यों? क्योंकि इस देश में PMLA एक ऐसा कानून है जिसके तहत बेल मिलना लगभग असंभव है। हमने देखा है कि किस तरह एक के बाद एक, एक के बाद एक विपक्ष के सारे नेताओं पर ईडी के माध्यम से पीएमएलए पर केस करवाए जाते हैं क्यों क्योंकि आज भारतीय जनता पार्टी ईडी के माध्यम से चुनाव को जीतना चाहती है ऑल राइट सो दॉर ऑफ वर्ड कंटिन्यूंग बिटवीन दम आदमी पार्टी एंड बीजेपी अरविंद केजरीवाल दैट्स बिग डिवेलपमेंट इन द लास्ट थर्टी मिनट्स हैज बिन सेंट टू सेवन डेज ऑफ ईडी कास्टडी आई लाइक टू थैंक माई पैनल इज वेरी मच फॉर जॉइनिंग अस वी आउट ऑफ टाइम एट द स्टेज विल टेक अ शॉर्ट ब्रेक कम बैक विद वेरी लेटेस्ट A debate has many facets. Perhaps no one right answer. Left, right, and center. Conversations that get to the core of the debate. Friends, it's time now for my favorite section about this episode because हम हमेशा जब Q&A की बात करते हैं, so Ask TG is the thing जो मुझे बहुत पसंद आती है because I get to answer all your questions. So let's see इस हफ्ते हमारे पास में क्या-क्या questions हैं. Hi TG, which is the better phone between OnePlus 12 and Xiaomi 14 in terms of camera and performance? Okay, so you have asked that आपको जानना है which is the better device between OnePlus 12 and and Xiaomi 14 in terms of camera and performance. So let me get this straight. In terms of camera, Xiaomi might jump slightly ahead of the OnePlus 12. Not by a huge margin, but like let's say slightly ahead. But if I were to recommend you an overall good product in terms of camera, performance, software, you know, like everything combined, I would recommend OnePlus 12 over the Xiaomi. Considering 
Xiaomi uh, doesn't have that kind of brand value in that premium segment. OnePlus, you know, has been there for a long time now. Or OnePlus 12 is an amazing smartphone overall. If you combine, especially the clean experience of Oxygen OS, yeah, even the camera is fantastic. Xiaomi 14 थोड़ा थोड़ा आगे निकल जाता है, but overall, I would say OnePlus 12 would be a better pick. I mean, pretty simple. If you have access to your mobile phone number, and if you have access to your mobile phone number, and if you have access to your mobile phone number, and if you have access to your mobile phone number, and if you have access to your mobile phone number, and if you have access to your mobile phone number, and if you have access to your mobile phone number, and if you have access to your mobile phone number, and if you have access to your mobile phone number, and if you have access to your mobile phone number, and if you have access to your mobile phone number, and if you have access to your mobile phone number, and if you have access to your mobile phone number, and if you have access to your mobile phone number, and if you have access to your mobile phone number, and if you have access to your mobile phone number, and if you have access to your mobile phone number, and if you have access to your mobile phone number, and if you have access to your mobile phone number, and if you have access to your mobile phone number, and if you have access to your mobile phone number, and if you have access to your mobile phone number, and if you have access to your mobile phone number, and if you एसएमएस दिख रहे हैं आते हुए दोस एसएमएस कमिंग इनटू योर फोन मे बी यू कैन बोरो समवन्स फोन एंड फैमिली और उसके बाद में आप गूगल पे जब लॉगिन करने जाएंगे इफ यू फॉलो द इंस्ट्रक्शंस इट माइट गाइड यू कि आपके फोन पे एक ओटीपी आने वाला है दैट यू नो सिक्योरिटी कोड ऑफ गूगल एंड इजीली यू कैन रीसेट योर पासवर्ड ऐसा कोई ऐप है जिससे एक फोन से पांच छह स्पीकर्स या योर फोन्स कनेक्ट कर सकते हैं Ah, if you want to connect five to six speakers or earphones, well, I'm not sure what you are up to. If you want to set up a party scene all together, so definitely, you can't do this app. Se to ye kaam nahi kar uh, there are a few phones that support uh, multiple Bluetooth devices, but I have seen that it's limited to only two. कि आप दो ईयरफोन्स या दो स्पीकर्स एक साथ कनेक्ट कर सकते हैं वाया ब्लूटूथ ऑल्टरनेटिवली वॉट यू कैन यूज इज देर आर मल्टीपल स्प्लिटर्स तो इट्स ए हार्डवेयर डिवाइस जो अपने आप फोन में अटैच करते हैं और वहां पे आपको एज एन आउटपुट मल्टीपल 3.5 पॉइंट mm वाले जैक्स मिल जाते हैं सो यू कैन कनेक्ट मल्टीपल वायर्ड स्पीकर और ईयरफोन और समथिंग वो यू कैन ट्राई इफ योर फोन सपोर्ट दैट अदरवाइज सैडली देर इज एंड एन ऐप जिस ऐप की मदद से आप पांच या छह ईयरफोन्स या स्पीकर्स को अपने फोन से कनेक्ट कर पाएंगे बट हाँ दर वन सोल्यूशन इफ यू रियली वॉन्ट दैट कि इफ यू ट्राई गेटिंग स्पीकर फ्रॉम द सेम ब्रांड लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल सोनी और जेबीएल एंड देयर मॉडल्स विच आर कंपेटेबल विद ईच अदर तो आप उन स्पीकर को आपस में कनेक्ट कर सकते हैं दैट इज एन ऑप्शन बट नॉट फ्रॉम द फोन वो स्पीकर्स आपस में कनेक्ट होंगे एंड यू कैन एसेंशियली प्ले द सेम थिंग इन दो स्पीकर्स कुड बी एपल्स होम पॉड कुड बी दो जे बी एल और सोनी स्पीकर्स मार्शल स्पीकर इनफैक्ट तो वो हो जाते हैं सैडली नॉट फ्रॉम द फोन Chief Justice D.Y. Chandrachur, NDTV, big exclusive. We provide justice to common citizens, and there is no case which is too small even for the highest court of the nation. CGI का काम करने का अलग अंदाज. Sometimes I get emails even in the middle of the night, and I'm always available to answer those emails. Twenty-five crore final judgments and orders. This data is available online. As on twenty-nine February two thousand and twenty-four, three point zero nine crore cases have. Arvind Kejriwal has been sent to 7-day Enforcement Directorate custody. The Enforcement Directorate has called Kejriwal a key conspirator in the liquor policy case. The Amami Party says ED is being used to win polls. Karnataka Chief Minister warns of severe drought amid Bengaluru water crisis. CM Sidharamaya's fresh appeal uh, to citizens. He assures voters that uh, he will fulfil the Congress's guarantees. Opposition delegation makes a beeline for the election commission and urges that the centre is trying to suppress their voices. BJP asks, is Kejriwal above the law? DMK launches campaign in Tamil Nadu. Stalin breaks up Union Minister Shobha Karantlaji's Bengaluru blast remarks. Stalin alleges BJP is defaming Tamarians. Fresh setback for the Congress in Himachal Pradesh. Three independent MLAs have resigned and will likely join the BJP. BJP Legislative Party meeting in uh, Himachal has, is taking place.
His last visit before the general elections, the Prime Minister visits Bhutan, where he is honoured with the highest civilian award of the nation, an affirmation of the close ties between both nations. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has been sent to a seven-day enforcement directorate custody. Now, Arvind Kejriwal was produced in the Rouse Avenue court yesterday uh, where the probe agency enforcement directorate requested a 10-day custody. Earlier, Amarmi party ministers Atashi and Saurabh Bharadwaj were detained by the police during the party's protest against uh, Kejriwal's arrest uh, by the enforcement directorate in the Delhi liquor policy case. Now, BJP has demanded that Kejriwal must step down as chief minister. Uh, and uh, this, of course, comes as uh, several of the leaders uh, have been saying, the Amami Party leaders have been saying that Kejriwal will continue his duties from jail. Listen in to these reactions. ED ke dwara case karwai jate hai. Kyun? Kyunki is desh mein PMLA ek aisa kanun hai jiske tehet bail milna lagbhag asambhav hai. Humne dekha hai ke kis tarha एक के बाद एक एक के बाद एक विपक्ष के सारे नेताओं पर ईडी के माध्यम से पीएमएलए पर केस करवाए जाते हैं क्यों क्योंकि आज भारतीय जनता पार्टी ईडी के माध्यम से चुनाव को जीतना चाहती है अब क्या एक सवाल उठता है जो एक टेक्निकल सवाल भी और संवैधानिक सवाल भी है क्या वो अब सरकार जेल से चलेगी हमने तो सुना था सर... जो गुंडा राज चलता था जेल से अब दिल्ली की सरकार क्या जेल से चलेगी नई तरह की राजनीति भारतीय जनता पार्टी मांग करती है अरविंद केजरीवाल की लोगों से और आम आदमी पार्टी से तुरंत के तुरंत आम आदमी पार्टी अरविंद केजरीवाल का इस्तीफा ले now, with the water crisis in Bengaluru, a fresh appeal from Karnataka's chief minister. He warns people of the state that there will be severe drought and that there is already work underway to resolve the severe water problem in several areas. Now, Sidharamaya goes on to add that the voters should keep the faith and assure us that Congress will fulfill its guarantees and that people should help them win the Lok Sabha polls. Now, focusing on World Water Day, we focus on Bengaluru City's water wars. The quest is for sustainable methods to conserve water and recharge groundwater. The key focus, according to experts, is to increase the use of treated water. Some STPs churn out high-quality water, but there are concerns over the quality from the rest. So, what's the essential water management issue that the city is facing? Pratibha Raman has this report for us. On the occasion of World Water Day, Silicon City is setting an example for sustainable methods to meet the shortage of water. Bengaluru's Water Supply Board introduced an innovative program encouraging hotels, apartments and industries to install aerators to reduce water consumption. Whatever the today's consumption will be baseline and after the initiative 30 days, what is the per day consumption as how much it is reduced that will be measured based on the efforts taken by the hotels or any other commercial establishment or industrial establishment or apartment, apartment colony. If bulk users fail to follow the orders of the board, this would invite 50% cut of water supply and 5,000 rupees fine. As Bengaluru tries hard to conserve and help its parched territories, real estate agents are finding it hard to find tenants there as the first demand is Kaveri Pipeline. Undoubtedly, I think uh, anybody would like to move in where there's a pipe water connection and this goes without saying. Water which is coming from a pipe is far more easier than uh, having brought 10 floors or you know getting 10 tankers to fill up your sump tank every day to pump this whole thing. Next is holy celebrations and the city has decided to stick to dry colours to prevent the taps from running dry. When there is scarcity of water, it can spark conflicts. 
However, Bengaluru has fostered peace with its sustainable use. Can you and I help build an environmentally friendly future together? With camera person Kumar Pratibaraman in Bengaluru for NDTV. At least 60 people have been killed after gunmen attacked a packed concert venue on the outskirts of Moscow. More than 100 were wounded at the Caucasus City Hall. According to reports, the Islamic State group has claimed the responsibility for the attack. A dramatic visual show panicked concert goers taking cover as shots have been fired and explosions ring out. A large fire also engulfed the roof of the complex and Russia's National Guard is searching for the gunmen who've been identified. I have my colleague Vishal joining us with more details. Vishal, take us through exactly what happened. We're learning that 60 people have died and uh, uh, hundreds of them injured. That's right, Aarti. As far as the latest reports are concerned, at least 60 people have been killed in this brutal attack. About uh, six odd men uh, wearing camouflaged vests and jackets, they uh, stormed this uh, hall in Moscow. It's on the outskirts of Moscow. So about uh, this uh, hall could uh, occupy at least uh, 6,000 people and we are hearing that there were thousands of people there. They had come there to attend a rock concert. Uh, I have seen footages from the, uh, verified footages from the uh, attack and uh, I have seen that people were, you know, uh, trying to avoid the gunmen. They were uh, tripping over each other, trying to, you know, get away from the gunmen, but the gunmen were relentlessly firing at them. Uh, even children have been wounded in the, in the attack. Uh, uh, Putin is yet to make a statement, Russian president, uh, but uh, Russian authorities have said that he has been informed about the attack. He's making plans uh, uh, as what to do next. Uh, what is interesting to note here is that US had repeatedly warned uh, Russia about these attacks, that uh, an attack is imminent in the last few weeks. Uh, the, the, this is uh, reports, uh, several reports have been saying this. Uh, and also the fact that US had warned its citizens in Moscow to avoid large gatherings. So uh, even though Russia and US uh, have, are, have a frosty relationship, uh, there was steady flow of information about uh, an imminent attack which has ultimately happened. Uh, the identity of the gunman is yet to be revealed, but uh, ISIS uh, on its uh, news uh, platform called Amak has uh, uh, claimed responsibility for the attack. And uh, so this comes at a time when this uh, war has been going on with Ukraine for the last two years, brutal war, but Ukraine has uh, denied any re responsibility for the attack. So it remains to be seen how this unfolds uh, in the day. So we'll right. bring you the details. Right, Vishal, in fact, Putin has just uh, won the elections and uh, clinched his fifth term as president. And uh, at such a time, uh, questions now being raised as to why he didn't take action when there was repeated warning from US-based intelligence. Well, they are yet to make an official statement on that, uh, but uh, US had uh, on its uh, website, uh, on its uh, uh, embassy website, uh, clearly published an information saying that uh, they had asked Americans to avoid large gatherings in Moscow specifically. So uh, it remains to be seen why Russian authorities did not act on that or even if they did, how such a big attack happened uh, right out on the outskirts of Moscow. Uh, it could be that, uh, as I mentioned earlier, US and Russia have a frost relationship. So the uh, information or the intelligence that these countries share, uh, they might not really trust each other. So that could be one of the reasons, but we'll have to wait for confirmation on that. Right. Uh, Vishal, also take us through in terms of the investigation on this particular shooting. Uh, you did say that uh, uh, Islamic group had uh, taken responsibility, uh, but we're also learning that the suspects have been identified. Have all of them been arrested yet? Uh, could you repeat that? Have the suspects been arrested yet? No, that's not the case yet. Uh, about six odd people wearing uh, camouflage jackets. Uh, they were heavily armed. Uh, reports are saying that they had Kalashnikov rifles. It could be AK-47, it could be other Kalashnikov rifles. They stormed that concert hall. They fired indiscriminately, but they have not yet been apprehended as far as the latest reports are concerned. Uh, but ISIS, as I mentioned earlier, has claimed responsibility. But there's also another angle to this, that uh, some reports in Russian media are saying that uh, uh, it does not match with the you know, uh, typical template of an ISIS attack. 
in the sense that the announcement that ISIS has made uh, is not the template that they generally follow. So that's another angle that, angle that we'll have to look at uh, in the next few hours. Right, Prashal. Thank you for joining us and bringing us those details on this development. We'll continue tracking the story as it develops. A Tamil Nadu CM MK Stalin has launched his election campaign from the central town of Tirchi. Stalin will be canvassing for India Bloc candidate and after launching the campaign, Stalin is set to embark on a state tour as well. Uh, at the campaign, at the start of his campaign, in fact, Tamil Nadu CM had launched a scathing attack on the BJP, raking up Union Minister Shobha Karandlaje's remark on Bengaluru blast. Stalin said that the BJP is trying to defame Tamil people. சமஸ்கிருத வளர்ச்சிக்கு நீங்க கொடுத்த நிதி எவ்வளவு தமிழ் வளர்ச்சிக்கு நீங்க கொடுத்த நிதி எவ்வளவு இத கூச்சம் இல்லாம தமிழ்நாட்டுக்கு வந்து சொல்வார் அவர் நீங்கள் வளர்க்கிற வெறுப்பு தீ என்ன பண்ணுதுன்னு தெரியுமா ஒன்றிய பாஜக அமைச்சர் ஒருத்தர் பெங்களூர்ல வெடிச்ச குண்டு தமிழர்கள் வச்ச குண்டுன்னு சொல்றாரு தமிழர்கள் என்ன வன்முறையாளர்களா பயங்கரவாதிகளா நான் கேட்கிறேன் தமிழ்நாட்டு மக்கள் எப்படியெல்லாம் நீங்கள் கொச்சைப்படுத்தி இப்ப பேச ஆரம்பிச்சிருக்கீங்க Now, not just the DMK, but former NDLI, AIDMK has also begun their campaign as uh, this was, of course, after breaking away from their coalition from the BJP. AIDMK, interestingly, has made promises which are similar to that of the DMK. Take a look at this report. The AIADMK fighting Lok Sabha elections after breaking away from the BJP makes promises similar to its political rival DMK and much more. The Dravidian party in the opposition says it would push for merger of GST and CES. A Supreme Court bench in Chennai, scrapping of need for medical admission. The party that helped the BJP enact CAA wants Lankan tribals included for citizenship. <laughs> அந்த கச்சா எண்ணெய் இறக்குமதி செய்யும் போது விலை குறைகின்ற போது குறைக்கிறது இல்ல ஏற்கனவே மத்திய அரசு அவருடைய கண்ட்ரோல் இருந்தது அதே போல எண்ணெய் நிறுவனத்தில் இருந்து மத்திய அரசாங்கமே இதை ஏற்று இதை நடத்த வேண்டும் பெட்ரோல் டீசல் விலை குறைக்கப்பட வேண்டும் அது எங்களுடைய கோரிக்கை அதே போல சமையல் எரிவாயு அந்த விலையும் குறைக்க வேண்டும் போதைப் பொருள் ஒழிப்பு நெகிழி பொருட்கள் நிரந்தர தடை For AIADMK Chief EPS, this is the first election under his singular leadership after he ousted his rival OPS. The party lost two elections in fought in alliance with the Saffron Party after Jai Lalita's death. Uh, your leaders, they don't directly attack the Prime Minister Modi. They do, directly don't attack the policies of BJP. So people of Tamil Nadu still doubt that you are a B team of the BJP. You are there to split votes and ensure victory for the BJP in Tamil Nadu states. The AIADMK is a divided house now with the ouster of Sasikala, Dinakaran and OPS. Even after parting ways with the BJP, Winning the confidence of minorities is a challenge. APS hopes his singular leadership will add strength to reclaim the party's lost political fortunes. In Chennai with Suresh, Sam Daniel, Find the TV. We'll continue tracking these stories for you for now, short break. Hello, Moto. Motorola, India's best 5G smartphone brand.
образ. So friends, it's time now कि मैं आपके सवालों के जवाब दे दूं in this section Ask TG and this is you know one of my personal favorites क्योंकि इतना मजा आता है when we connect when we talk about gadgets technology you know directly one on one तो आज देखते हैं इस एपिसोड में हमारे पास में क्या क्वेश्चंस आए हैं across different domains और मुझे क्या इतनी abilities हैं कि मैं इनके जवाब दे पाता हूँ Hi technical guru ji so my question is how can we monetize Instagram posts Okay, the monetization on Instagram works uh, in two different ways. One is that you enable uh, subscriptions and all that. But I would say the the second method is much more effective, uh, would give you much more returns. And this is when you grow at a certain level and then you do partnerships with different brands. You have seen on YouTube, pe, Instagram, pe, Facebook, pe, all these influencers, they many times collaborate with different brands and se you can monetize your content directly. So, you have to do a little bit of work for that. You need to make sure that your profile is at a certain level. Pe jaye. And uske baad, if you approach brands or if the brands approach you, you can monetize your posts, your stories, your reels, basically whatever content you post. If you are doing this in a partnership with a brand, you can have proper monetization. Oh, well, ab jaake ho sakta hai. You know, in the beginning, when brands just removed the accessories like chargers from the box, तो उस टाइम पे नॉट एवरीवन हैड दीज चार्जर्स और समटाइम्स हम देखते थे कि जो केबल्स हैं वो अलग हैं कहीं पे लाइटनिंग कहीं पे यूएसबी सी कहीं पे माइक्रो यूएसबी ऑन द अदर साइड समटाइम्स यूएसबी सी समटाइम्स यूएसबी ए वगैरह वगैरह बट नाउ विद यूएसबी सी कमिंग इन प्लेस एंड नाउ दैट इट्स बीन टू थ्री ईयर्स जब थोड़ा टाइम हो चुका है काफ़ी ब्रांड्स चार्जर्स रिमूव कर चुके हैं तो अब मुझे लगता है कि हाँ इसका फ़ायदा हो सकता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई टॉक अबाउट माई सेल्फ तो आई हैव दिस चार्जर फ्रॉम वन ऑफ माई ओल्ड लैपटॉप्स और ये आई थिंक तीन या चार साल पुराना चार्जर है एंड इवन टुडे आई यूज द सेम चार्जर टू चार्ज ऑल माई डिवाइस बट नाउ गोइंग फॉरवर्ड जब सबके पास में चार्जर्स हैं तो मुझे लगता है कि इसका फर्क पड़ सकता है Is it okay to install a third-party battery in my MacBook? Mm, to be honest, I won't recommend it. Uh, the, the reason is कि आप अगर एक MacBook की बात करते हैं तो normally the battery should last at least थ्री years minimum नो उसके बाद अगर आप Mac को और लंबा use करना चाह रहे हैं which the Mac is surely capable of, तो उस time पे if you install a third party battery saving a few bucks here and there, तो उस time पे ठीक है आपका काम चल जाएगा but then the experience might not be exactly the same और शायद A fresh setback for the Congress in Himachal Pradesh. Three independent MLAs have resigned and are likely to join the BJP. One of these three leaders have said that they will contest the elections on a BJP ticket. Earlier, six Congress MLAs had also resigned. The independent MLA said that Chief Minister Sukhvinder Singh Sukhu has targeted MLAs and their families and registered false cases against them after they voted in favour of the BJP candidate in the Rajya Sabha elections last month. A BJP Legislative Party in Himachal held a meeting today and development uh, in the Congress uh, have taken place. Uh, this is, of course, uh, uh, this is as Chief Minister Sukh who is being accused, uh, accused the BJP of luring MLAs. You know that as the people of the people of the people of the people भारतीय जनता पार्टी की सरकार अपनाती है और इनकम टैक्स ने उस पर कार्रवाई की है और कार्रवाई करते हुए हमारा जो बैंक अकाउंट है वो सील कर दिया है ये क्या कहीं वो नोटों के दम पर तो नहीं उन्होंने अपने ईमान को गिरवी रख दिया था और दबाव इतना था कि उनको इस्तीफा देना पड़े और आप ही हेलीकॉप्टर में रहे हैं और आप ही सी आर सिक्योरिटी में आ रहे हैं और जा भी हेलीकॉप्टर में रहे हैं तो आप बताइए इतना सारा धन का प्रयोग क्या लोकतंत्र के लिए अच्छा है जो पार्टी ने कार्यक्रम दिए हैं अभियान दिए हैं उनकी यहाँ पर समीक्षा कर रहे हैं जैसे आजकल त्रिदेव सम्मेलन हर विधानसभा क्षेत्र में हो रहे हैं तो कहाँ हुआ कहाँ नहीं हुआ कब होगा इसी तरह 
हमारी पार्टी ने आगे अनुसूचित जाति मोर्चा के सम्मेलन हर मंडल पर करने हैं उसके बारे में यहाँ पर चर्चा हो रही है हमारा जो केंद्र की योजनाओं के लाभार्थी हैं उनसे संपर्क का अभियान चल रहा है उस पर यहाँ पर समीक्षा हुई है और आगे उस अभियान को और प्रभावी ढंग से चलाने का यहाँ पर जो है वो विचार हुआ है a kate middleton britain's princess of wales has said that she is undergoing preventive chemotherapy after tests taken after she had a major abdominal surgery in january revealed that cancer had been present in her body remember she is the wife of the heir to throne prince william the news this news of course comes as a fresh health blow to the british royal family after king charles was also undergoing treatment for cancer now kate spent two weeks in the hospital in january after undergoing what her office said at the time was successful planned surgery for an unspecified but non-cancerous condition however kate said in a video message that subsequent tests had revealed cancer that had been found and she said she was well and getting stronger one of the perks of being a technology journalist is you get to play games in the office right in front of everyone else and it's called testing the system the following is a quick review of one of the newer aurora r16 desktops by alienware by dell so sharad nair at ndtv.com is going to be semi flexing today because while he may have inappropriate feelings for the grand theft auto series sometimes he just far cries 6 This is courtesy the Alienware Aurora R16 desktop. I get that translucency ek hi side se practical sense banati hai more than all that just fine which means me and my vanity would always place the desktop to the right you know so that the oval lighting scheme it is to the left of the machine. So opposite taraf se dekhne pe thoda sa uh, Alienware ness kam sa ho gaya. Aisa nahi hai ki I'm not a fan of minimalism I am but I'm pretty forgiving and accepting when it comes to a lot of other things jaise ki the price it is a good experience. the build the fit the finish the unending list of and lineup of ports yep 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 the brand and uska pura ecosystem premium servicing sab mila ke hi bol raha hu machine to premium hai we had the 13 gen i9 13900f the vinci resolve loved it 12 gb of vram to play with let's not go there gaming desktop pe edit you kar rahe the and all yahi sab puchne lag jate hain fir log so fine i'm just saying we end up using spatial and temporal denoising in many of our 4k short clips plus hamara audio out ka plugin chain bhi bahut zyada heavy and it handled it aao to kabhi haveli pe but going back to gaming while obs is recording this at the highest quality setting and being greedy for resources itself far cry 6 ka benchmark test gave respectable numbers but it's nfs unbound that we stretch played it took a really long time to get the machine to cuff a little aap background mein obs se record nahi kar rahe hoge to of course discount that but maybe you'll be streaming so had that backup but a tiny little bit on the email id flashing below send us some love if you equally like videos on alien where and those videos where we are asking alien where are you We'll continue tracking these stories for you for now short break. Hello Moto. Motorola, India's best 5G smartphone brand. Arvind Kejriwal sent to 70 ED custody as ED calls Kejriwal a key conspirator. Opposition makes a beeline for the election commission alleges the center is trying to suppress their voice. DMK launches campaign in Tamil Nadu Stalin breaks up union minister Shobha Karanlaji's Bengaluru blast remark At least 60 killed in Moscow concert gun attack Islamic state claims responsibility
This show isn't just about news from the southern states. It's one that looks at the rest of India and the world from a diverse South India point of view. Because NDTV has always taken the southern view seriously. The Southern View with Veera Raghav, only on NDTV 24-7. So friends, next I have is this uh, shiny new device coming straight from the Realme factory. This is the all new Realme Narzo 70 Pro 5G. And why am I saying shiny? Because see, of course it's shiny, the way it looks. Even the frame is very shiny. At the same time, this phone really shines bright when we look at its features. Because here too, there is a lot of interesting things that Realme has packed. What we have is a Sony AMX 890 sensor with 50 megapixels. A primary camera that has OIS. At the same time, inside the phone is really packed with features. In fact, हम यहाँ पे अभी इस फोन में gestures से इसको control कर सकते हैं, because this has got something that Realme calls air gestures. So अगर आप देखो इसको and have a closer look about how this Realme Narzo 70 Pro really is, I would say very interesting mid-range smartphone coming straight from Realme. Finally, the wait is over. Realme's latest hotshot, the Narzo 70 Pro 5G. Finally, India mein launch ho gaya hai. This phone is packed with amazing features that will make you go wow. This phone mein hai ek rainwater smart touch feature. This means no more tensions about phone usage in a light drizzle. The powerful MediaTek Dimensity chipset lets you game, multitask, and do everything else at lightning speed. The 5000 mAh battery and SuperBook fast charging will get you back in action in no time. The phone's horizon glass design gives it a super premium, head turning look. Realme has kept it affordable. Narzo 70 Pro 5G starts at just Rs 18,999. You can grab it in stylish glass green and glass gold colors from March 22nd on Amazon and the Realme website. With its awesome display, camera and overall performance, the Realme Narzo 70 Pro 5G is a total Pesa Vasool deal. If you're looking for a smartphone that's powerful, stylish and affordable, this is it. A stronger health system in a country can lead to better outcomes on the economic growth front. Congratulations to the Public Health Foundation of India, ranked second in a global list of schools of public health. Well, we are really talking about creating a healthy society. You can't have a population which is either Arvind Kejriwal has been sent to seven-day Enforcement Directorate custody. The Enforcement Directorate has called Kejriwal a key conspirator in the liquor policy case. The Amami party says ED is being used to win polls. Karnataka Chief Minister warns of severe drought amid Bengaluru water crisis. CM Sidharamaya's fresh appeal uh, to citizens. He assures voters that uh, he will fulfill the Congress's guarantees. Opposition delegation makes a beeline for the election commission and edges that the centre is trying to suppress their voices. BJP asks, is Kejriwal above the law? DMK launches campaign in Tamil Nadu. Stalin breaks up Union Minister Shobha Karandlaji's Bengaluru blast remarks. Stalin alleges BJP is defaming Tamarians. Fresh setback for the Congress in Himachal Pradesh. Three independent MLAs have resigned and will likely join the BJP. BJP Legislative Party meeting in uh, Himachal has, is taking place. His last visit before the general elections, the Prime Minister visits Bhutan, where he is honoured with the highest civilian award of the nation, uh, an affirmation of the close ties between both nations.
Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has been sent to a seven-day enforcement directorate custody. Now, Arvind Kejriwal is producing the Rouse Avenue Court yesterday, where the probe agency enforcement directorate requested a 10-day custody. Earlier, Amarmi Party ministers Atashi and Saurabh Bharadwaj were detained by the police during the party's protest against uh, Kejriwal's arrest uh, by the enforcement directorate in the Delhi liquor policy case. Now, BJP has demanded that Kejriwal must step down as chief minister, uh, and uh, this, of course, comes as uh, several of the leaders uh, have been saying, the Amami Party leaders have been saying that Kejriwal will continue his duties from jail. Listen in to these reactions. ED ke dwara case karwai jate hai. Kyu? Kyunki is desh mein PML ne ek aisa kanun hai jiske tehet bail milna lagbhag asambhav hai. Hum ne dekha hai ke kis tarha एक के बाद एक एक के बाद एक विपक्ष के सारे नेताओं पर ईडी के माध्यम से पीएमएलए पर केस करवाए जाते हैं क्यों क्योंकि आज भारतीय जनता पार्टी ईडी के माध्यम से चुनाव को जीतना चाहती है अब क्या एक सवाल उठता है जो एक टेक्निकल सवाल भी और संवैधानिक सवाल भी है क्या वो अब सरकार जेल से चलेगी हमने तो सुना था सर... जो गुंडा राज चलता था जेल से अब दिल्ली की सरकार क्या जेल से चलेगी तय नई तरह की राजनीति है भारतीय जनता पार्टी मांग करती है अरविंद केजरीवाल की लोगों से और आम आदमी पार्टी से तुरंत के तुरंत आम आदमी पार्टी अरविंद केजरीवाल का इस्तीफा ले now with the water crisis in Bengaluru, a fresh appeal from Karnataka's chief minister. He warns people of the state that there will be severe drought and that there is already work underway to resolve the severe water problem in several areas. Now Sidharamaya goes on to add that the voters should keep the faith and assure us that Congress will fulfill its guarantees and that people should help them win the Lok Sabha polls. Now, focusing on World Water Day, we focus on Bengaluru City's water wars. The quest is for sustainable methods to conserve water and recharge groundwater. The key focus, according to experts, is to increase the use of treated water. Some STPs churn out high-quality water, but there are concerns over the quality from the rest. So, what's the essential water management issue that the city is facing? Pratibha Raman has this report for us. On the occasion of World Water Day, Silicon City is setting an example for sustainable methods to meet the shortage of water. Bengaluru's Water Supply Board introduced an innovative program encouraging hotels, apartments and industries to install aerators to reduce water consumption. Whatever the today's consumption will be baseline and after the initiative 30 days, what is the per day consumption as how much it is reduced that will be measured based on the efforts taken by the hotels or any other commercial establishment or industrial establishment or apartment, apartment colony. If bulk users fail to follow the orders of the board, this would invite 50% cut of water supply and 5,000 rupees fine. As Bengaluru tries hard to conserve and help its parched territories, Real estate agents are finding it hard to find tenants there as the first demand is Kaveri Pipeline. Undoubtedly, I think uh, anybody would like to move in where there's a pipe water connection and this goes without saying. Water which is coming from a pipe is far more easier than uh, having brought 10 floors or you know getting 10 tankers to fill up your sump tank every day to pump this whole thing. Next is holy celebrations and the city has decided to stick to dry colors to prevent the taps from running dry. When there is scarcity of water, it can spark conflicts. However, Bengaluru has fostered peace with its sustainable use. Can you and I help build an environmentally friendly future together? With camera person Kumar Pratibaraman in Bengaluru for NDTV. 
At least 60 people have been killed after gunmen attacked a packed concert venue on the outskirts of Moscow. More than 100 were wounded at the Caucasus City Hall. According to reports, the Islamic State group has claimed the responsibility for the attack. A dramatic visuals show panicked concert goers taking cover as shots have been fired and explosions ring out. A large fire also engulfed the roof of the complex and Russia's National Guard is uh, searching for the gunmen who've been identified. I have my colleague Vishal joining us with more details. Vishal, take us through exactly what happened. We're learning that 60 people have died and uh, uh, hundreds of them injured. That's right, Aarti. As far as the latest reports are concerned, at least 60 people have been killed in this brutal attack. About uh, six odd men uh, wearing camouflage vests and jackets, they uh, stormed this uh, hall in Moscow. It's on the outskirts of Moscow. So about uh, this uh, hall could uh, occupy at least uh, 6,000 people and we are hearing that there were thousands of people there. They had come there to attend a rock concert. Uh, I have seen footages from the, uh, verified footages from the uh, attack and uh, I have seen that people were, you know, uh, trying to avoid the gunmen. They were uh, tripping over each other, trying to, you know, get away from the gunmen, but the gunmen were relentlessly firing at them. Uh, even children have been wounded in the, in the attack. Uh, uh, Putin is yet to make a statement, Russian president, uh, but uh, Russian authorities have said that he has been informed about the attack. He's making plans uh, as what to do next. Uh, what is interesting to note here is that U.S. had repeatedly warned uh, Russia about these attacks, that uh, an attack is imminent in the uh, last few weeks. Uh, the, the, this is uh, reports, uh, several reports have been saying this. Uh, and also the fact that U.S. had warned its citizens in Moscow to avoid large gatherings. So uh, even though Russia and U.S. Uh, have, are, have a frosty relationship, uh, there was steady flow of information about uh, an imminent attack which has ultimately happened. Uh, the identity of the gunman is yet to be revealed, but uh, ISIS uh, on its uh, news uh, platform called Amak has uh, uh, claimed responsibility for the attack. And uh, so this comes at a time when this uh, war has been going on with Ukraine for the last two years, brutal war. But Ukraine has uh, denied any re responsibility for the attack. So it remains to be seen how this unfolds uh, in the day. So we'll right. bring you the details. Right, Vishal, in fact, Putin has just uh, won the elections and uh, clinched his fifth term as president. And uh, at such a time, our questions now being raised as to why he didn't take action when there was repeated warning from US-based intelligence. Well, they are yet to make an official statement on that. Uh, but uh, U.S. had uh, on its uh, website, uh, on its uh, uh, embassy website, uh, clearly published an information saying that uh, they had asked Americans to avoid large gatherings in Moscow specifically. So uh, it remains to be seen why Russian authorities did not act on that or even if they did, how such a big attack happened uh, right on the outskirts of Moscow. Uh, it could be that uh, as I mentioned earlier, U.S. and Russia have a frost relationship, so the uh, information or the intelligence that these countries share, uh, they might not really trust each other. So that could be one of the reasons, but we'll have to wait for confirmation on that. Right. Uh, uh, Vishal, also take us through in terms of the investigation on this particular shooting. Uh, you did say that uh, uh, Islamic group had uh, taken responsibility, uh, but we're also learning that the suspects have been identified. Have all of them been arrested yet? Uh, could you repeat that? Have the suspects been arrested yet? No, that's not the case yet. Uh, about six odd people wearing uh, camouflage jackets. Uh, they were heavily armed. Uh, reports are saying that they had Kalashnikov rifles. It could be AK-47, it could be other Kalashnikov rifles. They stormed that concert hall. They fired indiscriminately, but they have not yet been apprehended as far as the latest reports are concerned. Uh, but ISIS, as I mentioned earlier, has claimed responsibility. But there's also another angle to this, that uh, some reports in Russian media are saying that uh, uh, it does not match with the you know, uh, typical template of an ISIS attack in the sense that the announcement that ISIS has made uh, is not the template that they generally follow. So that's another angle that, angle that we'll have to look at uh, in the next few hours. Right, Vishal, thank you for joining us and bringing us those details on this development. We'll continue tracking the story as it develops.
A Tamil Nadu CM MK Stalin has launched his election campaign from the central town of Tirchi. Stalin will be canvassing for India Bloc candidate and after launching the campaign, Stalin is set to embark on a state tour as well. Uh, at the campaign, at the start of his campaign in fact, Tamil Nadu CM had launched a scathing attack on the BJP, raking up Union Minister Shobha Karandlaje's remark on Bengaluru blast. Stalin said that the BJP is trying to defame Tamil people. சமஸ்கிருத வளர்ச்சிக்கு நீங்க கொடுத்த நிதி எவ்வளவு தமிழ் வளர்ச்சிக்கு நீங்க கொடுத்த நிதி எவ்வளவு இத கூச்சம் இல்லாம தமிழ்நாட்டுக்கு வந்து சொல்வார் அவர் நீங்கள் வளர்க்கிற வெறுப்பு தேதி என்ன பண்ணுதுன்னு தெரியுமா ஒன்றிய பாஜக அமைச்சர் ஒருத்தர் பெங்களூர்ல வெடிச்ச குண்டு தமிழர்கள் வச்ச குண்டுன்னு சொல்றாரு தமிழர்கள் என்ன வன்முறையாளர்களா பயங்கரவாதிகளா நான் கேட்கிறேன் தமிழ்நாட்டு மக்கள் எப்படியெல்லாம் நீங்கள் குச்சப்படுத்தி இப்ப பேச ஆரம்பிச்சிருக்கீங்க Now, not just the DMK, but former NDLI, AIDMK has also begun their campaign as uh, this was, of course, after breaking away from their coalition from the BJP. AIDMK, interestingly, has made promises which are similar to that of the DMK. Take a look at this report. The AIDMK fighting Lok Sabha elections after breaking away from the BJP makes promises similar to its political rival DMK and much more. The Dravidian party in the opposition says it would push for merger of GST and CES, a Supreme Court bench in Chennai, scrapping of need for medical admission. The party that helped the BJP enact CAA wants Lankan Tamils included for citizenship. <laughs> அந்த கச்சா எண்ணெய் இறக்குமதி செய்யும் போது விலை குறைகின்ற போது குறைக்கிறது இல்ல ஏற்கனவே மத்திய அரசு அவருடைய கண்ட்ரோல் இருந்தது அதே போல எண்ணெய் நிறுவனத்தில் இருந்து மத்திய அரசாங்கமே இதை ஏற்று இதை நடத்த வேண்டும் பெட்ரோல் டீசல் குறைக்கப்பட வேண்டும் அது எங்களுடைய கோரிக்கை அதே போல சமையல் எரிவாயு அந்த விலையும் குறைக்க வேண்டும் போதைப் பொருள் ஒழிப்பு நெகிழி பொருட்கள் நிரந்தர தடை For AIADMK Chief EPS, this is the first election under his singular leadership after he ousted his rival OPS. The party lost two elections in 14 alliance with the Saffron Party after Jayalalitha's death. Uh, your leaders, they don't directly attack the Prime Minister Modi. They do, directly don't attack the policies of BJP. So people of Tamil Nadu still doubt that you are a B-team of the BJP. You are there to split votes and ensure victory for the BJP in Tamil Nadu states. The AIADMK is a divided house now with the ouster of Sasikala, Dinakaran and OPS. Even after parting ways with the BJP, winning the confidence of minorities is a challenge. APS hopes his singular leadership will add strength to reclaim the party's lost political fortunes. In Chennai with Suresh, Sam Daniel, Find the TV. We'll continue tracking these stories for you for now, short break. talking but very little being said too many voices but hardly any being heard you turn to a show that puts you front and center a show that headlines the stories of the people by the people for the people
फ्रेंड्स दिस इज वट आई हैव फॉर द नेक्स्ट वन बिकॉज यहाँ पे दिस स्लीक लुकिंग लैपटॉप कमिंग स्ट्रेट फ्रॉम एपल इज द लेटेस्ट जनरेशन ऑफ मैकबुक एयर और यहाँ पे वॉट स्पैक इन साइड इज एपल न्यू एम थ्री चिप नाउ तो ये एपल ने फाइनली लॉन्च कर दिया है एंड वॉट अमेजिंग इज दैट लुक एट दिस प्रोफाइल मतलब कितना स्लीक आपको लैपटॉप मिलता है एट द सेम टाइम इट पैक्स सम अमेजिंग परफॉर्मेंस यहाँ पे एप्पल की लेटेस्ट एम थ्री चिप है इट्स अ फैनलेस डिजाइन दैट्स द रीजन की काफी आपको स्लीक मिलने वाला है क्वाइट लाइट वेट एंड दिस इन फैक्ट इज द फिफ्टीन इंच वेरियंट जिसका थर्टीन इंच वेरियंट है वो थोड़ा सा और ज्यादा छोटा और आपको हल्का फील होता है इट्स यू नो इवन मोर पोर्टेबल एट द सेम टाइम इट पैक सम सीरियस पावर बिकॉज यहाँ पे जो मेमरी है इट गोज अप टू ट्वेंटी फोर जी बी द स्टोरेज कैन गो अप टू टू टेराबाइट्स हमारे पास में प्रॉपर मैगसेफ पोर्ट है वी हैव हेडफोन जैक इज वेल एट द सेम टाइम यहाँ पे यूएस बी सी पोर्ट भी हैं वी हैव अ फुल साइज की बोर्ड अ नाइस फिफ्टीन इंच स्क्रीन इन अ वेरी स्लीक फॉर्म फैक्टर इन दिस पैक्स अ सिक्स स्पीकर सिस्टम इज वेल सो लेट सी अब क्लोज हाउ इज दिस Apple's latest MacBook Air with M3 chip. The beloved MacBook Air just got a super power upgrade with the brand new M3 chip. Ready ho jaiye for blazing fast speeds, longer battery life and mind-blowing AI capabilities. Apple claim karta hai ki the M3 chip is up to 60% faster than the already speedy M1 chip. Imagine kariye ki editing videos, creating music or even casually crushing your enemies in an intense game, the laptop kafi aasani se ye sab kar hi sakta hai. No sweat. Apple promise karta hai whopping 18 hours of battery life on a single charge. That's almost a full day of work. और एक्चुअली इवन प्ले बिना किसी पावर आउटलेट की जरूरत पड़े टॉक अबाउट फ्रीडम द न्यू न्यूरल इंजिन मेक्स दिस द बेस्ट मैकबुक एयर येट फॉर ए आई टास्क इज वेल Stay informed and entertained with the new and updated NDTV News app. You can watch all our channels live, listen to podcasts, read breaking and exclusive news from around the world and more. Download the NDTV app today and get access to the best journalism and storytelling on your smartphone or tablet. The NDTV app, news that matters to you. ट्रैकिंग की बात से इनफैक्ट याद आया इज डिड यू नो कि आप अब ट्रैक कर सकते हैं अबाउट योर कंट्रीब्यूशन टूवर्ड्स अ हेल्थियर एनवायरनमेंट बिकॉज अगर आप ऊबर यूज करते हैं तो आई एम श्योर आपको अभी पता होगा कि उसमें दिस इज एन ऑप्शन कि आप इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स को बुक कर सकते हैं इफ यू प्रेफर गोइंग सस्टेनेबल लेकिन उन्होंने अपने ईमान को गिर भी रख दिया था और दबाव इतना था कि उनको इस्तीफा देना पड़े और आप ही हेलीकॉप्टर में रहे और आप भी सीआरपीएफ की सिक्योरिटी में आ रहे हैं और जा भी हेलीकॉप्टर में रहे हैं तो आप बताइए इतना सारा धन का प्रयोग क्या लोकतंत्र के लिए अच्छा है जो पार्टी ने कार्यक्रम दिए हैं अभियान दिए हैं उनकी यहाँ पर समीक्षा कर रहे हैं जैसे आजकल त्रिदेव सम्मेलन हर विधानसभा क्षेत्र में हो रहे हैं तो कहाँ हुआ कहाँ नहीं हुआ कब होगा इसी तरह हमारी पार्टी ने आगे अनुसूचित जाति मोर्चा के सम्मेलन हर मंडल पर करने हैं उसके बारे में यहाँ पर चर्चा हो रही है हमारा जो केंद्र की योजनाओं के लाभार्थी हैं उनसे संपर्क का अभियान चल रहा है उस पर यहाँ पर समीक्षा हुई है और आगे उस अभियान को और प्रभावी ढंग से चलाने का यहाँ पर जो है वो विचार हुआ है A Kate Middleton, Britain's Princess of Wales, has said that she is undergoing preventive chemotherapy after tests taken after she had a major abdominal surgery in January revealed that cancer had been present in her body. Remember, she is the wife of the heir to throne, Prince William. The news, this news, of course, comes as a fresh health blow to the British royal family after King Charles was also undergoing treatment for cancer. Now, Kate spent two weeks in the hospital in January after undergoing what her office said at the time was successful planned surgery. for an unspecified but non cancerous condition however kate said in a video message that subsequent tests had revealed cancer that had been found and she said she was well and getting stronger
One of the perks of being a technology journalist is you get to play games in the office right in front of everyone else and it's called testing the system. The following is a quick review of one of the newer Aurora R16 desktops by Alienware by Dell. So Sharad Nair at NDTV.com is going to be semi-flexing today because while he may have inappropriate feelings for the Grand Theft Auto series, sometimes he just far cries. Six. This is courtesy the Alienware Aurora R16 desktop. I get that translucency, a key side se practical sense banati hai, more than all that jazz. Fine. Which means me and my vanity would always place the desktop to the right, you know, so that the over lighting scheme, it is to the left of the machine. So opposite taraf se dekhne pe thoda sa uh, alienwareness comes ho gaya. Aisa nahi hai ki I'm not a fan of minimalism, I am. But I'm pretty forgiving and accepting when it comes to a lot of other things, just like the price. It is a good experience. The build, the fit, the finish, the unending list of and lineup of ports. Yep, yep, yep. The brand and its whole ecosystem, premium servicing, sab mila ke hi bol raho. Machine to premium hai. We had the 13 Gen i9 13900F. The Vinci Resolve loved it. 12 GB of VRAM to play with. Let's not go there. Gaming desktop pe edit you kar rahe the and all. Yehi sab poochne lag jaate hain fir log. So fine. I'm just saying we end up using spatial and temporal denoising in many of our 4K short clips. Plus, our audio out ka plugin chain bhi bahut zada heavy and it handled it. Aao to kabi haveli pe. But going back to gaming, while OBS is recording this at the highest quality setting and being greedy for resources itself, Far Cry 6 ka benchmark test gave respectable numbers. But it's NFS Unbound that we stretch played. It took a really long time to get the machine to cuff a little. Our background may OBS record nahi kar rahe hoge. So of course discount that. But maybe you'll be streaming, so add that back up, but a tiny little bit. On the email ID flashing below, send us some love if you equally like videos on Alienware and those videos where we are asking, Alien, where are you? We'll continue tracking these stories for you for now, short break. Stay informed and entertained with the new and updated NDTV News app. You can watch all our channels live, listen to podcasts, read breaking and exclusive news from around the world and more. Download the NDTV app today and get access to the best journalism and storytelling on your smartphone or tablet. The NDTV app, news that matters to you. ट्रैकिंग की बात से इनफैक्ट याद आया गाइस डिड यू नो कि आप अब ट्रैक कर सकते हैं अबाउट योर कंट्रीब्यूशन टुवर्ड्स अ हेल्दीयर एनवायरनमेंट बिकॉज अगर आप ऊबर यूज करते हैं तो आई एम श्योर आपको अभी पता होगा कि उसमें दिस एन ऑप्शन कि आप इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स को बुक कर सकते हैं इफ यू प्रेफर गोइंग सस्टेनेबल लेकिन अब यहां पे एक ऑप्शन आ गया है जहां पे आपको ऊबर दिखाता है कि आप क्या सेव कर रहे हैं कंपेयर टू अगर आप एक नॉर्मल व्हीकल में जाते हैं तो आप कितने कार्बन एमिशंस होने से रोक रहे हैं और वो आपको दिखाता है इन फॉर्म ऑफ ट्रीज बीइंग प्लांटेड तो कहीं ना कहीं ये एक अच्छी चीज है जहां पे यू कैन कीप ट्रैक ऑफ योर यू नो योर कंट्रीब्यूशन कि आप अपने डेली हैबिट्स में जब आप सुबह ऑफिस के लिए ऊबर ले रहे हैं जब आप शाम को बाहर जा रहे हैं अगर आप एक ईवी यूज करते हैं सो हाउ मच एसेंशियली आर यू कंट्रीब्यूटिंग टुवर्ड्स द एनवायरमेंट दिस सर्विस इज लाइव नाउ इन मल्टीपल इंडियन सिटीज तो नेक्स्ट टाइम यू कैन ऊबर आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट कि अगर आप एक इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल यूज करते हैं इट विल kind of contribute towards the environment or you can clearly track in form of number of trees being planted so i'm sure normally we friends sometimes we see each others uber ratings ki kisko kitne star mile hain kisi ki kitni rating hai so i'm sure going next this could be a thing that we all might track ki acha maine kitne trees ko plant kiya by going electric ya kaun aage jeet raha hai it's a nice thing did you know this if yes amazing if no please let me know you know the address it's tg@ndtv.com Friends, moving ahead for the top story, I've got not one but in fact two different new smartphones. These are from the Samsung Galaxy A series. What I have with me is the all-new Samsung Galaxy A35. 
साथ में गैलेक्सी ए फिफ्टी भी है बोध हर ऑफकोर्स 5G स्मार्टफोन्स इंटरेस्टिंग डिजाइन इंटरेस्टिंग कॉन्फ़िगरेशन और काफी फ्रेश लग रहे हैं दोनों फोन्स कमिंग स्ट्रेट फ्रॉम सैमसंग और यहां पे सैमसंग इज प्रॉमिसिंग अ फ्यू थिंग्स सबसे पहले एक काफी इंटरेस्टिंग और प्रीमियम डिजाइन सेकंड थिंग इज अमेजिंग ड्यूरेबिलिटी बिकॉज यहां पे ऑन द फ्रंट एंड ऑन द बैक व्हाट वी हैव इज कॉर्निंग्स गुरला ग्लास विक्टर्स प्लस एट द सेम टाइम यहां पे सैमसंग इज प्रॉमिसिंग अ कंप्लीट ऑसम सिक्योरिटी स्वीट अलोंग विद ऑसम परफॉर्मेंस तो लेट्स सी अब क्लोज कि आखिर इन दोनों फोन्स में सैमसंग ने क्या कुछ पैक किया है रेडी हो जाइए फॉर कटिंग एज फीचर्स एंड ए सीमलेस एंड्रॉइड एक्सपीरियंस सैमसंग ने इंडिया में ऑफिशियली डेब्यू किया है द गैलेक्सी ए फिफ्टी फाइव एंड गैलेक्सी ए थर्टी ब्रिंगिंग पावरफुल परफॉर्मेंस एंड इंप्रेसिव टेक्नोलॉजी टू दी पॉपुलर ए सीरीज लाइनअप बोर्ड डिवाइस बोर्ड स्टनिंग सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स इंच सुपर एमुलेट डिस्प्ले जो जाने जाते हैं फॉर देर वाइब्रेंट कलर एंड इमर्सिव विजुअल विद एन अल्ट्रा स्मूथ हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी हर्ट रिफ्रेश रेट यू विल एंजॉय बटरी ट्रांजेक्शन एंड लॉग फ्री स्क्रोलिंग विद योर गेमिंग या फिर कैचिंग अप ऑन शोज प्लस कॉनिंग गोरे ग्लास विक्टर्स प्लस ऑफर करता है सुपीरियर प्रोटेक्शन अगेंस्ट दोज एक्सीडेंटल ड्रॉप्स एंड स्क्रैचेस कैप्चर योर वर्ल्ड विद इंक्रेडिबल डिटेल दोनों स्मार्टफोन पैक करते हैं ट्रिपल रियर कैमरा सेटअप विद ए फिफ्टी जी स्पॉटिंग फिफ्टी मेगा पिक्सल प्राइमरी सेंसर फीचरिंग ऑप्टिकल इमेज स्टेबलाइजेशन फॉर ब्लर फ्री शॉर्ट्स एंड दी ए थर्टी जी भी डिसअपॉइंट नहीं करता है ऑफरिंग इट्स ओन ओ आई एस इक्विप्ड फिफ्टी मेगा पिक्सल प्राइमरी कैमरा विद लेंसेज दट सपोर्ट वर्सिटैलिटी स्टनिंग सेल्फीज एंड एक्सपैंडेबल स्टोरेज ये फोन आपके फोटोग्राफी गेम को डेफिनेटली एलिवेट करेंगे यू कैन नाउ इवन लीव योर लो बैटरी एंगजाइटी बिहाइंड बिकॉज दोनों फोन आते हैं मैसेव फाइव थाउजेंड एम एच बैटरीज के साथ एंड सपोर्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव वॉट्स का फास्ट चार्जिंग दिस लेट्स यू पावर थ्रू योर डे एंड रिचार्ज क्विकली इवन बेटर सैमसंग प्रोमिस करता है वॉपिंग फोर जेनरेशन ऑफ एंड्रॉइड ओएस अपग्रेड एंड एन इम्प्रेसिव फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ सिक्योरिटी पैचेज a testament to their commitment to keeping your devices up to date the galaxy a55 5g and a35 5g deliver modern design from the sleek lines to vibrant color options and for robust protection both smartphones feature ip67 rated water and dust resistance letting you use them worry free you also get the peace of mind that comes with samsung's nox world security system for added privacy so friends abhi naye features ke sath mein ye jo samsung galaxy a35 hai aur a55 hai dono phones market mein aa chuke hain and what i really like myself is this new design language feels like a premium samsung flagship smartphone in fact the software has tons of features aur yahan pe jo price hai for galaxy a35 it starts at 27000 rupees and for the galaxy a55 it starts at 39000 rupees and this is in fact the effective price with all the bank offers included to mujhe lagta hai at this price these phones are definitely a new fresh you know uh, air coming in because kafi aapko acha feel hota hai you know especially you know all the samsung features baked in a stronger health system in a country can lead to better outcomes on the economic growth front congratulations to the public health foundation of india ranked second in a global list of schools of public health well we are really talking no relief for arvind kejriwal in ed custody uh, till 28th of march uh, cm is in jail as bjp demands resignation now over kejriwal's arrest opposition moves election commission in jab block stamps the government over the arrest the arrest leader k kavitha's uh, ed custody end she is going to be produced in court today Bengaluru water crisis worsens CM Siddaramaiah warns of severe drought Fresh setback for Congress in Himachal Pradesh three independent MLAs have resigned and will likely join the BJP
The Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has been sent to a seven-day enforcement directorate custody. Arvind Kejriwal was produced in the Rao's Avenue Court in Delhi yesterday, where the probe agency enforcement directorate requested for a 10-day custody. They also said that Arvind Kejriwal was a key conspirator in the liquor policy case. Now, Amanvi Ministers Atishi and Saurabh Bardwaj were detained by the police during the party's protest against Kejriwal's arrest. Uh, that, they, that took place yesterday. Uh, now, uh, BJP has in fact demanded that Kejriwal must step down as CM, but remember the Amarmi Party has said uh, that uh, the Delhi Chief Minister will continue his duties from within jail. Now, we're learning that uh, Delhi Chief Minister has filed an application in court and uh, has sought the removal of uh, corps from security team. देखिए जो भी कानूनी हमारे पास रास्ते उपलब्ध हैं उनको हम जरूर आगे बढ़ाएंगे चाहे ट्रायल कोर्ट में हो चाहे हाई कोर्ट में हो चाहे सुप्रीम कोर्ट में हो लेकिन हम न्यायपालिका से भी ये उम्मीद करेंगे कि उनकी आंखों के सामने लोकतंत्र की हत्या हो रही है उनकी आंखों के सामने एक एक करके एक एक करके विपक्ष की पार्टियों पे हमले हो रहे हैं उनकी आंखों के सामने विपक्ष के नेताओं को जेल में भेजा जा रहा है उनकी आंखों के सामने विपक्ष की पार्टियों के बैंक अकाउंट फ्रीज किए जा रहे हैं तो लोकतंत्र को बचाना न्यायपालिका की भी जिम्मेदारी है अब क्या एक सवाल उठता है जो एक टेक्निकल सवाल भी और संविधानिक सवाल भी है क्या वो अब सरकार जेल से चलेगी हमने तो सुना था सर, जो गुंडा राज चलता था जेल से अब दिल्ली की सरकार क्या जेल से चलेगी तय नई तरह की राजनीति है भारतीय जनता पार्टी मांग करती है अरविंद केजरीवाल की लोगों से और आम आदमी पार्टी से तुरंत के तुरंत आम आदमी पार्टी अरविंद केजरीवाल का इस्तीफा ले आज संवैधानिक पद पर विराजमान सुचिता का हवाला देने वाला एक व्यक्ति किस प्रकार से प्रशासनिक तंत्र के माध्यम से भ्रष्टाचार को परिभाषित करेगा उसका ब्यौरा मिला अरविंद केजरीवाल और उनके कृत्यों के माध्यम से मीडिया की एजेंसीज और जो वर्तमान में ऑनलाइन दस्तावेज मौजूद हैं ये सभी दस्तावेज और मीडिया चैनल्स पर प्रसारित कुछ तथ्य दिल दहला देने वाले हैं Uh, the latest uh, uh, update on the story is that uh, Arvind Kejriwal has sought the removal of police security. But remember, uh, Aam Aadmi Party Minister Atishi had earlier raised the Chief Minister's security concerns as he is in custody. Uh, remember, the Chief Minister is entitled to Z plus security, and uh, as of now, he's still holding his office as Chief Minister as he remains in custody for the next seven days. Uh, remember, uh, Arvind Kejriwal. Um, Uh, has been sent to seven day uh, enforcement directorate custody the enforcement directorate yesterday in the raz avenue court had in fact uh, uh, asked for 10 day custody of arvind kejriwal uh, yesterday there were in fact some revelations that the enforcement directorate had uh, put forth uh, which they mentioned in their fir as well Uh, the ASG who appeared for the enforcement directorate in fact spoke about uh, how uh, uh, the enforcement directorate says that Arvind Kejriwal was the key conspirator in the case and that he was the one to get kickbacks from what they call the South Group. And he says uh, uh, over 100 crores were given in kickbacks and uh, profit made uh, on the prayer of bribe uh, that then ultimately reached Arvind Kejriwal according to the enforcement directorate. Uh, the enforcement directorate also says that uh, Uh, that uh, uh, Vijay Nair, who was a middleman, uh, according to them, uh, between the South Group and the Aam Aadmi Party, uh, was the one to convey uh, the bribe between both groups. Uh, I have joining me Ishika, my colleague, uh, with more details. Ishika, if you could take us through the latest coming in, uh, Arvind Kejriwal has said that he's he's uh, in fact sought no cops as part of his security team. Take us through this. Well, yes, you know, as you rightly mentioned yesterday, you know, a, in a big setback to Arvind Kejriwal, uh, ED got his custody for seven days while ED was seeking, you know, a ten-day custody. But in fact, you know, uh, let me tell you that even 
after you know very strong arguments were put forth by in fact even Arvind Kejriwal's counsel before the court we are seeing that the ED has got his custody for seven days now in fact uh, you know after that we did see how you know there were uh, senior uh, Aam Admi party leaders who alleged that this is you know just a conspiracy of the BJP and let me tell you that in fact today uh, Aam Admi party is in fact you know doing uh, going to do a Sankalp Yatra here in the national capital now with this Sankalp Yatra it is you know it is expected that the India bloc leaders especially you know the Delhi Congress leaders will also be joining the Aam Admi party leaders and volunteers you know uh, uh, to in fact you know uh, to do a symbolic protest over the arrest of Arvind Kejriwal and then him being sent to the Enforcement Directorate's custody. Now, in fact, what we are getting to know that this Sankal Piatra will be led by the Punjab Chief Minister Bhagwant Man. In fact, you know, the Aam Army Party has gone on to say that they have planned, uh, you know, that this, uh, this Sankal Piatra is just the beginning. Because on 26, they say that they are going to come with the people of Delhi and Hirao the Prime Minister's residence. So certainly what we are going to witness here, series of protests on the streets of the national capital after Arvind Kejriwal being sent to the Enforcement Directorate custody. Now remember yesterday, the very, you know, a very important point that the Arvind Kejriwal Council had put up in the court was that Arvind Kejriwal is the first sitting chief minister that in fact has been arrested by the Enforcement Directorate. In fact, you know, senior leaders of the party have also been arrested. They had question the necessity of this arrest they had also said uh, you know that the power of arrest is not even you know convert to the necessity of the uh, you know arrest but yet we are seeing a major setback to Arvind Kejriwal and after that a series of protests that the Aam Admi party has now lined up here for, you know for here in the streets of the new Delhi after that so certainly a lot of what we can see you know a lot of political tension is what is growing here in the national capital after Arvind Kejriwal has been right. sent to the ED custody. Or to right. Thank you, Ishika, for joining us and bringing us those latest updates. Now, amid water crisis in Bengaluru, fresh appeal from Karnataka Chief Minister. He warns people of the state that there will be a severe drought in the coming days and that there is already work underway to resolve the severe water problem in several areas. Now, Siddharamaya goes on to add that the voters should keep the faith and assures that Congress will fulfill its guarantees and that the people should help them win the Lok Sabha polls. I have my colleague Pratibha joining us with more details. Pratibha, at this point, the Chief Minister said that uh, uh, they are working to solve uh, the issues of water crisis in several areas of Bengaluru, but he has warned of a drought and has still sought support from the people of uh, Karnataka. Pratibha, if you are able to hear me. Right, we'll try and get my colleague back on the broadcast uh, with more details. But of course, this is the latest that we're tracking for you on the broadcast. Uh, uh, Chief Minister Sidramaya, in fact, warning people of Karnataka that a drought is uh, expected in the coming days as Bengaluru faces severe water crisis. Uh, I remember, there were several restrictions put forth earlier. There were high level meetings held by the Chief Minister and Deputy CM, as well as top officials as well, uh, to ensure that uh, uh, the water crisis uh, does not cause does not cause uh, uh, issues for the common man. I have my colleague Pratibha with us now. Uh, Pratibha, take us through the latest. Uh, Chief Minister Sidramaya warning of a drought but still asking for support from the people of Karnataka. Well, it actually comes on a day that was also marked as World Water Day. And keeping that in mind, yes, uh, Karnataka Chief Minister Sidramaya did talk about how uh, he would uh, take all measures to solve the water crisis in the state despite severe drought. Remember, we are talking of over 200 taluks that have been marked as uh, uh, acute drought hit uh, taluks. And uh, he has also uh, spoken about how the Congress had uh, won with a sweeping uh, a majority during the assembly election by uh, talking about its uh, guarantees. And has also mentioned that he has uh, managed to fulfill all 162 promises that were mentioned in the manifesto to that time. And Chief Minister Siddharamaya um, is uh, uh, perhaps looking at uh, repeating history 
by using the same strategy for the Lok Sabha election as well. And this also comes soon after the press conference that was held on the same day, where uh, Chief Minister Siddharamiya as well as uh, Kanatka in charge, Jarandeep uh, Surjewala, had alleged that NDA government led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi was making every attempt to pull the Congress campaign in the run-up to the uh, Lok Sabha election by freezing all their accounts of the party in different banks. Right, Pratibha, thank you for joining us and bringing us those details. As my colleague Pratibha mentioned, uh, on World Water Day, the focus is on Bengaluru cities, which are short for water. The quest is for sustainable methods to conserve water and recharge groundwater. The key focus, according to experts, is to increase the use of treated water. Some STPs churn out high-quality water, but there are concerns over the quality from the rest. So what the essential water management issues uh, that the city is facing? My colleague Pratibha brings you the special report. On the occasion of World Water Day, Silicon City is setting an example for sustainable methods to meet the shortage of water. Bengaluru's Water Supply Board introduced an innovative program encouraging hotels, apartments and industries to install aerators to reduce water consumption. Whatever the today's consumption will be baseline and after the initiative 30 days, what is the per day consumption as how much it is reduced, that will be measured based on the efforts taken by the hotels or any other commercial establishment or industrial establishment or apartment, apartment colony. If bulk users fail to follow the orders of the board, this would invite 50% cut of water supply and 5,000 rupees fine as Bengaluru tries hard to conserve and help its parched territories. Real estate agents are finding it hard to find tenants there as the first demand is Kaveri Pipeline. Undoubtedly, I think uh, anybody would like to move in where there's a pipe water connection and this goes without saying. Water which is coming from a pipe is far more easier than uh, having brought 10 floors or you know getting 10 tankers to fill up your sump tank every day to pump this whole thing. Next is holy celebrations and the city has decided to stick to dry colours to prevent the taps from running dry. When there is scarcity of water, it can spark conflicts. However, Bengaluru has fostered peace with its sustainable use. Can you and I help build an environmentally friendly future together? With camera person Kumar Pratibaraman in Bengaluru for NDTV. We have visuals coming in of Prime Minister Modi in Bhutan as he inaugurates a state-of-the-art hospital. This is the children's hospital that the Prime Minister is inaugurating. It is a mother and child hospital in Thimpu of Bhutan. Remember, the Prime Minister is there on a two-day visit. He had landed yesterday to, and received a warm welcome there. He has uh, uh, several... Uh, uh, engagements slated for the day, uh, the first of which uh, is this inauguration of the Jetsun Pema Wangchuk Mother and Child Hospital in Thimpu. Uh, the hospital has been fully funded by the Government of India. The Prime Minister is uh, inaugurating this hospital there in uh, Thimpu in Bhutan. Remember, the Prime Minister is on a two-day visit as India reiterates its neighbourhood first policy. Now, this visit also comes at an interesting time. This visit comes ahead of the Lok Sabha elections in India. India. Uh, therefore, it could be uh, perhaps the last visit, uh, the or last official visit of the Prime Minister uh, of, in Bhutan. Right, uh, the Prime Minister there inaugurating the Mother and Child Hospital. It is a state-of-the-art hospital built in Thimpu in Bhutan, which has completely been funded by the Indian government. Uh, remember, India has undertaken several development projects in its neighboring nations uh, like Bhutan. And in fact, uh, when the Prime Minister had assumed office, uh, Bhutan was the first choice for the Prime Minister for his official visit. And again, his last choice before uh, he perhaps heads out from office ahead of the Lok Sabha elections. Therefore, this could be perhaps the last official visit of the Prime Minister. Uh, and he's chosen Bhutan as India has time and again reiterated its neighborhood first policy. The Ministry of External Affairs also in a statement said that uh, uh, this particular visit uh, is ensuring the strong ties between Bhutan and India. Uh, remember just earlier, a uh, couple of months earlier, the Prime Minister of Bhutan had also visited India uh, just after he had assumed office as well. This uh, 
comes at an interesting time when uh, uh, Bhutan is in the middle of uh, uh, border talks with China as well. Shifting focus, at least 60 people have been killed after gunmen attacked a packed concert venue on the outskirts of Moscow in Russia. More than 100 people were wounded at the Crocus City Hall. The Islamic State group has claimed that it carried out the attack. Dramatic visuals from the event show panicked concert goers taking cover as shots were fired and explosions ring out. A large fire has engulfed the roof of the complex and Russia's National Guard is still searching for the gunmen who have yet to be identified. The report suggests that Washington had warned Moscow in recent weeks of the possibility of an attack. The White House said that it's working to find out more about the situation and that Ukraine has denied any involvement in the attack. Now, Prime Minister Modi has also shared uh, uh, his condemnation for this particular attack on social media platform X. He said uh, that uh, Indians are with the family family members of those who've been hurt in this uh, uh, in this attack i have my colleague vishal joining us with more details vishal take us through the latest uh, we still don't have a statement from the russian authorities but prime minister modi has condemned the attack so actually the russian uh, deputy prime minister has come up with a statement uh, they spoke with the uh, task media which is the state media of russia uh, they've said that uh, uh, putin has uh, condemned the attack and uh, spoken to the victims and wished them speedy recovery and uh, back, back home pm modi has also condemned the attack and termed it termed it as a heinous attack uh, as far as the details from the attack is concerned uh, latest reports suggest that actually white house uh, itself has confirmed few uh, minutes ago that uh, it had warned us had warned russia about an imminent attack in the last few weeks uh, but uh, how did this uh, an, a, an attack of such scale happen when the U.S. had already warned Russia? That remains to be answered. Uh, Putin is yet to speak formally on this. He has only spoken through his uh, deputy prime minister. As far as the uh, victims are concerned, at least 60 dead and uh, over 150 have been injured. Children and women are also among the injured. Uh, these, this uh, heinous attack happened on the outskirts of the Moscow concert hall. There was supposed to be a concert there. Thousands of people could have been there. The hall where the attack happened, uh, the, the capacity there is about 6,200. So uh, the uh, death toll is likely to rise. Uh, when the attack first happened, about 40 had been reported killed. Now it's climbed to 70, about almost 70. So we'll have to wait on that. And as far as the details from the attack, other details from the attack are, are, are concerned, uh, Russian authorities are investigated. Uh, they are on the ground. They have confiscated some Kalashnikov rifles. Uh, it's yet to be ascertained uh, who these men are. About five to six men in camouflage jackets and vests raided that concert hall. There was also, also reports saying that some grenades were lobbed on the people. Uh, uh, people were uh, scrambling for uh, safety and and uh, they were covering under uh, whatever they could and uh, to save themselves. Right. Yeah. Right. Thank you, Michelle, for joining us and bringing us those latest details on this particular story. We'll continue tracking it as it develops. For now, we take a short break. Hello, Moto. Motorola, India's best 5G smartphone brand. Some people say the metaverse will only be virtual. One day this lecture hall will be made of code and driverless cars would be trapped in intersections. But even in this maze of the future, you can't wish away health. It's time to become more resilient. 
10 years of Banega Swast India, we have grown and achieved so many milestones. And now I have a plan to beat the urgency, to stop breathing with difficulty, to relieve getting choked with inactivity. Energize our government, our environment, our society, and ourselves. Everyone, everywhere, every day. Banega Swast India, One World Hygiene. A debate has many facets. Perhaps no one right answer. Left, right, and center. Conversations that get to the core of the debate. Friends, it's time now for my favorite section about this episode because हम हमेशा जब Q&A की बात करते हैं, so Ask TG is the thing जो मुझे बहुत पसंद आती है because I get to answer all your questions. So let's see इस हफ्ते हमारे पास में क्या-क्या questions हैं. Hi TG, we just need better phone between OnePlus 12 and Xiaomi 14 in terms of camera and performance. Okay, so you have asked that आपको जानना है which is the better device between OnePlus 12 and Xiaomi 14 in terms of camera and performance. So let me get this straight. In terms of camera, Xiaomi might jump slightly ahead of the OnePlus 12. Not by a huge margin, but like let's say slightly ahead. But if I were to recommend you an overall good product in terms of camera, performance, software, you know, like everything combined, I would recommend OnePlus 12 over the Xiaomi. Considering Xiaomi uh, doesn't have that kind of brand value in that premium segment. OnePlus, you know, has been there for a long time now. Or OnePlus 12 is an amazing smartphone overall. If you combine especially the clean experience of Oxygen OS, yeah, even the camera is fantastic. Xiaomi 14 thoda thoda aage nikal jata hai, but overall, I would say OnePlus 12 would be a better pick. I mean, pretty simple. If you have access to your mobile phone number and if you have access to your SMS ki access hai, or if you have added that number in your account, mein add kiya hai, it's pretty simple. You just uh, go to the password reset options and whatever you have on your phone, pe aa raha hai, that security code, just enter that and Google should let you reset your password. So just use a different device to log in. Pop in your SIM card in another phone where if you have SMS coming from, then you will have SMS coming Sixty people have been killed in a Moscow attack in a concert uh, when the Islamic State has now claimed responsibility for this attack. The White House had said that it had warned Moscow a month ago of, of uh, a possible attack and that repeated warnings uh, were, gi were given on attacks or large gatherings that could be possible. Uh, remember, this attack took place in the outskirts of Moscow in Russia. More than 100 people have been wounded at the Crocus City Hall where the attack took place. Now, the Islamic State group has claimed that it uh, carried out the attack and dramatic visuals uh, from the event show that panic concert goers have been taking cover and uh, shots have been fired and explosions rung out in the place as well. Now, a fresh setback for the Congress in Himachal Pradesh. Three independent MLAs have resigned and are likely to join the BJP. One of the three leaders has said that they will uh, contest the elections on a BJP ticket. Earlier, six Congress MLAs had also resigned. The independent MLAs said the Chief Minister Sukhpinder Singh Sukhu has targeted MLAs and their families and registered false cases against them after they voted in favour of the BJP candidate in the Rajya Sabha elections last month. The BJP Legislative Party in Himachal held a meeting to de uh, yesterday uh, amid developments in co the Congress. This, of course, comes as the Chief Minister Sukhu had accused the BJP of luring MLAs. You know that 
जैसे जैसे लोकसभा के चुनाव आते हैं तो हर प्रकार के हथकंडे भारतीय जनता पार्टी की सरकार अपनाती है और इनकम टैक्स ने उस पर कार्रवाई की है और कार्रवाई करते हुए हमारा जो बैंक अकाउंट है वो सील कर दिया है ये क्या कहीं वो नोटों के दम पर तो नहीं उन्होंने अपने ईमान को गिर भी रख दिया था और दबाव इतना था कि उनको इस्तीफा देना पड़े और आप ही हेलीकॉप्टर में रहे हैं और आप ही सी आर पी एफ की सिक्योरिटी में आ रहे हैं और जा भी हेलीकॉप्टर में रहे हैं तो आप बताइए इतना सारा धन का प्रयोग क्या लोकतंत्र के लिए अच्छा है पार्टी ने कार्यक्रम दिए हैं अभियान दिए हैं उनकी यहाँ पर समीक्षा कर रहे हैं जैसे आजकल त्रिदेव सम्मेलन हर विधानसभा क्षेत्र में हो रहे हैं तो कहाँ हुआ कहाँ नहीं हुआ कब होगा इसी तरह हमारी पार्टी ने आगे अनुसूचित जाति मोर्चा के सम्मेलन हर मंडल पर करने हैं उसके बारे में यहाँ पर चर्चा हो रही है हमारा जो केंद्र की योजनाओं के लाभार्थी हैं उनसे संपर्क का अभियान चल रहा है उस पर यहाँ पर समीक्षा हुई है और आगे उस अभियान को और प्रभावी ढंग से चलाने का यहाँ पर जो है वो विचार हुआ है have a colleague gazali joining us with more details gazali take us to the situation in himachal pradesh as of now we're learning that uh, uh, three more mlas are saying that uh, they were in fact being harassed by the uh, government by the sukhu administration and uh, that three independent mlas have now resigned and they're going to join the bjp yeah one of the independent mlas and father of another mla rebel mla is they were booked for uh, what happened during the raj sabha polls and after that most of these independent mlas all three of them have been accusing the sukhu government of harassing them through police action now these three rebel M independent mlas have resigned from the assembly though their resignation has not been accepted and these three uh, independent mlas are likely to join the bjp though there is no immediate threat to sukhu's government since uh, the congress has numbers in the assembly but um, the bjp will certainly try to field all these nine mlas uh the six disqualified congress mlas and the three independent mlas for the bipolar elections once the resignation is accepted and once um the ec notifies the bipolar dates but this is not going to be easy for the bjp as well because all these nine uh, ex mlas as of now have have won the election against the bjp candidates itself so there is an internal rebellion within the bjp as well that how can you accommodate all the nine mlas and fill them as as bjp candidates further so uh, those who whose government right now is safe there is no trust vote but the developments itself will put the government's focus more on the bipolar elections than governance and the lok sabha campaign right uh, uh, ghazali in fact uh, at this point uh, there have been several issues when it comes to the co uh, the congress in himachal pradesh uh, and uh, they have been in fire fighting mode for quite some time now have they come to a solution on how they're going to keep their uh, uh, flock together uh we saw the u turn by pratibha singh the state president day before yesterday she was all out saying that she is not going to contest the elections perhaps the reason being that mr sukhu has not been able to govern the state properly and the cadre and the workers are morally down and ms pratibha singh said that that is the reason that just mp lad funds is not enough to go out in front of the people and seek votes perhaps the governance work or the developmental work has not been done but yesterday should took a u turn saying that no i didn't accuse mr sukhu of mis governance or anything of that sort now that shows that how mr sukhu is battling on multiple fronts the state president of the congress perhaps is not supporting the cm uh, there is internal rebellion within the uh, cadre and rank with mla squeezing the party and joining bjp uh, the party high command had sent senior leadership to do the fire fighting and save the government back then during the raj sabha poll fiasco uh, in feb but all that thing uh, perhaps has not worked too eff effectively for the government that perhaps mr sukhu retained the government passed the finance bill with majority but the threat continues right. that bjp will try to poach mlas or its leaders and destabilize the government there right thank you gazali for joining us and bringing us those details on this development We'll continue tracking these stories for you for now. Short break. Hello, Moto. Motorola. 
India's best 5G smartphone brand. Justice, D.Y. Chandrachur, NDTV, big exclusive. We provide justice to common citizens and there is no case which is too small even for the highest court of the nation. CGI ka kaam karne ka alag andaz. Sometimes I get emails even in the middle of the night and I'm always available to answer those emails. 25 crore final judgments and orders. This data is available online. As on 29th February 2024, 3.09 crore cases have been heard on video conferencing mode. Chief Justice Chandrachur se jodi ansuni baate. Saadhi teen baje subeh mera din shuru ho jata hai. My best friend, who is my wife, Kalpana. Both of us are vegans. Khabaron mein aapka bharosa. NDTV. This show isn't just about news from the southern states. It's one that looks at the rest of India and the world from a diverse South India point of view. Because NDTV has always taken the southern view seriously. The Southern View with Veera Raghav. Only on NDTV 24-7. So friends, next I have is this uh, shiny new device coming straight from the Realme factory. This is the all new Realme Narzo 70 Pro 5G. And I'm shiny because see, of course, it's shiny. I love the way it looks. Even the frame is very shiny. At the same time, this phone really shines bright when we look at features. Because here also a lot of interesting things Realme is packed. What we have is a Sony AMX 890 sensor with 50 megapixels a primary camera that has OIS. At the same time, inside the phone is really packed with features. In fact, we can control this phone from gestures se control kar sakte because this has got something that Realme calls air gestures. So, if you can see and have a closer look about how this Realme Narzo 70 Pro really is, I would say very interesting mid-range smartphone coming straight from Realme. Finally, the wait is over. Realme's latest hotshot, the Narzo 70 Pro 5G, Finally, India mein launch ho gaya hai. This phone is packed with amazing features that will make you go wow. This phone mein hai ek rainwater smart touch feature. This means no more tensions about phone usage in a light drizzle. The powerful MediaTek Dimensity chipset lets you game, multitask and do everything else at lightning speed. The 5000 mAh battery and SuperBook fast charging will get you back in action in no time. The phone's horizon glass design gives it a super premium head-turning look. Realme has kept it affordable. Narzo 70 Pro 5G starts at just Rs 18,999. You can grab it in stylish glass green and glass gold colors from March 22nd on Amazon and the Realme website. With its awesome display, camera and overall performance, the Realme Narzo 70 Pro 5G is a total Pesa Vasool deal. If you're looking for a smartphone that's powerful, stylish and affordable, this is it. Kate Middleton, Britain's Princess of Wales, said that she was undergoing chemotherapy after tests taken after her abdominal surgery in January revealed that cancer had been present. Now, Kate, wife of the heir of the throne, Prince William, called the cancer discovery a huge shock. This news, of course, comes after a fresh health blow to the British royal family as King Charles is also undergoing treatment for cancer. Now, Kate spent two weeks in the hospital in January after undergoing what her office said at the time was a successful and planned surgery for an unspecified but non-cancerous condition. Now, Kate, in a video message that she shared, said that the subsequent tests had revealed cancer had been found and that uh, as of now she's well and getting stronger. Listen in. In January, I underwent major abdominal surgery in London and at the time it was thought that my condition was non-cancerous. The surgery was successful. However, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. 
My medical team therefore advised that I should undergo a course of preventative chemotherapy and I'm now in the early stages of that treatment. This of course came as a huge shock and William and I have been doing everything we can to process and manage this privately for the sake of our young family. As you can imagine, this has taken time. It has taken me time to recover from major surgery in order to start my treatment. But most importantly, it has taken us time to explain everything to George, Charlotte and Louis in a way that's appropriate for them and to reassure them that I'm going to be okay. As I've said to them, I am well and getting stronger every day by focusing on the things that will help me heal in my mind, body and spirits. Having William by my side is a great source of comfort and reassurance too, as is the love, support and kindness that has been shown by so many of you. It means so much to us both. We hope that you'll understand that as a family, we now need some time, space and privacy while I complete my treatment. Right, I have my colleague Vishal joining us with more details. Vishal, this video message, of course, comes at a time when there was pressure building on the royal family uh, after there were speculations of Kate Middleton going missing or uh, not making public appearances. Uh, there were several conspiracy theories also being uh, woven. And at that point, Kate has come out and shared her, uh, her journey with uh, cancer at this point and also comes as a, sh as a shock because King Charles is undergoing cancer treatment. So this is sort of a bittersweet moment for the royal family and the UK public. They had been waiting for uh, Kate to make an appearance. She has finally made an appearance, but even though it's not a public appearance, she has come out and cleared the air uh, what's going on. Uh, so uh, sadly, she is, has revealed that she has cancer and she is going uh, chemotherapy. Uh, so as you mentioned earlier, in January, she had undergone abdominal surgery. So it's all related to that. Uh, and King Charles also has undergone surgery. Uh, he also has uh, some sort of cancer, but it's not been revealed what cancer that is. So a uh, big, uh, I mean, uh, very sad days for the royal family. As far as Kate is concerned, uh, the public life has been uh, thrown into disarray by, you know, uh, British uh, tabloid newspapers and media saying that there could be uh, several reasons why she is not making public public appearances. There were wild speculations all over the world. Uh, so this video from uh, Kate could clear some air, but if, uh, but uh, she is yet to make a public appearance. So those wild rumors uh, most likely will still go on. Uh, it can be recalled that she had shared a family picture earlier this month, right. which had also led to some wild rumors. So it's all going on for the. Uh, royal family. Right. Uh, thank you, Vishal, for joining us and bringing us those details on this development. We'll continue tracking these stories for you for now, short break. Hello, Moto. Motorola, India's best 5G smartphone brand. talking but very little being said too many voices but hardly any being heard you turn to a show that puts you front and center a show that headlines the stories of the people by the people for the people
फ्रेंड्स दिस इज वट आई हैव फॉर द नेक्स्ट वन बिकॉज यहाँ पे दिस स्लीक लुकिंग लैपटॉप कमिंग स्ट्रेट फ्रॉम एपल इज द लेटेस्ट जनरेशन ऑफ मैकबुक एयर और यहाँ पे वॉट स्पैक्ड इन साइड इज एपल्स न्यू एम थ्री चिप नाउ तो ये एप्पल ने फाइनली लॉन्च कर दिया है एंड वॉट अमेजिंग इज दट लुक एट दिस प्रोफाइल मतलब कितना स्लीक आपको लैपटॉप मिलता है एट द सेम टाइम इट पैक्स सम अमेजिंग परफॉर्मेंस यहाँ पे एप्पल की लेटेस्ट एम थ्री चिप है इट्स अ फैनलेस डिजाइन दैट द रीजन की काफी आपको स्लीक मिलने वाला है क्वाइट लाइट वेट एंड दिस इनफैक्ट इज द फिफ्टीन इंच वेरियंट जिसका थर्टीन इंच वेरियंट है वो थोड़ा सा और ज्यादा छोटा और आपको हल्का फील होता है इट्स यू नो इवन मोर पोर्टेबल एट द सेम टाइम इट पैक्स सम सीरियस पावर बिकॉज यहाँ पे जो मेमरी है इट गोज अप टू ट्वेंटी फोर जी बी द स्टोरेज कैन गो अप टू टू टेराबाइट्स हमारे पास में प्रॉपर मैग सेफ पोर्ट है वी हैव हेडफोन जैक एज वेल एट द सेम टाइम यहां पर यूएस बी सी पोर्ट भी हैं वी हैव अ फुल साइज की बोर्ड अ नाइस फिफ्टीन इंच स्क्रीन इन अ वेरी स्लीक फॉर्म फैक्टर इन दिस पैक्स अ सिक्स स्पीकर सिस्टम एज वेल सो लेट सी अब क्लोज हाउ इज दिस Apple's latest MacBook Air with M3 chip. The beloved MacBook Air just got a super power upgrade with the brand new M3 chip. Ready ho jaiye for blazing fast speeds, longer battery life and mind blowing AI capabilities. Apple claim karta hai ki the M3 chip is up to 60% faster than the already speedy M1 chip. Imagine kariye ki editing videos, creating music or even casually crushing your enemies in an intense game, the laptop kafi aasani se ye sab kar hi sakta hai. No sweat. Apple promise karta hai whopping 18 hours of battery life on a single charge. That's almost a full day of work. और एक्चुअली इवन प्ले बिना किसी पावर आउटलेट की जरूरत पड़े टॉक अबाउट फ्रीडम द न्यू न्यूरल इंजिन मेक्स दिस द बेस्ट मैकबुक एयर येट फॉर ए आई टास्क इज Stay informed and entertained with the new and updated NDTV News app. You can watch all our channels live, listen to podcasts, read breaking and exclusive news from around the world and more. Download the NDTV app today and get access to the best journalism and storytelling on your smartphone or tablet. The NDTV app, news that matters to you. ट्रैकिंग की बात से इनफैक्ट याद आया गया डिड यू नो कि आप अब ट्रैक कर सकते हैं अबाउट योर कंट्रीब्यूशन टूवर्ड्स एन हेल्थियर एनवायरमेंट बिकॉज अगर आप ऊबर यूज करते हैं तो आई एम श्योर आपको अभी पता होगा कि उसमें दिज एन ऑप्शन कि आप इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स को बुक कर सकते हैं इफ यू प्रेफर गोइंग सस्टेनेबल लेकिन अब यहाँ पे एक ऑप्शन आ गया है जहाँ पे आपको ऊबर दिखाता है कि आप क्या सेव कर रहे हैं कंपेयर टू अगर आप एक नॉर्मल व्हीकल में जाते हैं तो आप कितने कार्बन एमिशंस होने से रोक रहे हैं और वो आपको दिखाता है इन फॉर्म ऑफ ट्रीज बीइंग प्लांटेड तो कहीं ना कहीं ये एक अच्छी चीज है जहां पे यू कैन कीप ट्रैक ऑफ योर यू नो योर कंट्रीब्यूशन कि आप अपने डेली हैबिट्स में जब आप सुबह ऑफिस के लिए ऊबर ले रहे हैं जब आप शाम के बाहर जा रहे हैं अगर आप एक ई यूज करते हैं सो हाउ मच एसेंशियली आर यू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग टूवर्ड्स द एनवायरमेंट दिस सर्विस इज लाइव now in multiple indian cities so next time you can uber i would request balls even though the big bangalore pacers alzari joseph and cameron green showed what they keep for law shivam dubey working his way back after an injury turned on the heat in his 28 ball 35 to eventually and chennai a six wicket win on the opening night it was a ground filled to the rafters let's listen into what the new captain of chennai super kings ruturaj gaikwad had to say about his captaincy on the wing i uh, felt it an additional pressure right from uh, captaining the state side and uh, obviously i had experience about how to go things or how to manage things so definitely uh, i enjoyed it and not even a single time i felt uh, you know pressurized about something obviously i had my bye as well so hmm. that's the super cool moment So Ruturaj Gaikwad there the new captain of Chennai Super Kings Dhoni had uh, in fact uh, told his fans earlier maybe a month back that he is going to get into a new role he steps into a new role of just a wicketkeeper 
an, an experiment which is not new. Chennai Super Kings had tried this before a couple of years earlier, a couple of years ago, uh, getting in uh, Ravindra Jadeja as their captain. That didn't work. This time around, it is their uh, young, it is one from their young brigade, Ruthu Raj Kaikwad. To talk about Chennai's opening night and uh, the opening show, I have with me Rakesh Rao, the deputy editor of Hindu and Rishi Chabra, who is the quintessential Chennai fan. Thank you very much, uh, gentlemen, for joining me on the broadcast. Rakesh, um, first up, Ruturaj Gaikwad, he says that he's not stepping into anyone's shoes, but as a captain, what, how, do, how would you rate him on a scale of one to five, if you were to? Rakesh, if you uh, didn't hear me, I asked you about your assessment of Ruturaj Gaikwad. If you were to scale him, if you were to rate him on a scale of one to five, how much would you give him and why? Okay, I'll take that question to Rishi. Rishi, if you can hear me, um, it's, it's the same question about Ruturaj Gaikwad. Bowlers and the way he set up the field as well, probably 3.5. Uh, right now because it's too early to say anything it's just the first game we have a very long season ahead so going going forward you know it, it looked very uh, good the way he was captaining the side and obviously he has the likes of ms dhoni ajinkya rahane who have you know captain not just uh, their respective yeah, ipl teams but cool. india as well so uh, overall he, he looked pretty good but only time will tell you know whether he can fill in ms dhoni's shoes uh, or not and MS Dhoni in a new role behind uh, the wicket, just as the wicket keeper um, and not as the captain of Chennai Super Kings. How, you know, how would you assess that role being the strategist and the wicket keeper? Um, I mean, you know, it's, it's difficult uh, to uh, just see MS play as a wicket keeper and not, you know, him being at the toss and, you know, not leading the uh, CSK team. I mean, every time you talk about Chennai Super Kings, the first name that comes to your mind is MS Dhoni. But uh, we all knew that this had to come at some point of time, especially after the way uh, he got injured last year. But I think overall, you know, even though he's not the captain, but he's still there to guide uh, Rituraj and the entire management, you know, to how to go about it. And uh, I think uh, with no captaincy burden, I think he'll be able to play his entire mm -hmm. season very freely and enjoy whatever's left in the IPL for him. Rishi, I think MS Dhoni, year after year, uh, he, he amazes his fans. And the way he affected the run out last night, it goes on to show perhaps even though he has not played cricket for an entire year, he just has it in at a subliminal level, maybe in his DNA. He has, uh, you know, he has those reflexes. Absolutely rightly said, Rika. You know, he has it in his DNA. Uh, he hasn't played any form of cricket, uh, let alone, you know, international or domestic. But uh, the way he affected that run out, he took two catches uh, in, in the match as well. So, you know, he, he looked pretty fit. He, he, he's fitter as compared to what he was a few years back. And obviously, you know, with that run out, it, it made everyone feel that, you know, MS Dhoni could have played a few more years of international <laughs> cricket. And uh, he can still keep True. going on and on. I mean, if you ask us, the fans, we would never want him to retire. But, uh, I mean, he was brilliant behind the stumps as yeah. well. Yeah, but at some point, there has to be a logical conclusion to his career. Uh, Rakesh, I was asking you earlier on, uh, Ruturaj Gaikwad, the new um, skipper of Chennai Super Kings, on the first night, Chennai registered a win. If you were to rate him on a scale of 1 to 5, how much would you give him and why? Rika, it's still very early days, but uh, yeah, I think uh, see when you when you take up that responsibility, uh, you know, after having seen somebody like MS at their helm, uh, obviously, you know, uh, it is quite obvious for him to get a you know to feel a little overwrought because he is he's starting off at the ground where you know uh, everybody loves to see one man rule the roost there. I mean, he's the one that that brings in the crowd and suddenly they see somebody else you know, like marshalling all those resources yes he 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 was a little nervy and which is completely understandable but if you have a man with the cricketing brain of ms Tony on the field why wouldn't you use 
you know, like why wouldn't you use his services? And you could see MS, you know, adjusting the field from time to time. Mm -hmm. And that is that is quite obvious. And uh, I mean, uh, Rituraj hardly did anything wrong. Because uh, if you see the kind of, uh, I mean, the one particular change when he brought back, you know, uh, you know, like Rahman, and uh, he yeah. got those wickets. And I mean, that wickets. was that was, I think, was a smart move. Mm. Uh, whatever little that we could see of his captaincy, yes, I would pick that point. And um, of course, uh, when the team was chasing it down, he was the only one to stay at a hundred percent strike rate. All others were more than hundred percent. Right. Right. So he didn't have to do much really because they got a great start. So again, he didn't have to reject the kind of, you know, their uh, you know, like, uh, order in any way. So he didn't have much to do once the team uh, still, I would say that it restricted the opposition to 173. Mm. Uh, but yes, overall, he didn't do much wrong. Yeah, it, uh, and, and also the, our captain is as good as his team. But Rakesh, let me ask you, and, I, and this question is for the both of you, and I'll ask, start uh, asking Rakesh as to what was the high point of the night? See, for me, it is. it was like, you know, you're underlining something which we have been seeing with RCB for so long. I mean, the script became so predictable hmm. because if RCB bats first and they if they don't put enough on the board, so when I say enough, I mean well over 200 because their bowling is so weak. Right. In fact, for me, uh, you know, for RCB to win, they'll have to chase down because they, they can score 200 in every single match, but their bowling is so weak that that bowling is capable of conceding that one extra run. Mm. So yesterday also when the, you know, when the skipper said that we were 15, 20 runs short, I thought they were much more than that because, because uh, even if they had scored say about 190, 200, this particular attack is not capable of keeping the opposition down to that 200 because just look at their attack, just revisit that scorecard again and just look at the bowling resources, uh, you know, uh, used. I still feel that on a wicket, I mean, on a, on a ground which which offers you that kind of a fast outfield, mm. uh, you'll have to field better. You have to stick to your, you know, your plan. Your, you, you have to be far more disciplined. And RCB attack over a period of time, they don't have it in them. And especially their spin option is almost negligible. They don't have a specialist spinner in the side who can get into the playing 11. So, so you expect... I mean, like Maxwell to bowl a lot more, but then he bowled only one over. Mm -hmm. And if Shivam Dubey is around, they will they will not bowl a spinner to him at all. Yeah. So, I mean, overall, a team that went to the auction and brought as many as nine fast bowling options. I mean, that's ridiculous. It's and that is that is precisely what I'm saying. Overall, thing. for me, yeah. the script was so predictable. Yeah. CSK was so you know professional despite that 95 run stand. I think they were right on top of the game. So RCB was almost not there except the first few overs. Because once the chase started, hmm. you know, when you're hitting at more than 10 runs in the first six overs, almost plus, you know, nine odd in the first 10 overs, right. it's it's almost done. So okay, let very me predictable, take, nothing really to Let me at. take another question uh, with Rishi. Rishi, uh, when we talk about Chennai's bowling resources with Mustafizur delivering that 4-4-29 four, four, performance uh, on the opening night, do you think that Chennai now has a happy headache in terms of their bowling uh, selection? I mean, it does because, you know, we not just have Mustafa uh, Rahman, but Shadul Thakur waiting in the camp as well to uh, get into the playing 11. True. And, uh, you know, uh, the way he bowled uh, Mustafa uh, in the game yesterday, I think that was the changing point because those four quick wickets that he got, hmm. I think uh, RCB was scoring, uh, they were 41 for zero and then all of a sudden they were 75 for five in a spam of few overs. And that, I believe, was the changing point that you know uh, restricted the free yeah. flow run scoring for rcb and they were shot by say about 25 30 runs i feel in the match and going forward i think you know uh, like i said it's a long tournament you'll have to rotate your bowlers and keep them fresh for the crunch game so uh, as of now it's it's a good headache it is it is a happy headache and in fact uh, mustafa zur's wickets were the turning point of the night. Thank you very much, Rakesh and Rishi, for joining me this morning. Now, it is uh, the start of the season and tonight is the first double header. Uh, the first game, which starts at 3.30 this afternoon, Rishabh Pant returns to action after uh, the injury, the accident that he had a couple of years. 
his team delhi capitals will take on shikhar dhawan's team which is punjab super king uh, super kings it's at a new venue it's a 36 venue of ipl in mulanpur in punjab where these two teams will clash against each other later in the evening at 7:30 IPL moves to Eden Gardens where captain Shreya Shayar's team is going to take on their former captain Pat Cummins um, who's now going to be leading Hyderabad and he became the highest paid player from IPL auction this season to very interesting matches coming up on double header saturday the first double header of the season stay tuned to all the updates on ndtv 24/7 thanks for watching stay informed and entertained with the new and updated ndtv news app you can watch all our channels live listen to podcasts read breaking and exclusive news from around the world and more download the ndtv app today and get access to the best journalism and storytelling on your smartphone or tablet the ndtv app news that matters to you tracking ki baat se in fact yaad aaya guys did you know कि आप अब ट्रैक कर सकते हैं अबाउट योर कंट्रीब्यूशन टुवर्ड्स एन हेल्थियर एनवायरमेंट बिकॉज अगर आप ऊबर यूज करते हैं तो आई एम श्योर आपको अभी पता होगा कि उसमें दिस एन ऑप्शन कि आप इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स को बुक कर सकते हैं इफ यू प्रेफर गोइंग सस्टेनेबल लेकिन अब यहां पे एक ऑप्शन आ गया है जहां पे आपको ऊबर दिखाता है कि आप क्या सेव कर रहे हैं कंपेयर टू अगर आप एक नॉर्मल व्हीकल में जाते हैं तो आप कितने कार्बन एमिशंस होने से रोक रहे हैं और वो आपको दिखाता है इन फॉर्म ऑफ ट्रीज बीइंग प्लांटेड तो कहीं ना कहीं ये एक अच्छी चीज है जहां पे यू कैन कीप ट्रैक ऑफ योर यू नो योर कंट्रीब्यूशन कि आप अपने डेली हैबिट्स में जब आप सुबह ऑफिस के लिए ऊबर ले रहे हैं जब आप शामों के बाहर जा रहे हैं अगर आप एक ईवी यूज करते हैं सो हाउ मच एसेंशियली आर यू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग टूवर्ड्स द एनवायरमेंट दिस सर्विस इज लाइव नाउ इन मल्टीपल इंडियन सिटीज तो नेक्स्ट टाइम यू कैन ऊबर आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट कि अगर आप एक इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल यूज करते हैं इट विल kind of contribute towards the environment or you can clearly track in form of number of trees being planted so i'm sure normally we friends sometimes we see each other's uber ratings ki kisko kitne star mile hain kisi ki kitni rating hai so i'm sure going next this could be a thing that we all might track ki acha maine kitne trees ko plant kiya by going electric ya kaun aage jeet raha hai it's a nice thing did you know this if yes amazing if no please let me know you know the address it's tg@ndtv.com friends moving ahead for the top story i have got not one but in fact two different new smartphones these are from the samsung galaxy a series what i have with me is the all new samsung galaxy a35 sath mein galaxy a55 bhi hai both are of course 5G स्मार्टफोन्स इंटरेस्टिंग डिजाइन इंटरेस्टिंग कॉन्फ़िगरेशन और काफी फ्रेश लग रहे हैं दोनों फोन्स कमिंग स्ट्रेट फ्रॉम सैमसंग और यहाँ पे सैमसंग इज प्रॉमिसिंग अ फ्यू थिंग्स सबसे पहले एक काफी इंटरेस्टिंग और प्रीमियम डिजाइन सेकेंड थिंग इज अमेजिंग ड्यूरेबिलिटी बिकॉज यहाँ पे ऑन द फ्रंट एंड ऑन द बैक वॉट वी हैव इज कॉर्निंग्स गोल्डा ग्लास विक्टर्स प्लस एट द सेम टाइम यहाँ पे सैमसंग इज प्रोमिसिंग अ कंप्लीट ऑसम सिक्योरिटी स्वीट अलॉन्ग विद Awesome performance. So let's see up close कि आखिर इन दोनों फोन्स में Samsung ने क्या कुछ पैक किया है. Ready हो जाइए for cutting edge features and a seamless Android experience. Samsung ने इंडिया में officially debut किया है the Galaxy A55 5G and Galaxy A35 5G, bringing. Arvind Kejriwal sent to 7-day ED custody. Kejriwal now moves court seeking removal of cop from security team. BJP demands CM's resignation. Over Kejriwal's arrest, opposition moves election commission. India Block slams the government over the arrest and urges EC to curb IT department and ED.
TRS leader Kavita Zaidi custody ends today. She is going to be produced in court. Bengaluru water crisis worsens. CM Sidharamaya warns of severe drought and makes appeal to voters. Fresh setback for Congress in Himachal Pradesh. Three independent MLAs resign and are likely to join the BJP. At least 60 people killed in Moscow attack. Gunmen kill at least 16 concert attack. Islamic State claims responsibility. Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has been sent to seven-day enforcement directorate custody. Remember, he was produced in the Rouse Avenue court in Delhi where the probe agency had requested 10-day custody. Now, Arvind Kejriwal has claimed that a Delhi police officer who had allegedly manhandled former Deputy CM Manish Sisodia on the premises of a court in the city has now misbehaved with him as well. The Amami Party chief said this in an application filed in the Delhi's Rouse Avenue court in which he sought the removal of this officer from his security cordon. Earlier, Amalmi Party ministers Atishi and Saurabh Bardwaj were detained by the police during the party's protest against Kejriwal's arrest in the Delhi liquor policy case. Now, BJP has demanded that Kejriwal must step down as chief minister. Remember, this comes as the Amalmi Party claims that uh, the CM will continue his duties from jail. Listen in to these political reactions. उनको हम जरूर आगे बढ़ाएंगे चाहे ट्रायल कोर्ट में हो चाहे हाई कोर्ट में हो चाहे सुप्रीम कोर्ट में हो लेकिन हम न्यायपालिका से भी उम्मीद करेंगे कि उनकी आंखों के सामने लोकतंत्र की हत्या हो रही है उनकी आंखों के सामने एक एक करके एक एक करके विपक्ष की पार्टियों पे हमले हो रहे हैं उनकी आंखों के सामने विपक्ष के नेताओं को जेल में भेजा जा रहा है उनकी आंखों के सामने विपक्ष की पार्टियों के बैंक अकाउंट फ्रीज किए जा रहे हैं तो लोकतंत्र को बचाना न्यायपालिका की भी जिम्मेदारी है अब क्या एक सवाल उठता है जो एक टेक्निकल सवाल भी और संविधानिक सवाल भी है क्या वो अब सरकार जेल से चलेगी हमने तो सुना था सर, जो गुंडा राज चलता था जेल से अब दिल्ली की सरकार क्या जेल से चलेगी तय नई तरह की राजनीति है भारतीय जनता पार्टी मांग करती है अरविंद केजरीवाल की लोगों से और आम आदमी पार्टी से तुरंत के तुरंत आम आदमी पार्टी अरविंद केजरीवाल का इस्तीफा ले आज संवैधानिक पद पर विराजमान सुचिता का हवाला देने वाला एक व्यक्ति किस प्रकार से प्रशासनिक तंत्र के माध्यम से भ्रष्टाचार को परिभाषित करेगा उसका ब्यौरा मिला अरविंद केजरीवाल और उनके कृत्यों के माध्यम से मीडिया की एजेंसीज और जो वर्तमान में ऑनलाइन दस्तावेज मौजूद हैं ये सभी दस्तावेज और मीडिया चैनल्स पर प्रसारित कुछ तथ्य दिल दहला देने वाले हैं I have my colleague Ishika joining us with more details. Ishika, now Kejriwal has said that a cop has misbehaved with him. He sought his removal from his security guard on as well. Uh, remember, this is the same uh, officer, Ishika, who has been accused of manhandling Manish Sisodia as well. Well, yes, you know, as you rightly pointed out, in fact, Arvind Keshaval, you know, in his application to the court, he has said that the officer, you know, has misbehaved with him and uh, the officer is the same officer who had misbehaved with, uh, you know, uh, uh, with uh, Manish Sisodia as well. Thus, you know, Arvind Keshaval has, in fact, sought the removal of that officer. Now, you know, uh, clearly we have seen that on many, you know, on many occasions, you know, especially when uh, when Manish Sisodia was also arrested after that also, you know, uh, Ahmadi Party had claimed that Manish Sisodia was also misbehaved 
behaved by the officer and that is why now in fact Arvind Kejriwal is in fact you know uh, wanting the removal of the officer apart from that in fact you know let me tell you that the Aam Admi party uh, you know uh, has in fact said that after this they are not going to sit down in fact they have very strategically planned the three days that is today monday and tuesday today let me tell you today aam Admi party is going to hold a massive protest at the shahidi park where they say that all the aam Admi party leaders all the aam Admi party volunteers under the leadership of the punjab chief minister bhagwant man will be leading uh, you know uh, will be holding a mega protest they have also in fact invited the other parties of the india block alliance to come and support them and for 24 they have said that they are in fact going will uh, right. they will be going to people through their door to door campaigns right. and on you know on the 26 they are saying that with the people of delhi they will be growing the prime minister's residence so certainly the aam Admi party is saying that they are not going to sit down right now right. they are in fact planning a mega protest because what has happened after that it is you know they will be holding a series of protests right. on the streets of the national capital over to you right continue tracking the story for us ishika as it develops Shifting focus now, at least 60 people have been killed after a gunman attack a packed concert venue on the outskirts of Moscow. More than 100 people have been wounded at the Crocus City Hall. The Islamic State group has now claimed that it carried out the attack. Dramatic visuals show panicked concert goers taking covers as short shots were fired and explosions ring out. I'm being joined by my colleague Vishal uh, as well as uh, Che Bose, who's RT International correspondent. Uh, Vishal, over to you. Thanks for joining us, Shay. Uh, I would just uh, uh, cut to the chase straight away. So uh, what are you picking up and uh, what are the latest details emerging from the Ground Zero? I believe you're you are there. Uh, what's the latest death toll that you hear? Yes, you must join me just outside Moscow, uh, the center of Moscow, northwest of Moscow uh, city center at the Crocus City Hall. It's, a, it's an entertainment venue. It's a large entertainment venue and it's joined by several shopping malls, including the Vegas shopping mall. Now, last night at about 8 p.m., we know that five men, at least five attackers, entered uh, the uh, Crocus City Hall music venue where a packed audience, about 6,000 tickets have been sold for a very popular rock band called Picnic, very popular with, with children, actually, and young people, and began to open fire. Uh, they moved through the venue, uh, executed people, for want of a better word. And unfortunately and tragically, we now know that there are at least 80 uh, confirmed fatalities here uh, by the city of Moscow, at least 100 uh, injured. And many of them are critically injured and are now inside uh, in hospitals in the Moscow region. Now, as you can see behind me, uh, a huge blaze erupted here at the venue, and it's believed that that fire was set by the attackers in an attempt to distract uh, rescuers and to cause panic among the concert goers. Now, we know that women, children, and men have been killed. The uh, Russian children's ombudsman has uh, confirmed that children are among the dead as well. So, this is a very cynical, very callous, but also very well planned and executed uh, attack. A terrorist attack, uh, and it has caused a great Shea, shock uh, here. White House Russia. has just said that uh, it had warned Russia about the attacks uh, in the last month. Uh, uh, how do you think that happened? And uh, uh, like, uh, if if U.S. warned Russia, how do you think the attack unfolded in such a manner? It it, it appears to be an, a highly coordinated attack. How do you think it happened? Well, there was a statement made by the American and British embassies here in Russia uh, to their uh, citizens suggesting that they should avoid uh, large gatherings, that there was a, uh, they had information or intelligence that there was an imminent terrorist attack uh, in the Moscow region. Now, they said that that would occur in the next uh, 48 hours, that was on the 7th of March. That period passed, of course, uh, and of course there is significant interest now in the fact that these two embassies, uh, both now, of course, uh, representing countries which are at loggerheads with Russia on various issues, as we know, 
so there's significant interest. We've had statements from Maria Zaharova, the foreign minister spokesperson here, uh, querying that and suggesting that if these countries had information about an incoming attack, they should have shared that with the Russian authorities, which apparently they did not. Now, what's also interesting is that uh, we still don't know uh, the uh, whereabouts of the attackers here. There was uh, so about that, Shay, that uh, it's it's been a few hours since the attack unfolded. So how come the attackers have still not been apprehended? Uh, I believe special forces are there. Uh, is it at Spetsnaz there, or is it some other special forces there? But how come the attackers are still at large, or they have been killed? What's what's the details about that? Well, we, we simply don't know the fate of the attackers yet. There was a suggestion that one had been captured alive uh, earlier uh, yesterday evening, uh, but as of now, we don't know. And as you can see behind me, we do know that the structure, the roof of the building, has apparently collapsed, uh, frustrating attempts by the special forces who entered the building late yesterday evening uh, to tackle these attackers, we believe. So we still don't have any concrete uh, uh, update on the whereabouts of the attackers. But the city of Moscow uh, has a vast security presence, and the uh, security forces... Uh, lastly, Shay, forces I would... Uh, 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 sorry to cut you short, but uh, uh, President is yet, uh, Putin is yet to make a statement, official statement, right? Uh, he spoke through his deputy prime minister, but uh, uh, what's the delay in his statement? It's been a few hours. Well, President Putin isn't known for making uh, uh, quick statements in any situation. He likes to uh, take in the information and get completely updated on what's actually happening. So I suggest that he's probably waiting to get more information on some of the issues that you've asked me about uh, and get this situation on the ground uh, so that he can update the Russian people. Uh, but what is absolutely clear is there's huge security presence and operation ongoing in Moscow uh, uh, right now. Uh, there's also still uh, the significant body of rescue workers behind us, and we believe uh, special forces are still on site here, uh, as we believe some of these men may still be at large. But of course, you can check out our, our website, or the International North the India, uh, for updates regularly on that, as we're updating constantly on that platform. What kind of weapons were used in this attack? I believe that there was Kalashnikov's rifles that were found, uh, and uh, I, I also read reports that some grenades were used. Uh, is it all true that uh, grenades and Kalashnikov's rifles were used? It seems from the footage that we've seen uh, that they were uh, Kalashnikov type rifles. Of course, there's many types of Kalashnikov, the most widely produced weapon on Earth. So it's very difficult to say what kind of Kalashnikov, where they originated from. We also believe that explosions were heard in the early part of the attack. Now, the men entered the building through the front doors, we believe, as well, uh, executing the unarmed security guards who were there at the time, and then moving through the building in a very deliberate and very purposeful way, it's very cynical. Uh, but it seems to have been a very well-planned and thought-out attack as well. Thanks for all the details, Shea. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, over to you, Arti. Thank you, Vishal, and thank you, Shay, for joining us and bringing those details on this particular story. Shifting focus now, amid water crisis in Bengaluru, fresh appeal from the Karnataka chief minister. He warns the people of the state that there will be a severe drought in the coming days and that there is already work underway to resolve the severe water problem in several of the areas. Now, Sidhu goes on to add that the voters should uh, keep faith on the government and assures that the Congress will fulfill the guarantees that it's made earlier. And then that the people should uh, support the Congress and uh, help them win the Lok Sabha elections. I have my colleague Pratibha joining us with more details. Pratibha, at this point, uh, uh, Karnataka CM warning of a drought. But what is the ground situation in Bengaluru as, as uh, uh, far as the water crisis is concerned? Well, we are talking about water conservation and how the Bengaluru Water Board has been talking to industries as well as uh, construction uh, companies talking about how treated water must be used instead prioritizing for other users uh, drinking water so that uh, we could overcome the crisis in a month or two. Uh, while these efforts are on yesterday, also was marked by the World Water Day where efforts were taken to introduce aerators in hotels as well as other commercial establishments uh, so that uh, uh, the wastage of water could be restricted. And on World Water Day is when this fresh appeal has been made by Chief Minister of Karnataka 
Kudra Maya talking about how over 200 taluks have been declared rot hit, and despite this, he has promised to um, take all measures to ensure that uh, Bengaluru would come out of this crisis. This is also an appeal made ahead of the Lok Sabha election because we are talking about how the Congress swept uh, into uh, a massive victory uh, with the assembly election by promising the and uh, Kudra forward to repeat his with respect to the Lok Sabha election on the guarantee. This also comes uh, uh, after the press that was held where he had right. the BJP talking about how the accounts have been frozen because that you have to wait and see well the answer lies in the Lok Sabha election. Right, Pratiba, thank you for joining us and bringing us those details. Now, talking about uh, the Bengaluru water crisis, the focus is on sustainable methods and the ways to conserve water and recharge groundwater. The key focus, according to experts, is to increase the use of treated water. Some STPs churn out high-quality water, but there are concerns over the quality from the rest. So what are the essentials uh, of the water management issues that the city is facing? My colleague Pratibha files a special report. On the occasion of World Water Day, Silicon City is setting an example for sustainable methods to meet the shortage of water. Bengaluru's Water Supply Board introduced an innovative program encouraging hotels, apartments and industries to install aerators to reduce water consumption. Whatever the today's consumption will be baseline and after the initiative 30 days, what is the per day consumption as how much it is reduced that will be measured based on the efforts taken by the hotels or any other commercial establishment or industrial establishment or apartment, apartment colony. If bulk users fail to follow the orders of the board, this would invite 50% cut of water supply and 5,000 rupees fine as Bengaluru tries hard to conserve and help its parched territories. Real estate agents are finding it hard to find tenants there as the first demand is Kaveri Pipeline. Undoubtedly, I think uh, anybody would like to move in where there's a pipe water connection and this goes without saying. Water which is coming from a pipe is far more easier than uh, having brought 10 floors or you know getting 10 tankers to fill up your sump tank every day to pump this whole thing. Next is holy celebrations and the city has decided to stick to dry colours to prevent the taps from running dry. When there is scarcity of water, it can spark conflicts. However, Bengaluru has fostered peace with its sustainable use. Can you and I help build an environmentally friendly future together? With camera person Kumar Pratibaraman in Bengaluru for NDTV. We'll continue tracking these stories for you for now short break. A stronger health system in a country can lead to better outcomes on the economic growth front. Congratulations to the Public Health Foundation of India, ranked second in a global list of schools of public health. Well, we are really talking about creating a healthy society. You can't have a population which is either sick or non-productive and expect the economy to really grow. Well, climate change is already bringing in many health challenges to us in India. We are going to be seeing, for example, non-communicable diseases uh, because, again, uh, of heat as well as water stress, we're going to see a lot more people having strokes, heart attacks, uh, kidney failure, cancers. Some people say the metaverse will only be virtual. One day this lecture hall will be made of gold and driverless cars would be trapped in intersections. But even in this maze of the future, you can't wish away health. It's time to become more resilient. Ten years of Banega Swast India, we have grown and achieved so many milestones. And now I have a plan to beat the urgency, to stop breathing with difficulty, to relieve getting choked with inactivity. Energize, 
our government, our environment, our society and ourselves. Everyone, everywhere, every day. Prime Minister Modi inaugurates the Jetson Pema Wongchuk Mother and Child Hospital in Thimphu in Bhutan. The hospital has been fully funded by the Indian government. Remember, the Prime Minister is on a two-day visit to Bhutan. This, of course, comes ahead of the Lok Sabha elections. The Prime Minister is in Bhutan. These are visuals of him inaugurating the Mother and Child Hospital, which is fully funded by the Indian government. Right, this, of course, is the Prime Minister in Bhutan. Remember, he's uh, there on a two-day visit. Uh, this is the second day of his uh, Bhutan visit. This comes ahead of the Lok Sabha elections. Uh, this would perhaps be the last official visit of the Prime Minister. Right, in Himachal Pradesh, again, crisis for the Congress. Uh, we're seeing that uh, uh, the three independent MLAs uh, have been... Um, have been uh, are going to be uh, shifting to the BJP and uh, one of them has in fact claimed that they've been harassed by the Sukhu administration uh, by filing false complaints against those who had voted for the BJP in the Rajya Sabha elections. You know that as the people of the people of the people of the people भारतीय जनता पार्टी की सरकार अपनाती है और इनकम टैक्स ने उस पर कार्रवाई की है और कार्रवाई करते हुए हमारा जो बैंक अकाउंट है वो सील कर दिया है ये क्या कहीं ये वो नोटों के दम पर तो नहीं उन्होंने अपने ईमान को गिर भी रख दिया था और दबाव इतना था कि उनको इस्तीफा देना पड़े और आप ही हेलीकॉप्टर में रहे हैं और आप ही सीआरपीएफ के सिक्योरिटी में आ रहे हैं और जा भी हेलीकॉप्टर में रहे हैं तो आप बताइए इतना सारा धन का प्रयोग क्या लोकतंत्र के लिए अच्छा है पार्टी ने कार्यक्रम दिए हैं अभियान दिए हैं उनकी यहाँ पर समीक्षा कर रहे हैं जैसे आजकल त्रिदेव सम्मेलन हर विधानसभा क्षेत्र में हो रहे हैं तो कहाँ हुआ कहाँ नहीं हुआ कब होगा इसी तरह हमारी पार्टी ने आगे अनुसूचित जाति मोर्चा के सम्मेलन हर मंडल पर करने हैं उसके बारे में यहाँ पर चर्चा हो रही है हमारा जो केंद्र की योजनाओं के लाभार्थी हैं उनसे संपर्क का अभियान चल रहा है उस पर यहाँ पर समीक्षा हुई है और आगे उस अभियान को और प्रभावी ढंग से चलाने का यहाँ पर जो है वो विचार हुआ है I have my colleague Ghazali joining us with more details. Ghazali, take us to the latest from uh, Himachal at this point. Uh, Congress facing more trouble as their independent MLAs are now saying that they're going to be sh uh, jumping ship to BJP. See, the political developments in Himachal may not be an uh, immediate threat to the Sukhu government with independent MLAs now resigning. Uh, earlier, there were the six uh, Congress MLAs who were disqualified from the Assembly and they now have moved the Supreme Court. Now, these three independent MLAs have resigned and are very likely to join BJP today. Uh, with these switchovers in Himachal, perhaps as far as the numbers are concerned, the Sukhu government is safe. But if the bipoles happen, as the EC had notified it for the 1st of June, uh, and these three, uh, and if the bipoles happen on these three seats as well, from where the independents have also resigned, then perhaps to gain major majority or to at least destabilize the government of Mr. Sukhu, the BJP needs to win all the nine seats. But to retain the power in Himachal, the Congress just needs to win one seat out of these nine. Now, we'll have to see that what happens later during the polls. But as of now, uh, the Sukhu government certainly knows that BJP will try to poach in some MLAs, some leaders, or create or engineer some internal rebellion. And we saw the prime example of that during the Raj Sabha polls, when despite not having the numbers, the BJP's Raj Sabha candidate managed to win the polls. So as of now, all eyes will be on uh, the developments in Himachal Pradesh, whether and how the firefighting takes place uh, or, or in, is, is led by Mr. Sukhu to ensure that no further internal rebellion is there and nobody quits the party uh, in, in the near future. Right. Thank you, Ghazali, for joining us and bringing us those details.
Well, Kate Middleton, Britain's Princess of Wales, said that she is undergoing preventative uh, chemotherapy after tests uh, that were taken after her major abdominal surgery in January revealed that cancer had been present. Remember, she is the wife of the heir of the throne, Prince William, and the news comes as uh, a health blow to the British royal family after King, King Charles also uh, being diagnosed with cancer. Kate spent two weeks in the hospital in January after undergoing what her office said at the time was a successful and planned surgery for an unspecified but non-cancerous condition. Now, Kate, in a video message, uh, said that subsequent tests had revealed uh, that cancer had been found and she says now she is well and getting stronger. In January, I underwent major abdominal surgery in London and at the time, it was thought that my condition was non-cancerous. The surgery was successful. However, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. My medical team therefore advised that I should undergo a course of preventative chemotherapy, and I'm now in the early stages of that treatment. This, of course, came as a huge shock, and William and I have been doing everything we can to process and manage this privately for the sake of our young family. As you can imagine, this has taken time it has taken me time to recover from major surgery in order to start my treatment. But most importantly, it has taken us time to explain everything to George, Charlotte and Louis in a way that's appropriate for them and to reassure them that I'm going to be okay. As I've said to them, I am well and getting stronger every day by focusing on the things that will help me heal in my mind, body and spirits. Having William by my side is a great source of comfort and reassurance too as is the love, support and kindness that has been shown by so many of you. It means so much to us both. We hope that you'll understand that as a family, we now need some time, space and privacy while I complete my treatment. We'll continue tracking these stories for you for now with short break. A debate has many facets, perhaps no one right answer. Left, right and centre, conversations that get to the core of the debate. Friends, it's time now for my favourite section about this episode because we always talk about Q&A, so Ask TG is the thing that I really like because I get to answer all your questions. So let's see this week, what are the questions in our week? Hi TG, which is the better phone between OnePlus 12 and Xiaomi 14 in terms of camera and performance? Okay, so you have asked that you have to know which is the better device between OnePlus 12 and and Xiaomi 14 in terms of camera and performance. So let me get this straight. In terms of camera, Xiaomi might jump slightly ahead of the OnePlus 12. Not by a huge margin, but like let's say slightly ahead. But if I were to recommend you an overall good product in terms of camera, performance, software, you know, like everything combined, I would recommend OnePlus 12 over the Xiaomi. Considering Xiaomi uh, doesn't have that kind of brand value in that premium segment. OnePlus, you know, has been there for a long time now. Or OnePlus 12 is an amazing smartphone overall. If you combine especially the clean experience of Oxygen OS, yeah, even the camera is fantastic. Xiaomi 14 thoda thoda aage nikal jata hai, but overall, I would say OnePlus 12 would be a better pick. I mean, pretty simple. If you have access to your mobile phone number and if you have SMS ki access hai, or if you have added number in your account, mein add kiya hai, it's... Arvind Kejriwal sent to 7-day ED custody. Kejriwal now moves court seeking removal of COP from security team. BJP demands CM's resignation. Over Kejriwal's arrest, opposition moves election commission. India Block slams the government over the arrest and urges EC to curb IT department and ED.
BRS leader Kavita's ED custody ends today. She is going to be produced in court. Bengaluru water crisis worsens. CM Sidharamaya warns of severe drought and makes appeal to voters. Fresh setback for Congress in Himachal Pradesh. Three independent MLAs resign and are likely to join the BJP. At least 60 people killed in Moscow attack. Gunmen kill at least 16 concert attack. Islamic State claims responsibility. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has been sent to seven-day enforcement directorate custody. Remember, he was produced in the Rouse Avenue Court in Delhi where the probe agency had requested 10-day custody. Now, Arvind Kejriwal has claimed that a Delhi police officer who had allegedly manhandled former Deputy CM Manish Sisodia on the premises of a court in the city has now misbehaved with him as well. The Amami Party chief said this in an application filed in the Delhi's Rouse Avenue Court in which he sought the removal of this officer from his security cordon. Earlier, Amarmi Party ministers Atishi and Saurabh Bardwaj were detained by the police during the party's protest against Kejriwal's arrest in the Delhi liquor policy case. Now, BJP has demanded that Kejriwal must step down as chief minister. Remember, this comes as the Amarmi Party claims that uh, the CM will continue his duties from jail. Listen in to these political reactions. उनको हम जरूर आगे बढ़ाएंगे चाहे ट्रायल कोर्ट में हो चाहे हाई कोर्ट में हो चाहे सुप्रीम कोर्ट में हो लेकिन हम न्यायपालिका से भी उम्मीद करेंगे कि उनकी आंखों के सामने लोकतंत्र की हत्या हो रही है उनकी आंखों के सामने एक एक करके एक एक करके विपक्ष की पार्टियों पे हमले हो रहे हैं उनकी आंखों के सामने विपक्ष के नेताओं को जेल में भेजा जा रहा है उनकी आंखों के सामने विपक्ष की पार्टियों के बैंक अकाउंट फ्रीज किए जा रहे हैं तो लोकतंत्र को बचाना न्यायपालिका की भी जिम्मेदारी है अब क्या एक सवाल उठता है जो एक टेक्निकल सवाल भी और संवैधानिक सवाल भी है क्या वो अब सरकार जेल से चलेगी हमने तो सुना था सर जो गुंडा राज चलता था जेल से अब दिल्ली की सरकार क्या जेल से चलेगी तय नई तरह की राजनीति है भारतीय जनता पार्टी मांग करती है अरविंद केजरीवाल की लोगों से और आम आदमी पार्टी से तुरंत के तुरंत आम आदमी पार्टी अरविंद केजरीवाल का इस्तीफा ले आज संवैधानिक पद पर विराजमान सुचिता का हवाला देने वाला एक व्यक्ति किस प्रकार से प्रशासनिक तंत्र के माध्यम से भ्रष्टाचार को परिभाषित करेगा उसका ब्यौरा मिला अरविंद केजरीवाल और उनके कृत्यों के माध्यम से मीडिया की एजेंसीज और जो वर्तमान में ऑनलाइन दस्तावेज मौजूद हैं ये सभी दस्तावेज और मीडिया चैनल्स पर प्रसारित कुछ तथ्य दिल दहला देने वाले हैं I have my colleague Ishika joining us with more details. Ishika, now Kejriwal has said that a cop has misbehaved with him. He sought his removal from the security cordon as well. Uh, remember, this is the same uh, officer, Ishika, who has been accused of manhandling Manish Sisodia as well. Well, yes, you know, as you rightly pointed out, in fact, Arvind Keshwal, you know, in his application to the court, he has said that the officer, you know, has misbehaved with him and uh, the officer is the same officer who had misbehaved with, uh, you know, uh, uh, with uh, Manish Sisodia as well. Thus, you know, Arvind Kejriwal has, in fact, sought the removal of that officer. Now, you know, uh, clearly we have seen that on many, you know, on many occasions, you know, especially when, uh, when Manish Sisodia was also arrested after that also, you know, uh, Aam Aadmi Party had claimed that Manish Sisodia was also misbehaved by the officer and that is why now in fact Arvind Kejriwal is in fact you know uh, wanting the removal of the officer 
Apart from that, in fact, you know, let me tell you that the Aam Aadmi Party, uh, you know, uh, has in fact said that after this they are not going to sit down. In fact, they have very strategically planned the three days. That is today, Monday and Tuesday. Today, let me tell you, today Aam Aadmi Party is going to hold a massive protest at the Shahidi Park where they say that all the Aam Aadmi Party leaders, all the Aam Aadmi Party volunteers under the leadership of the Punjab Chief Minister Bhagwant Man will be leading, uh, you know, uh, will be holding a mega protest. They have also, in fact, invited the other parties of the India Bloc Alliance to come and support them. And for 24, they have said that they are, in fact, going, will, uh, right. they will be going to people through their door-to-door -door campaigns. Right. And on, you know, on the 26th, they are saying that with the people of Delhi, they will be growing the Prime Minister's residence. So certainly, the Aam Aadmi Party is saying that they are not going to sit down right now. Right. They are, in fact, planning a mega protest because what has happened after that, it is, you know, they will be holding a series of protests right. on the streets of the national capital over to you right continue tracking the story for us ishika as it develops Shifting focus now, at least 60 people have been killed after a gunman attack a packed concert venue on the outskirts of Moscow. More than 100 people have been wounded at the Crocus City Hall. The Islamic State group has now claimed that it carried out the attack. Dramatic visuals show panicked concert goers taking covers as short shots were fired and explosions ring out. I'm being joined by my colleague Vishal uh, as well as uh, Che Bose, who is RT International correspondent. Uh, Vishal, over to you. Thanks for joining us, Shay. Uh, I would just uh, uh, cut to the chase straight away. So uh, what are you picking up and uh, what are the latest details emerging from the Ground Zero? I believe you're you're there. Uh, what's the latest death toll that you hear? Yes, you might join me just outside Moscow, uh, the center of Moscow, northwest of Moscow uh, city center at the Focus City Hall. It's, a, it's an entertainment venue. It's a large entertainment venue and it's joined by several shopping malls, including the Vegas shopping mall. Now, last night at about 8 p.m., we know that five men, at least five attackers, entered uh, the uh, Crocus City Hall music venue where a packed audience, about 6,000 tickets have been sold for a very popular rock band called Picnic, very popular with, with children, actually, and young people, and began to open fire. Uh, they moved through the venue, uh, executing people, for want of a better word. And unfortunately and tragically, we now know that there are at least 80 uh, confirmed fatalities here uh, by the city of Moscow, at least 100 uh, injured. And many of them are critically injured and are now inside uh, in hospitals in the Moscow region. Now, as you can see behind me, uh, a huge blaze erupted here at the venue, and it's believed that that fire was set by the attackers in an attempt to distract uh, rescuers and to cause panic among the concert goers. Now, we know that women, children, and men have been killed. The uh, Russian children's ombudsman has uh, confirmed that children are among the dead as well. So this is a very cynical, very callous, but also very well-planned and executed uh, attack a terrorist attack, uh, and it has caught a great Shea, shock uh, here. White House has just said that uh, it had warned Russia about the attacks uh, in the last month. Uh, uh, how do you think that happened? And uh, uh, like, uh, if, if U.S. warned Russia, how do you think the attack unfolded in such a manner? It, it, it appears to be an, a highly coordinated attack. How do you think it happened? Well, there was a statement made by the American and British embassies here in Russia uh, to their uh, citizens suggesting that they should avoid uh, large gatherings, that there was a, uh, they had information or intelligence that there was an imminent terrorist attack uh, in the Moscow region. Now, they said that that would occur in the next uh, 48 hours. That was on the 7th of March. That period passed, of course, uh, and of course there is significant interest now in the fact that these two embassies, uh, both now, of course, uh, representing countries which are at loggerheads with Russia on various issues, as we know. Uh, so there's significant interest, and we've had statements from Maria Zaharova, the foreign minister spokesperson here, uh, querying that, 
and suggesting that if these countries had information about an incoming attack, they should have shared that with the Russian authorities, which apparently they did not. Now, what's also interesting is that uh, we still don't know uh, the uh, whereabouts of the attackers here. There was uh, so about that, Shay, uh, it's, it's been a few hours since the attack unfolded. So how come the attackers have still not been apprehended? Uh, I believe special forces are there. Uh, is it at Spetsnaz there, or is it some other special forces there? But how come the attackers are still at large, or they have been killed? What's what's the details about that? Well, we, we simply don't know the fate of the attackers yet. There was a suggestion that one had been captured alive uh, earlier uh, yesterday evening, uh, but as of now, we don't know. And as you can see behind me, we do know that the structure, the roof of the building has apparently collapsed, uh, frustrating attempts by the special forces who entered the building late yesterday evening uh, to tackle these attackers, we believe. So we still don't have any concrete uh, uh, update on the whereabouts of the attackers. But the city of Moscow uh, has a vast security presence, and the uh, security forces... Uh, and lastly, Shay, I would... Uh, 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 sorry to cut you short, but... Uh, uh, President is yet, uh, Putin is yet to make a statement, official statement, right? Uh, he spoke through his deputy prime minister, but uh, uh, what's the delay in his statement? It's been a few hours. Well, President Putin isn't known for making uh, uh, quick statements in any situation. He likes to uh, take in the information and get completely updated on what's actually happening. So I suggest that he's probably waiting to get more information on some of the issues that you've asked me about uh, and get this situation on the ground uh, so that he can update the Russian people. Uh, but what is absolutely clear is there's huge security presence and operation ongoing in Moscow uh, uh, right now. Uh, there's also still uh, the significant body of rescue workers behind us, and we believe uh, special forces are still on site here, uh, as we believe some of these men may still be at large. But of course, you can check out our, our website or the International North of India uh, for updates regularly on that, as we're updating constantly on that platform. What kind of weapons were used in this attack? I believe that there was Kalashnikov's rifles that were found, uh, and uh, I, I also read reports that some grenades were used. Uh, is it all true that uh, grenades and Kalashnikov's rifles were used? It seems from the footage that we've seen uh, that there were uh, Kalashnikov type rifles. Of course, there's many types of Kalashnikov, the most widely produced weapon on Earth. So it's very difficult to say what kind of Kalashnikov, where they originated from. We also believe that explosions were heard in the early part of the attack. Now, the men entered the building through the front doors, we believe, as well, uh, executing the unarmed security guards who were there at the time, and then moving through the building in a very deliberate and very purposeful way, very cynical. Uh, but it seems to have been a very well-planned and thought-out attack as well. Thanks for all the details, Shay. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, over to you, Aarti. Thank you, Vishal, and thank you, Shay, for joining us and bringing those details on this particular story. Shifting focus now, amid water crisis in Bengaluru, fresh appeal from the Karnataka chief minister. He wants the people of the state that there will be a severe drought in the coming days and that there is already work underway to resolve the severe water problem in several of the areas. Now, Sidhuramaya goes on to add that the voters should uh, keep faith on the government and assures the Congress will fulfill the guarantees that it's made earlier and, the, and that the people should uh, support the Congress and uh, help them win the Lok Sabha elections. I have my colleague Pratibha joining us with more details. Pratibha, at this point, uh, uh, Karnataka CM warning of a drought, but what is the ground situation in Bengaluru as, as, uh, as far as the water crisis is concerned? Well, we are talking about water conservation and how the Bengaluru Water Board has been talking to industries as well as uh, construction uh, companies talking about how treated water must be used instead prioritizing for, for other uses, uh, drinking water, so that uh, we could overcome the crisis in a month or two. Uh, while these efforts are on, yesterday also was marked by the World Water Day, where efforts were taken to introduce aerators in hotels as well as other commercial establishments, uh, so that uh, uh, the wastage of water could be restricted. And on World Water Day is when this fresh appeal has been made by Chief Minister of Karnataka, Siddharamaya, talking about how over 200 taluks have been declared drought hit, and despite this, he has promised to 
um, take all measures to ensure that uh, Bengaluru would come out of this crisis. This is also an appeal made ahead of the Lok Sabha election because we are talking about how the Congress swept uh, into uh, a massive victory uh, with the Assembly election by promising the and uh, Sitra forward to repeat his with respect to the Lok Sabha election on the guarantee. This also comes uh, uh, after the press that was held where he had right. the BJP talking about how the terms have been frozen because of that. We'll have to wait and see where the answer lies in the local election. Right, Pratima. Thank you for joining us and bringing us those details. Now, talking about uh, the Bengaluru water crisis, the focus is on sustainable methods and the ways to conserve water and recharge groundwater. The key focus, according to experts, is to increase the use of treated water. Some STPs churn out high-quality water, but there are concerns over the quality from the rest. So what are the essentials uh, of the water management issues that the city is facing? My colleague Pratibha files a special report. On the occasion of World Water Day, Silicon City is setting an example for sustainable methods to meet the shortage of water. Bengaluru's Water Supply Board introduced an innovative program encouraging hotels, apartments and industries to install aerators to reduce water consumption. Whatever the today's consumption will be baseline and after the initiative 30 days, what is the per day consumption as how much it is reduced that will be measured based on the efforts taken by the hotels or any other commercial establishment or industrial establishment or apartment, apartment colony. If bulk users fail to follow the orders of the board, this would invite 50% cut of water supply and 5,000 rupees fine. As Bengaluru tries hard to conserve and help its parched territories, Real estate agents are finding it hard to find tenants there as the first demand is Kaveri Pipeline. Undoubtedly, I think uh, anybody would like to move in where there's a pipe water connection and this goes without saying. Water which is coming from a pipe is far more easier than uh, having brought 10 floors or you know getting 10 tankers to fill up your sump tank every day to pump this whole thing. Next is holy celebrations and the city has decided to stick to dry colours to prevent the taps from running dry. When there is scarcity of water, it can spark conflicts. However, Bengaluru has fostered peace with its sustainable use. Can you and I help build an environmentally friendly future together? With camera person Kumar Pratibaraman in Bengaluru for NDTV. We'll continue tracking these stories for you for now short break. A stronger health system in a country can lead to better outcomes on the economic growth front. Congratulations to the Public Health Foundation of India, ranked second in a global list of schools of public health. Well, we are really talking about creating a healthy society. You can't have a population which is either sick or non-productive and expect the economy to really grow. Well, climate change is already bringing in many health challenges to us in India. We are going to be seeing, for example, non-communicable diseases uh, because, again, uh, of heat as well as water stress, we're going to see a lot more people having strokes, heart attacks, uh, kidney failure, cancers. Chief Justice D.Y. Chandrachur, NDTV, big exclusive. We provide justice to common citizens and there is no case which is too small even for the highest court of the nation. CGI ka kaam karne ka lagandaaz. Sometimes I get emails even in the middle of the night and I'm always available to answer those emails. 25 crore final judgments and orders. This data is available online. As on 29 February 2024, 3.09 crore cases have been heard on video conferencing mode. Chief Justice Chandrachur se jodi ansuni baate. Saadhi teen baje subay mera din shuru ho jata hai. My best friend, who is my wife, Kalpana. Both of us are vegans. Khabro mein aapka bharu sa. NDTV.
आईपीएल का हल्ला बल्ला और सबसे शानदार कवरेज सिर्फ एन डी टीवी पर तो फ्रेंड्स नेक्स्ट आई हैव इज दिस शाइनी न्यू डिवाइस कमिंग स्ट्रेट फ्रॉम द रियल मी फैक्ट्री दिस इज द ऑल न्यू रियल मी नार्जो सेवेंटी प्रो फाइव जी और मैं शाइनी क्यों बोल रहा हूं बिकॉज सी ऑफ कोर्स इट शाइनी मतलब द वे इट लुक्स इवन द फ्रेम इज वेरी Prime Minister Modi inaugurates the Jetson Pema Wangchuk Mother and Child Hospital in Thimphu in Bhutan. The hospital has been fully funded by the Indian government. Remember the Prime Minister is on a two-day visit to Bhutan. This of course comes ahead of the Lok Sabha elections. The Prime Minister is in Bhutan. These are visuals of him inaugurating the Mother and Child Hospital which is fully funded by the Indian government. right this of course is the prime minister in bhutan remember he's uh, there on a two day visit uh, this is the second day of his uh, bhutan visit this comes ahead of the lok sabha elections uh, this would perhaps be the last official visit of the prime minister right in himachal pradesh again crisis for the congress uh, we're seeing that uh, uh, the three independent mlas uh, have been um, have been uh, are going to be uh, shifting to the bjp and uh, one of them has in fact claimed that they've been harassed by the sukhu administration uh, by filing false complaints against those who had voted for the bjp in the rajya sabha elections aap jante hain ki jaise jaise lok sabha ke chunav aate hain to har prakar ke hath kande भारतीय जनता पार्टी की सरकार अपनाती है और इनकम टैक्स ने उस पर कार्रवाई की है और कार्रवाई करते हुए हमारा जो बैंक अकाउंट है वो सील कर दिया है ये क्या कहीं वो नोटों के दम पर तो नहीं उन्होंने अपने ईमान को गिरवी रख दिया था और दबाव इतना था कि उनको इस्तीफा देना पड़े और आप भी हेलीकॉप्टर में रहे हैं और आप भी सी आर सिक्योरिटी में आ रहे हैं और जा भी हेलीकॉप्टर में रहे हैं तो आप बताइए इतना सारा धन का प्रयोग क्या लोकतंत्र के लिए अच्छा है पार्टी ने कार्यक्रम दिए हैं अभियान दिए हैं उनकी यहाँ पर समीक्षा कर रहे हैं जैसे आजकल त्रिदेव सम्मेलन हर विधानसभा क्षेत्र में हो रहे हैं तो कहाँ हुआ कहाँ नहीं हुआ कब होगा इसी तरह हमारी पार्टी ने आगे अनुसूचित जाति मोर्चा के सम्मेलन हर मंडल पर करने हैं उसके बारे में यहाँ पर चर्चा हो रही है हमारा जो केंद्र की योजनाओं के लाभार्थी हैं उनसे संपर्क का अभियान चल रहा है उस पर यहाँ पर समीक्षा हुई है और आगे उस अभियान को और प्रभावी ढंग से चलाने का यहाँ पर जो है वो विचार हुआ है I have my colleague Ghazali joining us with more details. Ghazali, take us to the latest from uh, Himachal at this point. Uh, Congress facing more trouble as their independent MLAs are now saying that they're going to be uh, jumping ship to BJP. See, the political developments in Himachal may not be a uh, immediate threat to the Sukhu government, with independent MLAs now resigning. Uh, earlier, there were the six uh, Congress MLAs who were disqualified from the Assembly, and they now have moved the Supreme Court. Now, these three independent MLAs have resigned and are very likely to join BJP today. Uh, with these switchovers in Himachal, perhaps as far as the numbers are concerned, the Sukhu government is safe. But if the bypolls happen, as the EC had notified it for the first of June, uh, and these three, uh, and if the bypolls happen on these three seats as well, from where the independents have also resigned, then perhaps to gain major. majority or to at least destabilize the government of mr sukhu the bjp needs to win all the nine seats but to retain the power in himachal the congress just needs to win one seat out of these nine now we'll have to see that what happens later during the polls but as of now uh, the sukhu government certainly knows that bjp will try to poach in some mlas some leaders or create or engineer some internal rebellion and we saw the prime example of that during the rajya sabha polls when despite not having the numbers the bjp's rajya sabha candidate managed to win the polls so as of now all eyes will be on uh, the developments in himachal pradesh whether and how the fire fighting takes place uh, or or in, is is led by mr sukhu to ensure that no further 
internal rebellion is there and nobody quits the party uh, in, in the near future. Right. Thank you, Ghazali, for joining us and bringing us those details. Kate Murdoch, Britain's Princess of Wales, said that she is undergoing preventative uh, chemotherapy after tests uh, that were taken after her major abdominal surgery in January revealed that cancer had been present. Remember, she is the wife uh, of the heir of the throne, Prince William, and the news comes as uh, a health blow to the British royal family after King, King Charles also uh, being uh, diagnosed with cancer. Kate spent two weeks in the hospital in January after undergoing what her office said at the time was a successful and planned surgery for an unspecified but non-cancerous condition. Now, Kate, in a video message, uh, said that subsequent tests had revealed uh, that cancer had been found and she says now she is well and getting stronger. In January, I underwent major abdominal surgery in London and at the time, it was thought that my condition was non-cancerous. The surgery was successful, however, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. My medical team therefore advised that I should undergo a course of preventative chemotherapy and I'm now in the early stages of that treatment. This of course came as a huge shock and William and I have been doing everything we can to process and manage this privately for the sake of our young family. As you can imagine, this has taken time it has taken me time to recover from major surgery in order to start my treatment. But most importantly, it has taken us time to explain everything to George, Charlotte and Louis in a way that's appropriate for them and to reassure them that I'm going to be okay. As I've said to them, I am well and getting stronger every day by focusing on the things that will help me heal in my mind, body and spirits. Having William by my side is a great source of comfort and reassurance too as is the love, support and kindness that has been shown by so many of you. It means so much to us both. We hope that you'll understand that as a family, we now need some time, space and privacy while I complete my treatment. We'll continue tracking these stories for you for now at your shop. हल्ला बल्ला और सबसे शानदार कवरेज सिर्फ एन डी टीवी पर फ्रेंड्स दिस इज वट आई हैव फॉर द नेक्स्ट वन बिकॉज यहां पे दिस स्लीक लुकिंग लैपटॉप कमिंग स्ट्रेट फ्रॉम एपल इज द लेटेस्ट जनरेशन ऑफ मैकबुक एयर और यहां पे व्हाट स्पैक इन साइड इज एपल न्यू एम थ्री चिप नाउ तो ये एपल ने फाइनली लॉन्च कर दिया है एंड व्हाट अमेजिंग इज दैट लुक एट दिस प्रोफाइल मतलब कितना स्लीक आपको लैपटॉप मिलता है एट द सेम टाइम इट पैक्स सम अमेजिंग परफॉर्मेंस यहाँ पे एप्पल की लेटेस्ट एम थ्री चिप है इट्स अ फैनलेस डिजाइन दैट द रीजन की काफी आपको स्लीक मिलने वाला है क्वाइट लाइट वेट एंड दिस इन फैक्ट इज द फिफ्टीन इंच वेरियंट जिसका थर्टीन इंच वेरियंट है वो थोड़ा सा और ज्यादा छोटा और आपको हल्का फील होता है इट्स यू नो इवन मोर पोर्टेबल एट द सेम टाइम इट पैक सम सीरियस पावर बिकॉज यहाँ पे जो मेमरी है इट गोज अप टू ट्वेंटी फोर जी बी द स्टोरेज कैन गो अप टू टू टेराबाइट्स हमारे पास में प्रॉपर मैग सेफ पोर्ट है वी हैव हेडफोन जैक इज वेल एट द सेम टाइम यहां पे यूएसबी सी पोर्ट्स भी हैं वी हैव अ फुल साइज कीबोर्ड अ नाइस 15 इंच स्क्रीन इन अ वेरी स्लीक फॉर्म फैक्टर इन दिस packs a six speaker system as well so let's see up close how is this Apple's latest MacBook Air with M3 chip. The beloved MacBook Air just got a superpower upgrade with the brand new M3 chip. Ready ho jaiye for blazing fast speeds, longer battery life and mind blowing AI capabilities. Apple claim karta hai ki the M3 chip is up to 60% faster than the already speedy M1 chip. Imagine kariye ki
Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal sent to seven-day enforcement directorate custody. Kejriwal moves court seeking removal of a cop from his security team. BJP demands CM's resignation. After Kejriwal's arrest, the opposition moves EC, the India bloc, slams government over arrest of Kejriwal. They urge EC to curb IT and ED. BJP says, is Kejriwal above law of land? BRS leader K. Kavita's ED custody ends today. She will be produced at the Rouse Avenue Court at midday. Bengaluru water woes worsen. Sidharamaya warned for severe drought. CM appeals for voter support amid crisis. A fresh setback for Congress in Himachal Pradesh. Three independent MLAs have resigned and will likely join the BJP. BJP Legislator Party in Himachal is in huddle. Chief Minister Suku accuses BJP of clearing MLAs. At least 60 were killed in Moscow terror attack. Russia says gunmen killed uh, 60 in concert. Uh, the attack uh, uh, has been done by Islamic State and they have claimed responsibility for the Moscow attack. USA says that they had warned Russia earlier this month. Putin, Putin wishes uh, the victims a speedy recovery. And it was all yellow at Chepak at Chennai Super Kings began their IPL title defence with a six-wicket win against Royal Challengers Bangalore. They now stretch their record against RCB Corporation. to our top story of the hour. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has been sent to a seven-day enforcement directorate custody. Kejriwal was produced in the Rouse Avenue Court in Delhi where the probe agency requested a 10-day custody. All of this happened yesterday. Kejriwal has claimed that a Delhi police officer who had earlier allegedly manhandled former Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia on the premises of the court in the city has misbehaved with him as well. The up chief said that this is an application filed in Delhi's Rouse Avenue court in which he has sought the removal of the security officer from his cordon. Earlier, up ministers Atashi and Saurabh Bhadwaj were detained by the police during the party's protest against Mr. Kejriwal's arrest in the Delhi liquor policy case. BJP has demanded that Kejriwal must step down as CM. Let's listen into all the political reactions that have been coming in since yesterday. उनको हम जरूर आगे बढ़ाएंगे चाहे ट्रायल कोर्ट में हो चाहे हाई कोर्ट में हो चाहे सुप्रीम कोर्ट में हो लेकिन हम न्यायपालिका से भी ये उम्मीद करेंगे कि उनकी आंखों के सामने लोकतंत्र की हत्या हो रही है उनकी आंखों के सामने एक एक करके एक एक करके विपक्ष की पार्टियों पे हमले हो रहे हैं उनकी आंखों के सामने विपक्ष के नेताओं को जेल में भेजा जा रहा है उनकी आंखों के सामने विपक्ष की पार्टियों के बैंक अकाउंट फ्रीज किए जा रहे हैं तो लोकतंत्र को बचाना न्यायपालिका की भी जिम्मेदारी है अब क्या एक सवाल उठता है जो एक टेक्निकल सवाल भी और संविधानिक सवाल भी है क्या वो अब सरकार जेल से चलेगी हमने तो सुना था सर जो गुंडा राज चलता था जेल से अब दिल्ली की सरकार क्या जेल से चलेगी तय नई तरह की राजनीति है भारतीय जनता पार्टी मांग करती है अरविंद केजरीवाल की लोगों से और आम आदमी पार्टी से तुरंत के तुरंत आम आदमी पार्टी अरविंद केजरीवाल का इस्तीफा ले मुझे कोई गुरेज नहीं है कि ये देश रशिया की राह पे है और पुतिन ने जिस तरीके से सारे विपक्ष को खत्म करके एक छत्र राज बनाया बांग्लादेश में देखा गया पाकिस्तान में देखा गया नॉर्थ कोरिया में देखा गया अब हिंदुस्तान भी उस राह पे है और पूरे विश्व को इस चीज़ की चिंता है कि दुनिया का सबसे बड़ा प्रजातंत्र अब डिक्टेटरशिप की राह पे है जहाँ पे लोगों की जो बेसिक राइट्स हैं उनको ख़त्म किया जाएगा जहाँ पर विपक्ष जो जनता की आवाज़ उठाता था जनता के सवाल उठाता था उसको रोका जाएगा 
the Delhi CM has been under arrest and, uh, and there have been protests taking place all across in the capital city. My colleague Ishika joins me right now. Ishika, Kejriwal had made a request for the removal of a security officer from a security cordon. Apparently, he had misbehaved with Manish Sisodia earlier and is now mis misbehaving with the uh, CM as well. Do we know what has happened uh, uh, to that request? Well, as you rightly said, Chief Minister Arvind Keshwal has had in fact alleged that a Delhi police officer had misbehaved with him when he was being brought in the court for the remand hearing yesterday. In fact, now he has filed an application, you know, for for the removal of this uh, security officer, for, uh, for, of this, you know, Delhi police officer from his security cordon, and he has filed this application in the Rouse Avenue court. Now, you know, what we are also getting to know that, uh, you know, the allegations were that uh, that this same Delhi police police officer had also misbehaved, uh, you know, allegedly misbehaved with Manish Sisodia earlier. Now, at that point of time, you know, a video was also recorded on which, you know, Manish Sisodia had filed a written complaint. Now, you know, at that time, at that point of time, the Delhi police had, in fact, you know, responded saying that no kind of wrongdoing was done on the part of the officer since it was a necessary action that was taken since a lot of chaos was being created while, you know, he was being taken to the courtroom. So, searching, you know, what is still awaited is that uh, when this application, you know, uh, will be will be heard in the court, that certainly remains to be seen. But certainly, uh, you know, a big allegation that now Arvind Kejriwal has made in the court is that he was misbehaved by a Delhi police officer and he has sought the removal of this officer from his security cordon. Over to you. Right, we'll of course have to wait and see what happens in that case. Now, staying on uh, uh, on the news of Delhi liquor policy case, K. Kavita's uh, enforcement directorate custody ends today. She will be produced in the court uh, midday. Will she get relief is the big question. Now, the Supreme Court had refused to grant any relief to the BRS uh, leader who was arrested by ED uh, last week. Um, now, she was arrested in co connection with the Delhi excise policy case. Uh, the ED claims that Kavita had conspired with top Aam Aadmi Party leaders, including the party supremo Ar Arvind Kejriwal and former minister Manish Sisodia to get favours in the Delhi liquor policy by paying 100 crore to the political party. Kavita has refuted the allegations and has termed ED's actions against her as illegal. My colleague Ashwarya joins me on the phone line for more on the story. Ashwarya, do you think that K. Kavita might get some relief from the lower court today? What is it looking like? Uh, well, it would be enforcement directorate who will be seeking further custody of K. Kavita as it has been already stated in the court yesterday by uh, the enforcement directorate that a uh, lot of accused had been arrested in this case and uh, to, for the further investigation, it is confrontation that needs to be done with uh, uh, the uh, accused who have been arrested. In this case, it was Arvind Kejriwal <coughs> who was latest uh, arrest made by the uh, enforcement directorate and uh, uh, K. Kavita being arrested uh, uh, and yesterday when it was enforcement directorate uh, during the uh, submissions made in front of the judge, it was the entire money trail which uh, was uh, submitted in front of uh, uh, the judge in which it was a clear picture that came out as far as the South Group is concerned and K. Kavita being the main um, uh, mastermind uh, and the main person involved in the, in the entire exchange of cash uh, that uh, uh, that that Arvind Kejriwal and uh, and uh, the top uh, Mahmi Party leaders had demanded from. So uh, the confrontation needs to be done, and therefore the reason perhaps the enforcement directorate will seek further custody of K. Kavita. Now whether it could be seven days or ten days, but the uh, sources within the enforcement directorate clearly telling us that uh, at least seven days of custody is something that. Uh, Again, uh, enforcement directorate will demand of K. Kavita whether she will get some sort of relief or not is something that remains to be seen. But yesterday, Supreme Court clearly declined her plea and mm. stated that she should go back to the trial court so that uh, mm. due process mm. should be followed. 
Thank you very much for joining us with all those details. Now, moving on to some other political news now, a fresh setback for Congress in Himachal Pradesh as three independent MLAs have resigned and are likely to join the BJP. One of the three leaders has said that they will contest the elections on a BJP ticket. Earlier, six Congress MLAs had also resigned. The independent MLAs said that Chief Minister Sukhvinder Singh Sukhu has targeted MLAs and their families and registered false cases against them after they voted in favour of the BJP candidate in Rajya Sabha elections last month. BJP Legislature Party in Himachal Pradesh held a meeting uh, yesterday amid developments in Congress and, uh, and, and Sukhu says, uh, accuses BJP of leering MLS. आप जानते हैं कि जैसे-जैसे लोकसभा के चुनाव आते हैं, तो हर प्रकार के हथकंडे भारतीय जनता पार्टी की सरकार अपनाती है, और इनकम टैक्स ने उस पर कार्रवाई की है, और कार्रवाई करते हुए हमारा जो बैंक अकाउंट है वो सील कर दिया है, ये क्या कहीं ये वो नोटों के दम पर तो नहीं उन्होंने अपने ईमान को गिरवी रख दिया था और दबाव इतना था कि उनको इस्तीफा देना पड़े और आप ही हेलीकॉप्टर में रहे हैं और आप ही सीआरपीएफ के सिक्योरिटी में आ रहे हैं और जा भी हेलीकॉप्टर में रहे हैं तो आप बताइए इतना सारा धन का प्रयोग क्या लोकतंत्र के लिए अच्छा है जो पार्टी ने कार्यक्रम दिए हैं अभियान दिए हैं उनकी यहां पर समीक्षा कर रहे हैं जैसे आजकल त्रिदेव सम्मेलन हर विधानसभा क्षेत्र में हो रहे हैं तो कहां हुआ कहां नहीं हुआ कब होगा इसी तरह हमारी पार्टी ने आगे अनुसूचित जाति मोर्चा के सम्मेलन हर मंडल पर करने हैं उसके बारे में यहां पर चर्चा हो रही है हमारा जो केंद्र की योजनाओं के लाभार्थी हैं उनसे संपर्क का अभियान चल रहा है उस पर यहां पर समीक्षा हुई है और आगे उस अभियान को और प्रभावी ढंग से चलाने का यहां पर जो है वो विचार हुआ है at least 60 people have been killed after gunmen attacked a packed concert venue on the outskirts of Moscow, according to reports. More than 100 were wounded at the Crocus City Hall. The Islamic State group has claimed it carried out the attack. Dramatic video shows panicked concert goers taking cover as shots and explosions ring out. A large fire has engulfed the roof of the complex. Russia's National Guard is searching for the gunmen who are yet to be identified. The U.S. has said that it warned the Russian authorities earlier in March about an attack possibly targeting large gatherings in Moscow. Ukraine has denied any involvement in the attack. PM Modi has also condemned the attack. Uh, the images are just horrible um, and uh, just hard to watch. And our thoughts obviously are going to be with the, the victims of this terrible, terrible shooting attack. Um, you might have also seen, hopefully you saw our state, the State Department, our embassy there, uh, put out a notice to all Americans uh, in Moscow to avoid any large gathering, concerts, obviously shopping malls, anything like that, uh, just for their own safety. They should, uh, they should stay put where they are and stay plugged into the State Department for any additional updates and information. So uh, what are you picking up and uh, what are the latest details emerging from the Ground Zero? I believe you're you are there. Uh, what's the latest death toll that you hear? Yes, you might join me just outside Moscow, uh, the center of Moscow, northwest of Moscow uh, city center at the Crocus City Hall. It's, a, it's an entertainment venue, it's a large entertainment venue, and it's adjoined by several shopping malls, including the Vegas shopping mall. Now, last night at about 8 p.m., we know that five men, at least five attackers, entered uh, the uh, Crocus City Hall music venue where a packed audience, or about 6,000 tickets have been sold for a very popular rock band called Picnic, very popular with, with children, actually, and young people, and began to open fire. Uh, they moved through the venue, uh, executed people, for want of a better word, and unfortunately and tragically, we now know that there are at least 80 uh, confirmed fatalities here. Uh, by the city of Moscow, at least a hundred uh, injured, and many of them are critically injured and are now inside uh, in hospitals in the Moscow region. Now, as you can see behind me, 
a, a huge blaze erupted here at the venue, and it's believed that that fire was set by the attackers in an attempt to distract uh, rescuers and to cause panic among the concert goers. Now we know that women, children, and men have been killed. The uh, Russian children's ombudsman has uh, confirmed that children are among the dead as well. So this is a very cynical, very callous, but also very well planned and executed uh, attack, a terrorist attack. Uh, and it has caused a great Shea, shock uh, here. White House has just said that uh, it had warned Russia about the attacks uh, in the last month. Uh, uh, how do you think that happened and uh, uh, like uh, if, if US warned Russia, how do you think the attack unfolded in such a manner? It, it, it appears to be an, a highly coordinated attack. How do you think it happened? Bond Karide. जुलाई 2022 में ही बीजेपी ने वो बॉन्ड इन कैश करा लिए और बिंदो फार्मा का पैसा आ गया अभी तक और बिंदो फार्मा के ऊपर कोई मुकदमा नहीं चला है ठीक है अब इसके बाद आते हैं नवंबर में अब आपको मालूम ही है कि जुलाई के अंदर ये पॉलिसी 2022 में वापस आ गई सरकार ने वो पॉलिसी वापस ले ली और ये बात होने लगी सब जगह मुकदमे दर्ज होने लगे सी के मुकदमे दर्ज हो गया कि ये जो कंपनियाँ हैं ये अब रडार में हैं इनके ऊपर जांच चल रही है अब आप सुनिए कि 9 नवंबर को 2022 ईडी शरद चंद्र रेड्डी को बुलाती है शरद चंद्र रेड्डी कहते हैं कि मैं अरविंद केजरीवाल से कभी नहीं मिला कोई पैसे का कोई लेन देन नहीं है कोई सवाल ही नहीं उठता अगले दिन 10 नवंबर 2022 को शरद चंद्र रेड्डी को ईडी गिरफ्तार कर लेती है अब सुनिए ईडी की गिरफ्त में है शरद चंद्र रेड्डी गिरफ्तार हो चुके हैं 10 नवंबर 2022 को गिरफ्तार हुए हैं 22 15 नवंबर 2022 को और बिंदो फार्मा पांच करोड़ रुपए के बॉन्ड खरीद के बीजेपी को देता है अब ये साफ है आपके पास वो आदमी है उसका डायरेक्टर आपके पास अंदर है जेल में पीएमएलए में मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग में उसके पिताजी की कंपनी है आपने पांच करोड़ रुपए उस कंपनी से भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने बॉन्ड में ले ली अब आगे सुनिए ये भी इनकैश करा लिए गए इसके बाद 6 जनवरी 2023 इस वक्त शरद चंद्र रेड्डी जेल में है पांच करोड़ रुपए देने के बाद भी जेल में है शरद चंद्र रेड्डी से दोबारा से पूछा गया चार्जशीट दायर की गई चार्जशीट के अंदर ईडी ने कहा कि शरद चंद्र रेड्डी ने माना नहीं है मगर ईडी कह रही है कि ये किंगपिन है जो कल अरविंद केजरीवाल जी को किंगपिन बताया जा रहा था वो छह जनवरी दो में शरद चंद्र रेड्डी थे उनको किंगपिन बताया गया और उनके खिलाफ चार्जशीट दायर कर दी गई और बताया गया ये सबसे बड़े बेनिफिशियरी हैं जैसे कल अरविंद केजरीवाल जी को बताया कि ये किंगपिन भी है और बेनिफिशियरी भी है ये शरद चंद्र रेड्डी थे एक साल पहले अब फिर जनवरी 2020 में जब इनकी बेल की सुनवाई शरद चंद्र रेड्डी की हो रही थी अभी वो जेल में ही है तो उन्होंने ईडी पे आरोप लगाया कि ईडी के लोग उनके ऊपर फोर्स का इस्तेमाल करके बल का इस्तेमाल करके उनसे झूठी स्टेटमेंट लेना चाहते हैं और उनके एम्प्लॉयज को भी डराया धमकाया जा रहा है ये हमारा नहीं शरद चंद्र रेड्डी का अपनी बेल के अंदर स्टेटमेंट है कि मुझको दबाव डाला जा रहा है कि जो ईडी कह रही है प्री डिक्टेटेड स्टेटमेंट मैं दू ये जनवरी बीस दो की बात है अब छह महीने बीतते हैं आदमी जेल के अंदर सड़ रहा है करोड़पति बाप का बेटा कई बड़ी बड़ी कंपनियों का मालिक जेल में चक्की पीसिंग अप्रैल आ गया अप्रैल के अंदर अब आप देखिए क्या होता है अप्रैल के अंदर करीब छ महीने बाद शरद चंद्र रेड्डी स्टेटमेंट दे देते हैं कि हां मैंने सौ करोड़ रुपए दिए छ महीने बाद कई बार स्टेटमेंट देने के बाद ये उन्होंने स्टेटमेंट दी उसके बाद मई में यह मामला हाई कोर्ट जाता है अब उन्होंने जो ईडी उनके ऊपर दबाव डाल रही थी कहने के लिए जो कि उन्होंने ही बताया वो उन्होंने आखिरकार कह दिया उन्होंने ये बात आखिरकार कह दी अप्रैल 2023 में अब मई आ गया मई में उनकी एप्लीकेशन अब हाई कोर्ट के अंदर लगी कि मेरी पीठ में बहुत दर्द चल रहा है ईडी ने कहा हाँ साहब इनकी पीठ में बहुत दर्द है लिहाजा इनको बेल दे दी जाए 
पीठ में दर्द पे हमारे यहां ऑफिस से छुट्टी नहीं मिलती ईडी ने ने बेल दे दी मिलती है किसी को पीठ में दर्द पे ऑफिस से छुट्टी आप सब कैमरा मैन है सब लोग हैं पत्रकार यहां पे कौन एडिटर देता होगा ईडी ने इनको बेल दे दी आठ मई दो को और जैसे ही बेल मिली पंची आजाद हुआ दो जून दो को कहा गया सरकारी गवाह बने शरद चंद्र रेड्डी मतलब सरकार की शरण में आ गए अब जब शरण में आ गए तो जैसे जो भी शरण में आता है फिर वो प्रसाद चढ़ाना पड़ता है फिर आप प्रसाद की कहानी सुनिए जून 2023 में शरद चंद्र रेड्डी अप्रूवर बन जाते हैं और नवंबर 2023 में जब सरकार को पता है कि ये मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग का आरोपी है इसने तथाकथित तौर पर सौ करोड़ रुपए की रिश्वत दी ये जेल में था उस आदमी से उसकी कंपनियों के थ्रू तीन कंपनी जिनके नाम आतिशी ने बताए पहली कंपनी हेलो मोटो मोटोरोला इंडिया बेस्ट 5G स्मार्टफोन ब्रांड after kejriwal's arrest opposition moves uh, enforcement uh, moves election commission india block slams government over arrest they say ec to curb um, it and ed bjp says is kejriwal above the law of the land BRS leader uh, K Kavita's custody ends today Kavita will be produced at the court At least 60 killed in Moscow terror attack uh, uh, gunman killed 60 in a concert Islamic state claims responsibility This show isn't just about news from the southern states. It's one that looks at the rest of India and the world from a diverse South India point of view because NDTV has always taken the southern view seriously. The Southern View with Veera Raghav only on NDTV 24/7. talking with very little being said too many voices but hardly any being heard you turn to a show that puts you front and center a show that headlines the stories of the people by the people for the people tracking ki baat se in fact yaad aaya guys did you know कि आप अब ट्रैक कर सकते हैं अबाउट योर कंट्रीब्यूशन टूवर्ड्स एन हेल्थियर एनवायरमेंट बिकॉज अगर आप ऊबर यूज करते हैं तो आई एम श्योर आपको अभी पता होगा कि उसमें दिज एन ऑप्शन कि आप इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स को बुक कर सकते हैं इफ यू प्रेफर गोइंग सस्टेनेबल लेकिन अब यहां पे एक ऑप्शन आ गया है जहां पे आपको ऊबर दिखाता है कि आप क्या सेव कर रहे हैं कंपेयर टू अगर आप एक नॉर्मल व्हीकल में जाते हैं तो आप कितने कार्बन एमिशन होने से रोक रहे हैं और द सीजन ऑफ लाइट इन स्टेडियम अक्रॉस द कंट्री इज बैक आई पी एल इज हियर द समर स्लैम गॉट ऑफ टू अ ग्रेट स्टार्ट विद येलो ब्रिगेड ऑफ द चेन्नई सुपर किंग्स अंडर दैन यू कैप्टन सुराज गायकवाड नेलिंग द फर्स्ट विन इट केम इगेंस्ट रॉयल चैलेंजर्स बैंगलोर इन अनबू डेन और चेन्नई a new season a new captain for chennai super kings a new name for the rcb but the same excitement as royal challengers bengaluru and chennai super kings clashed dupesi having been part of the title winning chennai side in 2018 and 2021 brought his knowledge to the fore he gave bengaluru a controlled start 
easily. But Mustafizur Rahman ended his stay at the crease and started a mini collapse. Partidar back in the hut without troubling the scorers. Followed by the big fish, Maxwell. Another one gone. Mustafizur wasn't done as he sent King Kohli back, curtsy an acrobatic assist by Rahani in the field. And with Cameron Green gone, RCB in deep, deep troubles at the Chepo. What's the fizzle has got another? But a late surge courtesy Anuj Rawat and Dinesh Karthik brought Bengaluru back on track. That clears the fence. A crucial 95 runs partnership for the sixth wicket took Bengaluru to a competitive 173. Chennai was set for a chase of 174. Young Rachin Ravindra playing his first game for his franchise this season scored a 37 of 15 balls to set up the chase. Even though the Bangalore Pacers Alzari Joseph and Cameron Green showed what they are capable of, but Shivam Dubey working his way back after an injury turned on the heat in his 28 ball 35 eventually hand Chennai a six-wicket win on the opening night. And here's what their new captain, Ruturaj Gaikwad, had to say. I've always enjoyed, I never uh, felt it an additional pressure, right from uh, captaining the state side and uh, obviously I had experience about how to go things or how to manage things. So definitely uh, I enjoyed it and not even a single time I felt, uh, you know, pressurized about something obviously I had my bye as well so mm. that's the super cool moment well tonight Rishabh Pant returns after his uh, injury a couple of years ago as Delhi Capitals take on Punjab Kings in the first of the double header uh, Saturday and uh, IPL match will be held at Mulanpur which is the 36th venue of Indian Premier League later in the night uh, uh, the action moves to Eden Gardens at 7.30 uh, p.m. when Kolkata Knight Riders take on Sunrisers Hyderabad, Kolkata being led by Shreya Shayar and Hyderabad, one of the former Knights Pact Cummins who became the highest paid player at the IPL auction last year. And here's the picture of the night. Uh, the two legends who are no longer the captains of their respective teams uh, were uh, on ground together uh, exchanging pleasantries. MS Dhoni and Virat Kohli. A picture for the fans and a picture that's currently going viral. That's all we could pack into this bulletin. Thanks for watching. Stay informed and entertained with the new and updated NDTV News app. You can watch all our channels live, listen to podcasts, read breaking and exclusive news from around the world and more. Download the NDTV app today and get access to the best journalism and storytelling on your smartphone or tablet. The NDTV app. News that matters to you. Friends, moving ahead for the top story, I've got not one, but in fact, two different new smartphones. These are from the Samsung Galaxy A series. What I have with me is the all new Samsung Galaxy A35. Saath mein Galaxy A55 bhi hai. Both are, of course, 5G smartphones, interesting design, interesting configuration and kafi fresh lag dono phones coming straight from Samsung aur yahan pe Samsung is promising a few things. Sabse pehle a kafi interesting or premium design. Second thing is amazing durability because yahan pe on the front and on the back what we have is Corning Gorilla Glass Victus Plus. At the same time yahan pe Samsung is uh, promising a complete awesome security suite along with awesome performance. So let's see up close that in both phones, Samsung has packed something. 
रेडी हो जाइए फॉर कटिंग एज फीचर्स एंड ए सीमलेस एंड्रॉइड एक्सपीरियंस सैमसंग ने इंडिया में ऑफिशियली डेब्यू किया है द गैलेक्सी ए फिफ्टी एंड गैलेक्सी ए थर्टी ब्रिंगिंग पावरफुल परफॉर्मेंस एंड इम्प्रेसिव टेक्नोलॉजी टू दॉपुलर ए सीरीज लाइन अप बोर्ड डिवाइसेज बो स्टनिंग सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स इंच सुपर एमुलर डिस्प्लेस जो जाने जाते हैं फॉर दाइब्रेंट कलर एंड इमर्सिव विजुअल विद एन अल्ट्रा स्मूथ हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी हर्ट्स रिफ्रेश रेट यू विल एंजॉय बटरी ट्रांजेक्शन एंड लॉग फ्री स्क्रोलिंग विद योर गेमिंग या फिर कैचिंग अप ऑन शोज प्लस कॉनिंग गोरिला ग्लास विक्टस प्लस ऑफर करता है सुपीरियर प्रोटेक्शन अगेंस्ट दो एक्सीडेंटल Welcome to Serious Business on NDTV. 30 minutes of hard business news. One topic, one speaker and a conversation that's relevant to you. I'm Manvi Sinha Dhillon. It's the first time that schools of public health have been ranked globally in the International Journal of Public Health and the Public Health Foundation of India has been ranked at second place in this global list. PHFI ranks second after the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine and PHFI is ahead of the Harvard TH Chan School of Public Health which is in the third spot but why are we talking about public health on serious business because a stronger health system in a country can lead to better outcomes on the economic growth front just think back to covid-19 so i'm very pleased to welcome on serious business today professor k srinath reddy founder past president and distinguished professor at public health foundation of india formerly he head of the department of cardiology at all india institute of medical sciences professor reddy great to have you on ndtv a pleasure to be here with you congratulations to the public health foundation of india ranked second in a global list of schools of public health uh, i want to understand from you why this ranking is significant well thank you very much for the congratulatory message and i'm sure this is something that we all collectively must celebrate rather than just some of us at the phfi uh, i believe this is absolutely important because in recent years public health has attracted much greater amount of uh, global attention than it has in the past because of the covid-19 pandemic but even prior to that we have seen several public health failures affecting not only the lives and livelihoods of people but having even national and global economy uh, skid on the banana peels of public health failure so public health has now acquired even greater importance not just because of the pandemic but even because of some of the challenges that are coming because of climate uh, change and that also has its own baggage of uh, health problems and we're going to address <laughs> that but i want yeah. to to take a moment to refocus our attention on the work that the public health foundation of india does for those of our viewers who are not familiar with it sure well uh, public health foundation of india was conceived around 2004 when there was a national consultation uh, which was convened by the ministry of health and family welfare uh, to look at whether we needed multidisciplinary schools of public health to be started in india in order to really develop public health as a discipline which can lead to multisectoral implementation of programs which can advance people's health and also help in policy formulation by providing the evidence needed for it uh, at that time while there were departments of community medicine and medical schools the rules and regulations of the medical council of india made it difficult for multidisciplinary education to be imparted because it was only doctors teaching doctors uh, how to manage certain uh, health services particularly in rural areas uh, secondly even these courses were not truly connected to health systems or to health policy so they were not adequately informing and influencing health policy nor were they actually feeding in technical expertise into implementation of health programs so we felt it was absolutely necessary for us to have that kind of a multidisciplinary group which can generate knowledge translate knowledge effectively aid implementation and evaluate the impact as well and for that 
uh, because neither medical colleges nor universities at that point in time were really running that kind of public health education program, uh, we thought that we must start independent institutions which can collaborate with everybody, but nevertheless bring in this fresh air into public health education as well as research. And uh, that's how in 2006, the Public Health Foundation of India was started as a public-private initiative uh, in order to really set up these schools of public health, which were standalone, but had the freedom of connectivity across the board to medical colleges, to universities, to research institutes, to agricultural universities, for example, or across the board, and also partner with other academic groups as well as with uh, civil society groups who are actually implementing programs on the ground, support governments uh, in their uh, policy formulation as well as program implementation, and train even uh, physicians in how to actually bring uh, better health care to the people uh, by adopting a certain degree of uh, uh, evidence-based uh, application of uh, science. So right. all of this was a part of our agenda. Uh, you know, I'm coming back to this ranking and wondering if uh, it could have any kind of impact on the future sort of ambitions of PHFI, or am I over-reading into the ranking? Well, I believe the ranks are important because we are being compared with some of the best in the world. Indeed. And if we are judged to be a close second to the London School, which is a leading school, and ahead of other celebrated schools of public health, it is certainly a matter of uh, gratification. But I think more important for us is what is the impact we are achieving in India. Uh, we want it to be locally relevant, nationally impactful, and globally respected. And if we have achieved all three of these, even partly, uh, it's certainly gratifying. And I think this particular recognition throws some degree of spotlight on those accomplishments. Indeed it does. And uh, the mode of operation of partnership for public purpose uh, sort of also gets validated uh, in the process. I'm now going to uh, draw your attention to some lines that I borrowed from a column you wrote recently in my introduction. And uh, it was essentially that a stronger health system can lead to better outcomes on the economic growth front. Um, I've repeated that statement again, but break it down for us. What do you mean uh, when you say that? Well, firstly, there is going to be much more of a productive population. If we are really going to be thinking of our demographic dividend over the next 20, 30 years, uh, we now have the largest world population in the world, but fortunately, we also have the opportunity to use a young population over the next two or three decades to really accelerate our economic growth. But that is contingent upon the population being healthy and productive, and certainly skilled as well. The other element is that if we are not going to have a healthy population, we are going to keep draining our resources on increasing healthcare costs. And that's going to be a major problem in the future because we are going to see several health challenges anew. I mean, we are seeing a rising burden of non-communicable diseases apart from infectious diseases. And as I mentioned, climate change is going to bring fresh problems. So you can't have a population which is either sick or non-productive and expect the economy to really grow. Uh, and I think for all of these reasons, uh, we do need to protect and promote health of the population and public health measures become absolutely important over there. So you use the phrase health assurance and that means more than just policies, more than just financing. So in this phrase health assurance, what are the key elements? Well, we are really talking about creating a healthy society. I would think of it in terms of three concentric circles. Innermost circle is adequate health financing. 
We do need to spend a lot more on health, not from the private pocket, but as a society collectively, particularly through public financing. But in order to, that's why we're talking about universal health coverage. The whole world is talking about universal health coverage. Our national health policy of 2017 talks of universal health coverage. And we are we have now subscribed uh, to the sustainable development goals, which has a very important target, 3.8, of uh, universal health coverage. But all the entitlements that are provided by health financing will not be delivered to the people in the form of universal health coverage unless there is an efficient, equitable, and empathetic health system, which means adequate, adequate infrastructure, a multi-layered, multi-skilled health workforce. We also need assurance that we are going to have. Uh, there's going to be absolutely uh, surety in terms of getting uh, our vaccines, drugs, and supplies all the time available and not having shortage of, um, I mean, of stockouts. We also need health information systems of accurate, representative, and timely data, and we need good governance, and we also need community engagement. So all these actually create the supportive structure of a good health system which will deliver on the promises of universal health coverage. But even that will not create a fully healthy society. We have to address the various social, economic, environmental, and commercial determinants of health, which act through other sectors, but impact profoundly on health. So whether it is water, sanitation, and hygiene, whether it is urban transport and design, which are contributing to pollution or clean air, whether it is food and agriculture systems, which are going to give an assurance of healthy nutrition across the life course, all, all of these are going to be important elements that we must address. And of course, the environment in terms of climate change and air pollution. So uh, these three concentric circles will help us create a healthy society which will give health assurance to the population. Well, I'm going to ask a very simplistic uh, question now. A simplistic, particularly in light of the complex uh, landscape you've painted with the three concentric circles. Post-COVID-19, is there evidence of greater commitment, greater strategic thought into tackling India's public health demands, gaps, and challenges? I think there is a greater recognition of the fact that we have to act on multiple fronts in terms of increased health financing, both at central and state budgets. We are seeing some movement in the direction, not adequate, certainly it needs to be enhanced both at central and uh, state levels. Uh, we also do need to strengthen our health system, particularly we have considerable shortages of our health workforce at multiple levels, and we need to invest a lot more in developing our health workforce. But given the fact that we can't do it very quickly when highly trained professionals are required like doctors uh, in specialties, we ought to focus substantially on strengthening our primary health care, even as we try and build the specialist cadre, because primary health care is going to yield the greatest amount of returns on investment in terms of preventing disease, detecting disease early, providing continuity of care, connected care. And now we can use our digital health technologies also uh, to ensure that most people can receive care uh, at home or close to home. Uh, and some of these investments are happening now, but we do need to step it up and ensure that some of the disparities that exist across the various states in India, some states are much better advanced in terms of their health systems, others are certainly not, and that is going to drag us down if we do not correct those disparities. So we need more funding, both at central and state levels, and certainly in terms of the social determinants of health, we need more action. Uh, right from hygiene and uh, water and sanitation uh, to environment and the consequences of uh, uh, environmental hazards. So I think we are recognizing what we need to do. We need to put in more financial resources, but much more importantly, we need to reorganize our systems uh, to greater level of synergy and efficiency.
Allies. A stronger health system in a country can lead to better outcomes on the economic growth front. Congratulations to the Public Health Foundation of India, ranked second in a global list of schools of public health. Well, we are really talking about creating a healthy society. You can't have a population which is either sick or non-productive and expect the economy to really grow. Well, climate change is already bringing in many health challenges to us in India. We are going to be seeing, for example, non-communicable diseases uh, because, again, uh, of heat as well as water stress, we're going to see a lot more people having strokes, heart attacks, uh, kidney failure, cancers. Some people say the metaverse will only be virtual. One day this lecture hall will be made of coal and driverless cars would be trapped in intersections. But even in this maze of the future, you can't wish away health. It's time to become more resilient. Ten years of Banega Swast India, we have grown and achieved so many milestones. And now I have a plan to beat the urgency, to stop breathing with difficulty, to relieve getting choked with inactivity. Energize our government, our environment, our society, and ourselves. Everyone. How would you sort of paint the climate change um, induced public health challenge for India? Well, climate change is already bringing in many health challenges to us in India. Uh, we are seeing extreme heat affecting several parts of India, not only during what is a limited summer, but a protracted summer. And uh, the impact of that is clearly seen in terms of not just heat exhaustion, but also heat strokes, circulatory failure. But we are also seeing, uh, because of climate change, increasing vector borne diseases where insects will carry uh, microbes and transmit them, like, for example, mosquitoes transmitting malaria, dengue, chikungunya. In fact, as humans uh, wilt and lie listless in the heat, the mosquitoes will become more athletic, spread farther and faster and climb to greater heights, uh, areas which were not previously accessible to them. Now they are beginning to propagate. And uh, they multiply much more, and their, what's called the extrinsic incubation period gets shorter, which means that they pose much greater danger of all these mosquito-borne uh, infectious diseases. Uh, at the same time, we'll see waterborne diseases. We are going to see extreme weather events, flooding, a lot of rainfall, accumulated water in uh, uh, the cities. But at the same time, you may have droughts, and that you may also result in water shortage. So in multiple re for multiple reasons, there will be water contamination. And uh, you'll have much more of waterborne diseases like cholera, gastroenteritis, and so on. And that's going to be a problem as well. And there's going to be an impact on nutrition. We are going to be seeing quite a catastrophic effect in terms of not only the quantity of staples being decreased. Uh, in India, we, where wheat and rice are already operating at about the highest level of temperature tolerance, uh, even a one degree centigrade further rise in temperature will result in a 10% decrease in the production of those staples. And then qualitatively, we are going to be seeing uh, a great deal of reduction in the nutrient quality of uh, crops because of uh, heat stress, water stress, and because of atmospheric carbon dioxide levels. As a result, we are going to be seeing a lot more of zinc deficiency, protein deficiency, iron deficiency, resulting in a huge amount of anemia as well. Uh, and therefore, we are going to be seeing the consequences of impaired 
uh, nutrition because of climate change impact on agri food systems. That at the same t- and we are going to see other t- stuff as well. Uh, we are going to be seeing, for example, non-communicable diseases uh, because again uh, of heat as well as water stress. We are going to see a lot more people having strokes, heart attacks, uh, kidney failure, cancers. Uh, these are going to be some of the problems. We are going to see effect on mental health. Uh, multiple effects of mental health have already been documented. And therefore, we are going to be combating many health challenges that we need to deal with because of climate change. You know, you paint a very sobering and accurate and true uh, picture. Uh, Professor Reddy, thank you very much for your time today on NDTV. And congratulations once again to the Public Health Foundation of India. Thanks a lot. It's a pleasure to be speaking with you. Thank you. The Prime Minister Modi inaugurates the Jetson Pema Wongchuk Mother and Child Hospital in Thimphu in Bhutan. The hospital has been fully funded by the Indian government. Remember, the Prime Minister is on a two-day visit to Bhutan. This, of course, comes ahead of the Lok Sabha elections. The Prime Minister is in Bhutan. These are visuals of him inaugurating the Mother and Child Hospital, which is fully funded by the Indian government. Right, this, of course, is the Prime Minister in Bhutan. Remember, he's uh, there on a two-day visit. Uh, this is the second day of his uh, Bhutan visit. This comes ahead of the Lok Sabha elections. Uh, this would perhaps be the last official visit of the Prime Minister. Right, in Himachal Pradesh, again, crisis for the Congress. Uh, we're seeing that uh, uh, the three independent MLAs uh, have been... Um, have been uh, are going to be uh, shifting to the BJP, and uh, one of them has in fact claimed that they've been harassed by the Sukhu administration uh, by filing false complaints against those who had voted for the BJP in the Rajya Sabha elections. आप जानते हैं कि जैसे-जैसे लोकसभा के चुनाव आते हैं, तो हर प्रकार के हथकंडे भारतीय जनता पार्टी की सरकार अपनाती है और इनकम टैक्स ने उस पर कार्रवाई की है और कार्रवाई करते हुए हमारा जो बैंक अकाउंट है वो सील कर दिया है ये क्या कहीं ये वो नोटों के दम पर तो नहीं उन्होंने अपने ईमान को गिरवी रख दिया था और दबाव इतना था कि उनको इस्तीफा देना पड़े और आप ही हेलीकॉप्टर में रहे हैं और आप ही सी आर सिक्योरिटी में आ रहे हैं और जा भी हेलीकॉप्टर में रहे हैं तो आप बताइए इतना सारा धन का प्रयोग क्या लोकतंत्र के लिए अच्छा है पार्टी ने कार्यक्रम दिए हैं अभियान दिए हैं उनकी यहाँ पर समीक्षा कर रहे हैं जैसे आजकल त्रिदेव सम्मेलन हर विधानसभा क्षेत्र में हो रहे हैं तो कहाँ हुआ कहाँ नहीं हुआ कब होगा इसी तरह हमारी पार्टी ने आगे अनुसूचित जाति मोर्चा के सम्मेलन हर मंडल पर करने हैं उसके बारे में यहाँ पर चर्चा हो रही है हमारा जो केंद्र की योजनाओं के लाभार्थी हैं उनसे संपर्क का अभियान चल रहा है उस पर यहाँ पर समीक्षा हुई है और आगे उस अभियान को और प्रभावी ढंग से चलाने का यहाँ पर जो है वो विचार हुआ है I have my colleague Ghazali joining us with more details. Ghazali, take us to the latest from uh, Himachal at this point. Uh, Congress facing more trouble as their independent MLAs are now saying that they're going to be sh- uh, jumping ship to BJP. See, the political developments in Himachal may not be an uh, immediate threat to the Sukhu government with independent MLAs now resigning. Uh, earlier, there were the six uh, Congress MLAs who were disqualified from the Assembly and they now have moved the Supreme Court. Now, these three independent MLAs have resigned and are very likely to join BJP today. Uh, with these switchovers in Himachal, perhaps as far as the numbers are concerned, the Sukhu government is safe. But if the bipoles happen, as the EC had notified it for the 1st of June, uh, and these three, uh, and if the bipoles happen on these three seats as well, from where the independents have also resigned, then perhaps to gain measures majority or to at least destabilize the government of Mr. Sukhu, the BJP needs to win all the nine seats. But 
to retain the power in Himachal, the Congress just needs to win one seat out of these nine. Now, we'll have to see that what happens later during the polls, but as of now, uh, the Sukhu government certainly knows that BJP will try to poach in some MLAs, some leaders, or create or engineer some internal rebellion. And we saw... The prime example of that during the Raj Sabha polls, when despite not having the numbers, the BJP's Raj Sabha candidate managed to win the polls. So as of now, all eyes will be on uh, the developments in Himachal Pradesh, whether and how the firefighting takes place uh, or, or in, is, is led by Mr. Sukhu to ensure that no further internal rebellion is there and nobody quits the party uh, in, in the near future. Right. Thank you, Ghazali, for joining us and bringing us those details. Kate Morrison, Britain's Princess of Wales, said that she is undergoing preventative uh, chemotherapy after tests uh, that were taken after her major abdominal surgery in January revealed that cancer had been present. Remember, she is the wife uh, of the heir of the throne, Prince William, and the news comes as uh, a health blow to the British royal family after King, King Charles also uh, being uh, diagnosed with cancer. Kate spent two weeks in the hospital in January after undergoing what her office said at the time was a successful and planned surgery for an unspecified but non-cancerous condition. Now, Kate, in a video message, uh, said that subsequent tests had revealed uh, that cancer had been found and she says now she is well and getting stronger. In January, I underwent major abdominal surgery in London and at the time, it was thought that my condition was non-cancerous. The surgery was successful, however tests after the operation found cancer had been present. My medical team therefore advised that I should undergo a course of preventative chemotherapy and I'm now in the early stages of that treatment. This of course came as a huge shock and William and I have been doing everything we can to process and manage this privately for the sake of our young family. As you can imagine, this has taken time. It has taken me time to recover from major surgery in order to start my treatment. But most importantly, it has taken us time to explain everything to George, Charlotte and Louis in a way that's appropriate for them and to reassure them that I'm going to be okay. As I've said to them, I am well. I'm getting stronger every day by focusing on the things that will help me heal in my mind, body and spirits. Having William by my side is a great source of comfort and reassurance too as is the love, support and kindness that has been shown by so many of you. It means so much to us both. We hope that you'll understand that as a family, we now need some time, space and privacy while I complete my treatment. We'll continue tracking these stories for you for now at your shop. A debate has many facets, perhaps no one right answer. Left, right and centre. Conversations that get to the core of the debate. Friends, it's time now for my favorite section about this episode because we always talk about Q&A, so Ask TG is the thing that I really like because I get to answer all your questions. So let's see this week, what are the questions we have in our week? Hi TG. Okay, so you have asked that आपको जानना है which is the better device between OnePlus 12 and Xiaomi 14 in terms of camera and performance. So let me get this straight. In terms of camera, Xiaomi might jump slightly ahead of the OnePlus 12, not by a huge margin, but like let's say slightly ahead. But if I were to recommend you an overall good product in terms of camera, performance, software, you know, like everything combined, I would recommend OnePlus 12 over the Xiaomi. Considering 
Xiaomi uh, doesn't have that kind of brand value in that premium segment. OnePlus, you know, has been there for a long time now. Or OnePlus 12 is an amazing smartphone overall. If you combine, especially the clean experience of Oxygen OS, yeah, even the camera is fantastic. Xiaomi 14 thoda thoda aage nikal jata hai, but overall, I would say OnePlus 12 would be a better pick. Aam Army Party's big claim on Arvind Kejriwal's arrest. Uh, Minister Atishi says the liquor policy money had gone to BJP through bonds. Aam Army Party versus BJP protests in the national capital. Opposition moves election commission over Kejriwal's arrest. India Bloc slams the government over the arrest and urges EC to curb the income, income tax and ED department. BRS leader K. Kavita's ED custody ends today. She's going to be produced in court. Fresh setback for the Congress in Himachal Pradesh. Three independent MLAs resigned and are likely to join the BJP. Sixty people killed in Moscow terror attack. Islamic State claims responsibility for Moscow attack. US says had warned Russia earlier. It was all yellow at Chepok as Chennai Super Kings began their IPL title defence with a six-wicket win against Royal Challengers Bangalore. They now stretch their record against RCB Corporation. In desperate. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has been sent to a seven-day enforcement directorate custody. Arvind Kejriwal was produced in the Rouse Avenue courtroom member yesterday where the probe agency has requested for a 10-day custody. Now, Delhi Minister Atishi has now said that till date, there's no money trail that's been found with any Amarmi Party leader. Now, at a press conference, Atishi said that the enforcement directorate arrested Delhi CM and Amarmi Party Supremo Arvind Kejriwal on the basis of one person's testimony, Sharad Chandra Reddy, who she alleges got bail after changing his statement. Now, Atishi further alleged that the money in the liquor scam actually went to the BJP through electoral bonds. She said Reddy donated 4.5 crore rupee bonds to BJP and not to Amarmi Party. Listen in. के शरद चंद्र रेड्डी और ओबिंदो फार्मा का मालिक एपीएल हेल्थ केयर का मालिक यूजिया फार्मा का मालिक शराब का कारोबारी उसने साढ़े चार करोड़ रुपए के इलेक्टोरल बॉन्ड्स दिए एक्साइज पॉलिसी के बनने के दौरान भारतीय जनता पार्टी को उसके बाद गिरफ्तार होने के बाद 55 करोड़ रुपए के इलेक्टोरल बॉन्ड्स दिए भारतीय जनता पार्टी को पहली बार एक्साइज पॉलिसी के मामले में आधिकारिक मनी ट्रेल सामने आ गया है और यह मनी ट्रेल सीधा शराब के कारोबारियों से भारतीय जनता पार्टी के बैंक अकाउंट में गया है जिस व्यक्ति के ऊपर इतनी बड़ी इल्जाम लगी हुई है मैं मानता हूं कि नैतिकता के आधार पर उन्हें अपना पद छोड़ना चाहिए अब स्पष्ट हो गया है कि आम आदमी पार्टी पूर्ण रूप से कुर्सी की दौड़ में है जनता की दौड़ में नहीं I have my colleague Ishika joining us with more details. Ishika, now a big claim by Aam Army Party saying that the money, in fact, from the liquor policy case had gone straight to the BJP through electoral bonds. And uh, uh, she says the Sharath Reddy, who is uh, one of uh, uh, the informers in the case, had changed his uh, statement uh, in order to get bail. That's the allegation that the Aam Army Party is making. Take us through these details. Yes, you know, 
as you rightly said, today at around 10 a.m. in the morning, senior Amadmi Party leader Atishi, in fact, held this press conference where she alleged, you know, that the money has gone to the BJP via the electoral bonds. And in fact, the second point that you have uh, mentioned that all of these, uh, you know, all of this, uh, you know, that is being done is being done on the statements of Sharath Reddy, who got bail after, you know, after being an informer in the case. Now, this is the same point that was raised by Kejriwal's council even yesterday. They said that, you know, once, uh, once uh, you know, the all of those who have been arrested here, they turn approver, they get bail. This was one of the points that was raised on which the ED council has said that Kejriwal council will not decide the power or, you know, the power or of the statements of the approvers here. But let me first take you to the place, you know, where I'm standing reporting from. This is Shahidi Park at the ITO, where, in fact, the Aam Admi Party, after uh, Arvind Kejriwal has sent be, uh, has been sent to the ED custody for seven days, today Aam Admi Party is planning a mega protest here at the Shahidi Park. We are reporting to you from here live. You can see that the barricades that have been put, large number of the Aam Admi Party workers who have already come here, you can see the police deployment and to talk more in this we are also being joined with the Punjab Health Minister with us. Sir, today you are very big and you are holding this mega protest, sir. What is, you know, the objective, the message that you want to send via this protest? You see, this is Sharda Anjali Samaro to, to our martyrs, Shridhar Jam Pak Singh, Rajguru Sakhdev. We are here to pay our respects and remember why they gave their life. Shridhar Jam has said, that you can arrest me, you can kill me, but you can't kill my ideas. They are trying to kill his ideas. Arvind Kejriwal, Pagwantman, Aam Aadmi Party will not uh, let it happen. You see, they are not allowing uh, ordinary people. Aam Aadmi ko andar nahi jane de rahe. Wo shidhe aajmi ko shardajri nahi de sakte. Ye kaisa kanoon hai, ye kaisi azadi hai. BJP keh rahi hai ki ye jo baat 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 uthai ja rahi hai ki jail se sarkar chalegi, ye thik nahi hai, isi le resignation hona chahi. बीजेपी ये कह रही है कि जो अपोजिशन के लीडर हैं उनके खाते सील कर दो उनके मुख्यमंत्री जो चुने हुए मुख्यमंत्री हैं उनको जेल में भेज दो उनको ये ठीक लगता है उनकी सारी लीडरशिप को जेल भेज दो खाते सील कर दो इलेक्शन लूट लो ये बीजेपी को सही लगता है ये दिस इज दिस इज ऑल दे हैव माला फाइड टेंशन विनाश काल विपरीत बुद्धि सो दे आर गोइंग टू बी डेसीमेटेड so as you clearly heard, you know, uh, this is, you know, the Punjab Health Minister. Again, you know, the leaders here of the Aam Aadmi Party continue to allege that all of this is being done on the directions of the BJP with their only intention being to stop the campaigning of the Aam Aadmi Party just ahead of the Lok Sabha polls. But certainly, you know, you can see the large number of the Aam Aadmi Party workers that have come here at the Shahidi Park for the mega protest today. Over to you. Right, Ishika, stay on with us. I have my colleague Shubang also joining us on the broadcast. Shubang, uh, take us to the latest coming in from the ground. We've just seen massive protests being held there uh, by the Amarmi Party. The Amarmi Party also making claims uh, that the BJP was the one to benefit from the liquor policy because the money went straight to them through electoral bonds. <laughs> Well, right now I'm at Raj Ghat and I'm trying to show you the video that you can see here BJP is protesting against the corruption that have been done by the Aam Aadmi Party. Well, uh, some of the senior leaders from Aam Aadmi Party like Dr. Harsh Vardhan, uh, BJP MP candidate Praveen Khandalpal and uh, Delhi President Virgil Sadeva, uh, BJP President Virgil Sadeva, as you can see he's arriving right now over here. Well, uh, they are definitely staging a protest today, a strong protest against the Aam Aadmi Party. Well, uh, we are also trying to show the visuals as they also offered prayers at the Raj Ghat. Well, all of them went inside the Raj Ghat and offered prayers, uh, see, uh, making the sankalp for against the uh, the free against the corruption that is being made in the, you know, uh, in the uh, by the Amani party and the Abhin Kejriwal. This comes after the ED has arrested Abhin Kejriwal in this entire matter. We have some of the, you know, workers of BJP. Let's try to uh, show the visuals and also try to talk to them. What's your name? Chaman Bhardu. ये क्या लगता है आप लोगों को कि आम आदमी पार्टी कितना करप्शन कर रही है जिसके खिलाफ आप आज अपनी आवाज उठा रहे हैं जो बहाने खड़ी हैं अरविंद केजरीवाल जी एक ईमानदारी के नाम पर 
जो दिल्ली की जनता के साथ ठगी करके आए थे उनसे निवेदन है आज उनकी पोल खुली है कि अपने स्थान की शुरू से ही वो कट्टा ईमानदारी कट्टर बेईमान बीच में कट्टर ईमानदारी का लेवल लगा करके आगे जो चाहते थे कि मैं ईमानदारी का ढोल पीटूंगा मैं ईमानदार हूँ ईमानदार हूँ आज उनकी पोल खुली और सबसे बड़े बेईमान जो आज गिना जा रहा है दिल्ली में सबसे बड़े बेईमान नेताओं की गिनती में केजरीवाल का नाम सुमार हो चुका है क्या लगता है आपको कि क्या बीजेपी दिल्ली में अच्छा काम करता है या आम आदमी से ज्यादा देखो दिल्ली की आप केंद्र की सरकार देखो मोदी जी योजनाएं देखो और नीचे गरीब गरीब से लेके ऊपर तक व्यापारी तक देखो सभी का कल्याण उसमें हो रहा है विकास का काम उसमें हो रहा है भाजपा का यकीन आ रहा है सबका सबका साथ सबका विकास और दिल्ली में अगर दिल्ली भारतीय जनता पार्टी की पंद्रह जो दस साल से सरकार है केजरीवाल ने सिर्फ दिल्ली को ठगने के अलावा इस ठगने कुछ नहीं किया है अभी जी तो देखिए Uh, see, as you can kind of show you, as you can see, the visuals they have been posters and banners uh, which are stating "Arrest Ali Kejriwal." Shah Rukh Khan has been arrested. Arrest Ali Kejriwal now has been arrested, and BJP workers are staging protests just on the opposite side of the Raj Ghat. Well, these are the visuals coming, and this is a strong protest from the BJP against the, uh, you know, against the Amal Party and Kejriwal. Back to you. Right. Uh, those, of course, are visuals coming in uh, from the national capital where. We're seeing in uh, Shahidi Park and Rajghat, uh, where in Shahidi Park the Aam Aadmi Party is protesting, while in Rajghat the BJP is holding a protest against uh, what they say is corruption done by the Aam Aadmi Party. Shifting focus now, at least 60 people have been killed after gunmen attacked a packed concert venue on the outskirts of Moscow. More than 100 people were wounded at the Crocus City Hall. The Islamic State group has claimed it carried out the attack. Dramatic visuals show panicked concert goers taking cover as shots and explosions ring out. Now, a large fire has engulfed the roof and complex of Russia's uh, uh, of uh, the concert venue and Russia's National Guard is searching for the gunmen who have not yet been identified. Now, the U.S. has in fact said that it warned Russian authorities earlier in March about an attack possibly targeting large gatherings. The U.S. also has warned Americans to avoid large gatherings. Listen in. Uh, the images are just horrible. Um, and uh, just hard to watch and our thoughts obviously are going to be with the, the victims of this terrible, terrible shooting attack. Um, you might have also seen, hopefully you saw our State, the State Department or Embassy there, uh, put out a notice to all Americans uh, in Moscow to avoid any large gathering, concerts, obviously shopping malls, anything like that, uh, just for their own safety. They should, uh, they should stay put where they are and stay plugged into the State Department for any additional updates and information. We have RT correspondent Shea Baus joining us, who is on the ground giving us details. Uh, to cut to the chase, Shea, uh, what are the latest details as to uh, have the authorities detained anyone? Have they questioned anyone in the recent uh, one or two hours, in the last one or two hours? And what about those five or six odd men who stormed the concert hall and they killed so many people. Have they been traced? Yeah, well, as of now, we still have no update as to the whereabouts of the attackers here at the Crocus City Hall, just in the northwest of Moscow. Uh, we're getting different reports coming in about the number of casualties right now. We know it's been 60 and 80 have been killed, sadly, men, women, and children uh, killed behind the at this 6,000 seat venue, a very popular venue. Uh, on the outskirts of Moscow, still in the city of Moscow, a, a, a city of many, many millions of people, of course. And of course, the theater, a very popular activity. Uh, this is a band, a band called Picnic, very popular with uh, young audiences. And that's reflected in the tragic death toll. Uh, men, women, and now the Russian children's ombudsman has confirmed that children are sadly among those that have been killed. As of now, we have had not had any confirmation from the Russian authorities excuse me, as to who is responsible for this. We have seen some stories reported that uh, anonymous sources in the United States have suggested that it was ISIS, uh, but they haven't officially confirmed that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Russian investigators uh, committee has uh, opened an investigation, but as of yet, we're still on the wiser from the Russian side as to who has been responsible for this. So the White House uh, has just said that uh, it had warned, the U.S. had warned Russian authorities about an imminent attack that could have happened any time. So uh, now that it has happened, are the Russian authorities saying anything about this U.S. 
warning that they had given? Yeah, well, the, the, uh, the American and British authorities indeed warned their citizens that they believe uh, an attack is imminent in the Moscow region. Now, that warning was given on the 7th of March, uh, and the warning suggested that in the next 48 hours, there may be an attack and that their citizens should avoid uh, concerts, uh, shopping malls, etc., etc. So those 48 hours passed, long passed, uh, from the 7th of March, and Russians and, of course, Americans and British felt, went about their business. That was the last night at about 8 p.m. when this attack took place. The Russian uh, foreign ministry spokesperson, Maria Zaharova, has uh, suggested that if the Americans and British had specific intelligence about this attack, that they should have shared it with them, uh, suggesting that uh, the Russians don't believe that any information was shared with them, despite... Uh, uh, reports the country now we're getting from America, again, from anonymous forces within the State Department, we believe. So again, there's some confusion as to that connection and that discussion between the Russian and American authorities. Uh, we've heard John Kirby there from your uh, clip suggesting, uh, you know, uh, condolences, and those condolences are coming from across the world. But there is a cynicism and a skepticism now among uh, the Russian population as to the warning that was given uh, and now the culmination uh, in this attack, where sadly dozens of people have been killed in the most brutal manner here at the Tokyo City Hall at Red Moscow. So uh, going back to the U.S., uh, so the U.S. Had, has also said that Ukraine has no involvement in this. Initial reports are saying that. So what are the Russian authorities saying about this now that the U.S. has uh, sort of cleared Ukraine's name in it and uh, ISIS has claimed responsibility? What, is the, what are the re reactions that Russian authorities are giving on this, the U.S.'s clearance of Ukraine? Well, again, from our sources here on the ground in Moscow, it, it's alleged that ISIS has claimed responsibility. There was an initial discussion uh, online, we believe, that there was a statement made, but that was then discredited as a, as a false declaration from ISIS. Uh, and the, the situation where Ukraine has been, uh, was rapidly, uh, was rapidly suggested by uh, the U.S. authorities that Ukraine certainly had nothing to do with it. That was while the situation here was ongoing. The building was still burning. There was actually people still trapped inside uh, at the time. And the Zaharov, the Russian foreign minister spokesperson, mentioned that. He said it's very strange how the United States would immediately suggest there was no Ukrainian involvement here in Moscow uh, while the attack was essentially ongoing. So there is a skepticism here on the Russian side as to uh, whether the United States has been completely transparent about what it does know. And there's also a significant interest in how they could exonerate Ukraine of all involvement here in this terrorist attack uh, while it was still ongoing. Thanks a lot, Shay, for joining us from the uh, Ground Zero. Back to you, Garthi. Hello, Moto. Motorola, India's best 5G smartphone brand. A stronger health system in a country can lead to better outcomes on the economic growth front. Congratulations to the Public Health Foundation of India, ranked second in a global list of schools of public health. Well, we are really talking about creating a healthy society. You can't have a population which is either sick or non-productive and expect the economy to really grow. Well, climate change is already bringing in many health challenges to us in India. We are going to be seeing, for example, non-communicable diseases uh, because, again, uh, of heat as well as water stress, we're going to see a lot more people having strokes, heart attacks, uh, kidney failure, cancers. 
जस्टिस डी वाई चंद्रचूड एन डी टी वी बिग एक्सक्लूसिव वी प्रोवाइड जस्टिस टू कॉमन सिटीजन एंड देर इज नो केस विच इज टू स्मॉल इवन फॉर दी हाइएस्ट कोर्ट ऑफ द नेशन सी जी आई का काम करने का अलग अंदाज समाइम्स आई गेट ई मेल इवन इन द मिडल ऑफ द नाइट एंड आई एम ऑलवेज अवेलेबल टू आंसर दो ई मेल ट्वेंटी crore final judgments and orders this data is available online as on 29 february 2024 3.09 crore cases have been heard on video conferencing mode chief justice chandrachur se judi ansuni baatein sare 3 baje subah mera din shuru ho jata hai my best friend who is my wife kalpana both of us are vegans khabron mein aapka bharosa nd tv So friends next i have is this uh, shiny new device coming straight from the realme factory this is the all new realme narzo 70 pro 5g aur main shiny kyon bol raha hu because see of course it's shiny matlab the way it looks even the frame is very shiny at the same time this phone really shines bright jab hum iske features ko dekhte hain because yahan pe kafi interesting cheez realme has packed what we have is a sony amx 890 sensor ke sath aane wala 50 megapixels वाला प्राइमरी कैमरा दैट हैज ओ आई एस एट द सेम टाइम इन साइड द फोन इज रियली पैक्ड विद फीचर्स इन फैक्ट हम यहां पे भी इस फोन में जेस्टर्स से इसको कंट्रोल कर सकते हैं बिकॉज दिस हैज गॉट समथिंग दैट रियल वी कॉल्स एयर जेस्टर्स सो अगर आप देखो इसको एंड हैव अ क्लोजर लुक अबाउट हाउ दिस रियल मी नार्जो सेवेंटी प्रो रियली इज आई वुड से वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग मिड रेन स्मार्टफोन कमिंग स्ट्रेट फ्रॉम रियल मी फाइनली द वेट इज ओवर रियल मी इज लेटेस्ट हॉट शॉट द नार्जो सेवेंटी प्रो फाइव जी फाइनली इंडिया में लॉन्च हो गया है दिस फोन इज पैक्ट विद अमेजिंग फीचर्स दैट विल मेक यू गो वाओ इस फोन में है एक रेन वॉटर smart touch feature this means no more tensions about phone usage in a light drizzle the powerful mediatek dimensity chipset lets you game multitask and do everything else at lightning speed the 5000 mah battery and super woke fast charging will get you back in action in no time the phone's horizon glass design gives it a super premium head turning look Realme has kept it affordable. Narzo 70 Pro 5G starts at just rupees 18,999. You can grab it in stylish glass green and glass gold colors from March 22nd on Amazon and the Realme website. With its awesome display, camera, and overall performance, the Realme Narzo 70 Pro 5G is a total paisa vasool deal. If you're looking for a smartphone that's powerful, stylish, and affordable, this is it. बल्ला और सबसे शानदार कवरेज सिर्फ एन डी टीवी पर फ्रेंड्स दिस इज वट आई हैव फॉर द नेक्स्ट वन बिकॉज यहां पे दिस स्लीक लुकिंग लैपटॉप कमिंग स्ट्रेट फ्रॉम एपल इज द लेटेस्ट जनरेशन ऑफ मैकबुक एयर और यहां पे वॉट स्पैक इन साइड इज एपल न्यू एम थ्री चिप नाउ तो ये एपल ने फाइनली लॉन्च कर दिया है एंड वॉट अमेजिंग इज दैट लुक एट दिस प्रोफाइल मतलब कितना स्लीक आपको लैपटॉप मिलता है एट द सेम टाइम इट पैक्स सम अमेजिंग परफॉर्मेंस यहां पे एप्पल की लेटेस्ट एम थ्री चिप है इट्स अ फैक्ट Kate Middleton, Britain's Princess of Wales, said she was undergoing preventive chemotherapy after tests taken after her major abdominal surgery in January revealed that cancer had been present. Remember, she is the wife of heir to the throne, Prince William. This news comes as another health blow to the royal British family, as King Charles is also undergoing treatment for cancer. Now, Kate spent uh, two weeks in the hospital in January after undergoing what her office said at the time was successful and planned surgery for an unspecified but non-cancerous. condition but in a video kate said that subsequent tests had revealed cancer had been found at this point i'm being joined by royal commentator ian felim turner thank you for joining us sir my first question to you is can you give us some details of the prince of wales diagnosis 
It's obviously uh, shocked Britain tonight, uh, the sad figure of Princess Kate uh, doing a video that finally reveals that uh, after major surgery that she had at the London clinic in January, uh, that it, although that was successful, it was then found uh, cancer as well. So basically at the moment, she has now started to receive uh, cancer treatment at the moment. Uh, and at the same time, still trying to keep her family, William and the children, well informed and also encouraged that she is saying at the moment that she can come out of this, that success is really uh, first class at the moment. Her treatment is being first class as well. Uh, and she hopes to be back really working again once all this takes time but it will take time to actually go through all the necessary procedures. Right. Uh, Mr. Turner, how do you see the recent bad press that the royal family has been receiving? I, I think the reality at the moment is there's been a lot of speculation. Obviously, I'm very aware of what was happening on social media as well. I think the reality right now is that uh, tremendous sympathy for all of William and Kate and the children at this time will now happen in Britain. There has been issues, there has been uh, rumours, uh, and they've tried to sort of deal with those rumours as well. But I, I think the reality at the moment is that the PR team at Kensington Palace have been behind the story rather than in front of the story. And I'm now aware that there may be um, new people being asked to work with William and Kate to actually put out um, the most professional view and statements as they happen. Right, thank you, Mr. Turner, for joining us and sharing your thoughts on this development. We'll continue tracking these stories for you for now. Short break. Hello, Moto. Motorola, India's best 5G smartphone brand. This show isn't just about news from the southern states. It's one that looks at the rest of India and the world from a diverse South India point of view. Because NDTV has always taken the southern view seriously. The Southern View with Veera Raghav, only on NDTV 24-7. talking but very little being said too many voices but hardly any being heard you turn to a show that puts you front and center a show that headlines the stories of the people by the people for the people tracking ki baat se in fact yaad aaya guys did you know कि आप अब ट्रैक कर सकते हैं अबाउट योर कंट्रीब्यूशन टुवर्ड्स अ हेल्थियर एनवायरनमेंट बिकॉज अगर आप ऊबर यूज करते हैं तो आई एम श्योर आपको अभी पता होगा कि उसमें दिस एन ऑप्शन कि आप इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स को बुक कर सकते हैं इफ यू प्रेफर गोइंग सस्टेनेबल लेकिन अब यहां पे एक ऑप्शन आ गया है जहां पे आपको ऊबर दिखाता है कि आप क्या सेव कर रहे हैं कंपेयर टू अगर आप एक नॉर्मल व्हीकल में जाते हैं तो आप कितने कार्बन एमिशंस होने से रोक रहे हैं और वो आपको दिखाता है इन फॉर्म ऑफ ट्रीज बीइंग प्लांटेड तो कहीं ना कहीं ये एक अच्छी चीज है जहां पे यू कैन कीप ट्रैक ऑफ योर यू नो योर कंट्रीब्यूशन कि आप अपने डेली हैबिट्स में जब आप सुबह ऑफिस के लिए ऊबर ले रहे हैं जब आप शामों के बाहर जा रहे हैं अगर आप एक ईवी यूज करते हैं सो हाउ मच एसेंशियली आर यू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग टूवर्ड्स एनवायरमेंट दिस सर्विस इज लाइव नाउ इन मल्टीपल इंडियन सिटीज तो नेक्स्ट टाइम यू कैन ऊबर आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट कि अगर आप एक इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल यूज करते हैं इट विल 
kind of contribute towards the environment or you can clearly track in form of number of trees being planted so i'm sure normally we friends sometimes we see each other's uber ratings ki kisko kitne star mile hain kisi kitni rating hai so i'm sure going next this could be a thing that we all might track ki acha maine kitne trees ko plant kiya by going electric ya kaun aage jeet raha hai it's a nice thing did you know this if yes amazing if no please let me know you know the address it's tg@ndtv.com Stay informed and entertained with the new and updated NDTV News app. You can watch all our channels live, listen to podcasts, read breaking and exclusive news from around the world and more. Download the NDTV app today and get access to the best journalism and storytelling on your smartphone or tablet. The NDTV app, news that matters to you. friends moving ahead for the top story i have got not one but in fact two different नए नए गैजेट्स नई नई टेक टिप्स और नया नया बहुत कुछ इन द फील्ड ऑफ टेक गाइज दिस इज वॉट दिस शो इज अबाउट बिकॉज यूर वॉचिंग गैजेट थ्री सिक्सटी विद टेक्निकल गुरु जी तो मतलब हर हफ्ते की तरह मैं इस बार भी जो एपिसोड लेके आया हूँ आई हैव गॉट सम अमेजिंग गैजेट्स फॉर यू और साथ में आपके सवालों के जवाब भी हैं जो भी आपने पूछे हैं इन द फील्ड ऑफ गैजेट्स बिकॉज इन दिस शो आई ट्राई टू कंपाइल एवरी थिंग एंड पैक इट टूगेदर इन वन पीस हेलो गाइज माई नेम इज गौरव ए के टेक्निकल गुरु जी आप देख रहे हैं गैजेट 360 विद टेक्निकल गुरु जी से आगे बढ़ते हैं और पता लगाते हैं क्या है इस वीक इन द फील्ड ऑफ गैजेट्स जल्दी से शुरू करते हैं तो चलिए शुरू करते हैं तो फ्रेंड्स एज वी स्टार्ट सबसे पहले हमको ये देखना है कि व्हाट ऑल हैपन लास्ट वीक इन द फील्ड ऑफ गैजेट्स बिकॉज हर रोज कुछ ना कुछ नया होता रहता है तो एक बार रिकैप लेते हैं इन दिस सेक्शन न्यूज ऑफ द वीक Qualcomm ने एक्सपैंड किया इट्स प्रीमियम चिपसेट लाइनअप विद द स्नैपड्रैगन 8s Gen 3, अ प्रोसेसर जो फोकस्ड है ऑन ब्रिंगिंग एडवांस्ड एआई फीचर्स टू मोर एक्सेसिबल स्मार्टफोन्स एक्सपेक्ट करिए कैमरास दैट इंटेलिजेंटली इंप्रूव फोटोज एंड वीडियोस, इनोवेटिव एआई जनरेटेड कंटेंट कैपेबिलिटीज एंड मोबाइल गेमिंग को एक बूस्ट विद फीचर्स लाइक हार्डवेयर बेस्ड रे ट्रेसिंग द स्नैपड्रैगन 8s Gen 3 आल्सो मेंटेन स्ट्रांग कनेक्टिविटी विद द लेटेस्ट 5G एंड वाईफाई 7 सपोर्ट द फर्स्ट वेव ऑफ स्मार्टफोन्स पावर्ड बाय दिस चिपसेट इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू लॉन्च लेटर दिस मंथ Infinix Mobility ने recently reveal किया the expanded lineup of the Note 40 series. The global launch brings a range of new models to the market, including the Infinix Note 40, Infinix Note 40 Pro, Infinix Note 40 Pro Plus 5G, and the Infinix Note 40 Pro 5G. ये sleek handsets boast करते हैं of MediaTek chipsets for powerful performance and offer lightning fast charging capabilities with up to 100 watts wired fast charging support. Infinix ने इंट्रोड्यूस किया इट्स न्यू वायरलेस मैग चार्ज सिस्टम विद द इनफिनिक्स मैग किट द मैग किट इंक्लूड्स अ मैग्नेटिक फोन केस अ मैग्नेटिक चार्जिंग पैड एंड अ मैग्नेटिक पावर बैंक फॉर कन्वीनियंट वायरलेस चार्जिंग Realme has expanded its smartphone offerings with the launch of the Narzo 70 Pro 5G in India. Priced from rupees eighteen thousand nine ninety nine, the phone boasts a powerful MediaTek Dimensity seven zero five zero chipset or a large five thousand mAh battery with sixty seven watt fast charging. Its unique rainwater smart touch feature allows for use even with wet hands. The Narzo seventy Pro five G sport karta hai a vibrant six point six seven inch AMOLED display with a hundred and twenty hertz refresh rate. It features a triple rear camera system headlined by a fifty megapixel Sony sensor with optical image stabilization. Available in glass green and glass gold, sales start March 22nd on Amazon.com and Realme's website. The highly anticipated Call of Duty Warzone Mobile is officially here. The first-person shooter is available here on Android and iOS after its initial console and PC Warzone release 
फोर ईयर्स अगो ध्यान रहे कि आपको डाउनलोड करने से पहले आपको एटलीस्ट एट टू टेन जी ऑफ स्पेस क्लियर करना ही होगा Unlike its predecessor Call of Duty Mobile, this title supports cross progression, syncing rewards, progress and even your battle pass across platforms. Warzone Mobile brings the iconic maps of Verdansk and Rivert Island to mobile. It features battle royale, multiplayer and unique mobile exclusive events. Expect smooth controls, customizable loadouts and adjustable graphics settings for optimized gameplay. फ्रेंड्स फॉर द टॉप स्टोरी ऑफ द वीक आई हैव गॉट दिस अब आपको देख के लगेगा कि व्हाट एग्जैक्टली इज दिस इज दिस अ स्मार्ट वॉच इज इट सम अदर काइंड ऑफ डिवाइस दैट आई पुट ऑन माय रिस्ट टू ट्रैक स्टफ वेल ये एक काफी इंटरेस्टिंग प्रोडक्ट है कमिंग स्ट्रेट फ्रॉम Samsung एंड दिस इज द ऑल न्यू Galaxy Fit 3 अब बेसिकली इट इज नॉट अ स्मार्ट वॉच स्मार्ट वॉच समथिंग लाइक द गैलेक्सी वॉच सीरीज जो हमको पता है इट इज रोल अ डिफरेंट लेवल ऑल टूगेदर मैंने फॉर एग्जांपल इस एप्पल वॉच को पहना है बट ये जो प्रोडक्ट है ये बहुत स्पेशल है बिकॉज इट डज मेजोरिटी ऑफ थिंग्स जो आप एक स्मार्ट वॉच में कर पाएंगे लेकिन एक अलग फॉर्म फैक्टर के साथ में काफी स्लीक इसका डिजाइन है इट्स क्वाइट अपडेटेड फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस फिट दैट वी नो अभी वॉट वी हैव इज अ कंप्लीट एल्यूमिनियम केसिंग काफी प्रीमियम में फील होता है द स्क्रीन इज नाउ वाइडर इट स्ट्रेचेज यू नो टू फोर सेंटीमीटर्स और आपको ये जो डिवाइस है जब इसको पहन लेते हैं तो काफी हल्का फुल्का रिस्ट पे फील होता है और एट द सेम टाइम दिस कैन ट्रैक मल्टीपल थिंग्स आपके ब्लड ऑक्सीजन से लेके आपकी नींद कैसी रही है हाउ मेनी स्टेप्स यू आर डूइंग इट कैन ट्रैक वेरियस डिफरेंट वर्कआउट्स आप यहाँ पे अपना स्ट्रेस लेवल देख सकते हैं बेसिकली आप समझ लीजिए कि एक छोटा सा फिटनेस बैंड आपने अपने रिस्ट पे पहना है बट ये जो बैंड है ये काफी स्मार्टली काम करता है द बेस्ट पार्ट कि यहाँ पे जो बैटरी है इट गोज अप टू थर्टीन डेज तो एक बार देखते हैं नो लेट्स हैव अ क्लोजर लुक दैट हाउ इज दिस गैलेक्सी फिट थ्री एंड क्या क्या ये फीचर्स लेके आता है वेल यू आर यूजिंग दिस attach to your wrist say hello to the all new samsung galaxy fit 3 a fitness tracker that wants you to feel your absolute best galaxy fit 3 boast karta hai ek wider screen jo pehle se 45% bada hai now you can check all those important health stats with even greater ease plus it aata hai with a sleek aluminum body and a super comfy fit so you look and feel great wearing it day and night and with 100 plus watch faces to choose from including your own photos ye watch ban sakti hai aapki perfect styling accessory staying on top of your health is a breeze with the galaxy fit 3 samsung knows sleep is key so the fit 3 monitors patterns and snoring giving you insights to level up your rest plus its awesome safety features like fall detection and emergency sos help me Make sure you're looked after. Or, ha! Huh, if you lose your phone, the Fit 3 can help you find it too. Think of the Galaxy Fit 3 as your super stylish health and wellness coach. It's packed with tools and features, which can help you to ditch your unhealthy habits. Could ditch kar sakte hain, get moving, and sleep like a champ. Plus, with an awesome battery, which up to 13 days can last for you, your new fitness buddy is always on the go with you. Now, friends, priced at just rupees four triple n, I would say this could be an option for people who don't need a bulky smart watch. Maybe they prefer wearing an analog watch, but at the same time, they need a light, full device that can track all their health data. So, I think this is a great answer. Battery runs for a long enough duration that you can use it without charge or tension. मौका मिलेगा एंड आई थिंक द वे द कंप्लीट डिवाइस बिहेव्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ बीइंग एबल टू यूज इट एज अ मीडिया कंट्रोलर आप कस्टमाइज कर सकते हैं वॉच फेसेस को तो आई वुड से दिस इज एन एसेंशियल फॉर एनीवन ट्राइंग टू गेट इनटू द फील्ड ऑफ फिटनेस और इसीलिए मैंने इसको पहन लिया है काफी हल्का फुल्का है और आपको पता भी चलता है कि आपने पहन रखा है बट द सेम टाइम दिस ट्रैक्स एवरीथिंग अब वैसे मुझे एवरीथिंग से याद आया ट्रैकिंग uh, की बात से इनफैक्ट याद आया गाइस डिड यू नो कि आप अब ट्रैक कर सकते हैं अबाउट योर कंट्रीब्यूशन टुवर्ड्स एन हेल्थियर एनवायरनमेंट बिकॉज अगर आप ऊबर यूज करते हैं तो आई एम श्योर आपको अभी पता होगा कि उसमें दिस एन ऑप्शन कि आप इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स को बुक कर सकते हैं इफ यू प्रेफर गोइंग सस्टेनेबल लेकिन अब यहां पे एक ऑप्शन आ गया है जहां पे आपको ऊबर दिखाता है कि आप क्या सेव कर रहे हैं कंपेयर टू अगर आप एक नॉर्मल व्हीकल में जाते हैं तो आप कितने कार्बन एमिशंस होने से रोक रहे हैं और वो आपको दिखाता है इन फॉर्म ऑफ ट्रीज 
बींग प्लांटेड तो कहीं ना कहीं ये एक अच्छी चीज़ है जहाँ पे यू कैन कीप ट्रैक ऑफ योर यू नो योर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन कि आप अपने डेली हैबिट्स में जब आप सुबह ऑफिस के लिए ऊबर ले रहे हैं जब आप शामों के बाहर जा रहे हैं अगर आप एक ई वी यूज़ करते हैं सो हाउ मच एसेंशली आर यू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग टूवर्ड्स द एनवायरमेंट दिस सर्विस इज लाइव नाउ इन मल्टीपल इंडियन सिटीज़ तो नेक्स्ट टाइम यू कैन ऊबर आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट कि अगर आप एक इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल यूज़ करते हैं इट विल kind of contribute towards the environment or you can clearly track in form of number of trees being planted so i'm sure normally we friends sometimes we see each other's uber ratings ki kisko kitne star mile hain kisi kitni rating hai so i'm sure going next this could be a thing that we all might track ki acha maine kitne trees ko plant kiya by going electric ya kaun aage jeet raha hai it's a nice thing did you know this if yes amazing if no प्लीज लेट मी नो यू नो द एड्रेस इट्स टी जी एट द रेट इन डी टी वी डॉट कॉम अभी टाइम है हमारे आगे बढ़ने का और देखने का कि वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज द नेक्स्ट गैजेट हम गुना शो केस इन दिस एपिसोड तो फ्रेंड्स नेक्स्ट आई हैव इज दिस शायरी न्यू डिवाइस कमिंग स्ट्रेट फ्रॉम द रियल मी फैक्ट्री दिस इज द ऑल न्यू रियल मी नार्जो सेवेंटी प्रो फाइव जी और मैं शाइनी क्यों बोल रहा हूँ बिकॉज सी ऑफ कोर्स इट शाइनी मतलब द वे इट लुक्स इवन द फ्रेम इज वेरी शाइनी एट द सेम टाइम दिस फोन रियली शाइन ब्राइट जब हम इसके फीचर्स को देखते हैं बिकॉज यहाँ पे काफी इंटरेस्टिंग चीज है रियल मी इज पैक्ट वॉट वी हैव इज अ सोनी एम एक्स एट नाइनटी सेंसर के साथ आने वाला फिफ्टी मेगा पिक्सल्स वाला प्राइमरी कैमरा दैट हैज ओ आई एस एट द सेम टाइम इन साइड द फोन इज रियली पैक्ट विद फीचर इन फैक्ट हम यहाँ पे अभी इस फोन में जेस्टर्स से इसको कंट्रोल कर सकते हैं बिकॉज दिस हैज गॉट समथिंग दैट रियल वी कॉल्स एयर जेस्टर्स सो अगर आप देखो इसको एंड हैव अ क्लोजर लुक अबाउट हाउ दिस रियल मी नार्जो सेवेंटी प्रो रियली इज आई वुड से वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग मिड रेन स्मार्टफोन कमिंग स्ट्रेट फ्रॉम रियल मी फाइनली Over Realme's latest hotshot, the Narzo 70 Pro 5G, finally India में लॉन्च हो गया है. This phone is packed with amazing features that will make you go wow. इस फोन में है एक रेन वाटर स्मार्ट टच फीचर. This means no more tensions about phone usage in a light drizzle. The powerful MediaTek Dimensity chipset lets you game, multitask, and do everything else at lightning speed. The 5000 mAh battery and SuperBook fast charging will get you back in action in no time. The phone's horizon glass design gives it a super premium head-turning look. Realme has kept it affordable. Narzo 70 Pro 5G starts at just rupees 18,999. You can grab it in stylish glass green and glass gold colors from March 22nd on Amazon and the Realme website. With its awesome display, camera and overall performance, the Realme Narzo 70 Pro 5G is a total paisa vasool deal. If you're looking for a smartphone that's powerful, stylish and affordable, this is it. Now friends, as I promised during each episode ki aapko milne wala hai bahut kuch in this tight duration. To abhi tak humne dekh liya hai about this Galaxy Fit 3, this all new Realme Narzo 70 Pro, but ब्रेक के बाद आई हैव गॉट सम अमेजिंग स्टफ फॉर यू बिकॉज आई एम गोना शेयर एन इंटरेस्टिंग टिप और आपके सवालों का जवाब देने वाला हूं राइट आफ्टर द शॉर्ट ब्रेक A stronger health system in a country can lead to better outcomes on the economic growth front. Congratulations to the Public Health Foundation of India, ranked second in a global list of schools of public health. Well, we are really talking about creating a healthy society. You can't have a population which is either sick or non-productive and expect the economy to really grow. Well, climate change is already bringing in. many health challenges to us in india we are going to be seeing for example non communicable diseases uh, because again uh, of heat as well as water stress we are going to see a lot more people having strokes heart attacks uh, kidney failure cancers some people say the metaverse will only be virtual one day this lecture hall will be made of code and driverless cars would be trapped in intersections but even in this maze of the future you can't wish away health it's time to become more resilient ten years of banega swast india we have grown and achieved so many milestones and now i have a plan to beat the urgency to stop breathing with difficulty to relieve getting choked with inactivity
energize our government, our environment, our society and ourselves. Everyone, everywhere, every day. Banega Swast India. One World Hygiene. A debate has many facets. Perhaps no one right answer. Left, right and centre. Conversations that get to the core of the debate. सबसे शानदार कवरेज तरफ एनडी टीवी पर फ्रेंड्स इट्स टाइम नाउ फॉर माय फेवरेट सेक्शन अबाउट दिस एपिसोड बिकॉज हम हमेशा जब क्यूएनए की बात करते हैं सो आस्क टीजी इज द थिंग जो मुझे बहुत पसंद आती है बिकॉज आई गेट टू आंसर ऑल योर क्वेश्चन सो लेट्स सी इस हफ्ते हमारे पास में क्या क्या क्वेश्चन है Okay, so you have asked that आपको जानना है which is the better device between OnePlus 12 and Xiaomi 14 in terms of camera and performance. So let me get this straight. In terms of camera. Xiaomi might jump slightly ahead of the OnePlus 12, not by a huge margin, but like let's say slightly ahead. But if I were to recommend you an overall good product in terms of camera performance, software, you know, like everything combined, I would recommend OnePlus 12 over the Xiaomi. Considering Xiaomi uh, doesn't have that kind of brand value in that premium segment. OnePlus, you know, has been there for a long time now. Or OnePlus 12 is an amazing smartphone overall. If you combine, especially the clean experience of Oxygen OS, yeah, even the camera is fantastic. Xiaomi 14 थोड़ा थोड़ा आगे निकल जाता है, but overall, I would say OnePlus 12 would be a better pick. I mean, pretty simple. If you have access to your mobile phone number, and अगर आपको वहाँ पे SMS की access है, और अगर आपने वो number अपने account में add किया है, it's pretty simple. You just uh, go to the password reset options, और जो आपको OTP आपके phone पे आ रहा है, that security code, just enter that, and Google should let you reset your password. So just use a different device to log in. Pop in your SIM card, एक दूसरे phone में, जहाँ पे अगर आपको SMS दिख रहे हैं आते हुए, those SMS coming into your phone, maybe you can borrow someone's phone and family. और उसके बाद में आप Google पे जब log in करने जाएंगे, if you follow the instructions, it might guide you. Hello friends, welcome back from the break to your favorite show, Gadgets 360 with Technil Guruji. My name is Gaurav, aka Technil Guruji. And I'm going to give you a very interesting tech tip, which can be a lot of work. In fact, it might save you lots of money as well. You have noticed that if you are watching your TV or maybe you are watching your laptop screen or maybe your computer screen, you will see dead pixels there. Sometimes there are a few pixels which are black and they are looking at a dot on your screen. Well, sometimes this could be an issue coming straight from our mistakes. जहाँ तक बात है, maybe a new product under warranty, if you get any such issue, definitely must be repaired या replaced, you know, as per the brand's policies. But अगर हम बात करते हैं टेलीविजन की, जहाँ पे we sometimes use these devices for years and years, तो हमें अगर कुछ एक habit को change करना हो, तो वो habit ये हो सकती है कि हम लंबे time तक जब हम उस device को use नहीं कर रहे हैं, तो उसको off कर दें। 
Sometimes you might have seen that computers idle अपने screen पे होते हैं, just showing their basic wallpaper और वो घंटों घंटों on रहते हैं, on standby. What happens is अगर ये जो pixels हैं, ये एक लंबे time तक एक constant same image को दिखा रहे हैं और they are constantly being on, तो ये burn हो सकते हैं, which ends up in getting these pixels as dead ones और वो आपको screen पे काली dot की तरह दिखाई देते हैं। तो ensure कि जब भी आप अपने किसी device को use करते हैं, be it your TV या be it your computer monitor, तो उसको idle ना छोड़े लंबे time तक especially use a wallpaper or use something जो dynamically content को change करता है otherwise you might get into this issue और फिर उसके बाद में sometimes repairing या replacements के जो options हैं वो काफी costly हो सकते हैं so just make sure that you use them with this thing in mind और आप लंबे समय तक अपने उन devices को use कर पाएंगे Friends, it's time now for my favorite section about this episode because हम हमेशा जब Q&A की बात करते हैं, so ask TG is the thing जो मुझे बहुत पसंद आती है because I get to answer all your questions. So let's see इस हफ्ते हमारे पास में क्या-क्या questions हैं। Hi TG, which is the better phone between OnePlus 12 and Xiaomi 14? In terms of camera and performance. Okay, so you have asked that you have to know which is the better device between OnePlus 12 and Xiaomi 14 in terms of camera and performance. So let me get this straight. In terms of camera, Xiaomi might jump slightly ahead of the OnePlus 12. Not by a huge margin, but like let's say slightly ahead. But if I were to recommend you an overall good product in terms of camera, performance, software, you know, like everything combined, I would recommend OnePlus 12 over the Xiaomi. Considering Xiaomi uh, doesn't have the kind of brand value in that premium segment. OnePlus, you know, has been there for a long time now. Or OnePlus 12 is an amazing smartphone overall. If you combine especially the clean experience of Oxygen OS, yeah, even the camera is fantastic. Xiaomi 14 thoda thoda aage nikal jata hai, but overall, I would say OnePlus 12 would be a better pick. I mean, pretty simple. If you have access to your mobile phone number and if you have access to your mobile phone number and if you have access to your mobile phone number and if you have access to your mobile phone number and if you have access to your mobile phone number, you just go to the password reset options and what you have to do with your phone number, that security code, just enter that and Google should let you reset your password. So just use a different device to log in, pop in your SIM card in another phone where if you are showing SMS, those SMS coming into your phone, maybe you can borrow someone's phone and family and after that, when you log in to Google, if you follow the instructions, if you follow the instructions, it might guide you that your phone is going to come to OTP, that security code of Google and easily you can reset your password. Is there any app that can connect with one phone with 5-6 speakers? Can you connect your phones? If you want to connect 5 to 6 speakers or earphones, well, I'm not sure what you are up to if you want to set up a party scene all together. So definitely, you won't be able to do this with any app. There are a few phones that support multiple Bluetooth devices, but where I have seen it, it's limited to only two. That you can connect two earphones or two speakers via Bluetooth. Alternatively, what you can use is, there are multiple splitters. So it's a hardware device which you attach to your phone. And there you can get as an output multiple 3.5mm jacks. So you can connect multiple wired speakers or earphones or something. You can try if your phone supports that. Otherwise, sadly, there isn't an app जिस ऐप की मदद से आप पांच या छह ईयरफोन्स या स्पीकर्स को अपने फोन से कनेक्ट कर पाएंगे। But हाँ, there's one solution if you really want that कि if you try getting speakers from the same brand, like for example Sony और JBL and their models which are compatible with each other, तो आप उन स्पीकर्स को आपस में कनेक्ट कर सकते हैं। That is an option, but not from the phone. वो स्पीकर्स आपस में कनेक्ट होंगे एंड यू कैन एसेंशियली प्ले द सेम थिंग इन दो स्पीकर्स कुड बी एप्पल्स होम पॉड कुड बी दो जेबीएल और सोनी स्पीकर्स मार्शल स्पीकर्स इन फैक्ट तो वो हो जाते हैं सैडली नॉट फ्रॉम द फोन थैंक यू जी कैसे पता चलता है कि एक फोन क्लासिक या विंटेज बनेगा 
क्या आप भी फोन्स कलेक्ट करते हो वेल डेफिनेटली आई कलेक्ट लॉट्स ऑफ फोन्स इन यू नो माय कलेक्शन मेरे पास में बहुत सारे फोन्स हैं एंड स्पीकिंग ऑफ कि पता कैसे चलता है सो so आपको देखना होता है कि व्हाट इज दैट स्पेशल फीचर जो वो फोन लेके आ रहा है इज इट द फर्स्ट वन इज इट द लास्ट वन या कुछ ऐसा आइकॉनिक है क्या उस फोन के साथ में फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू लुक एट द फर्स्ट आई फोन वेल इट्स आइकॉनिक एंड इट होल्ड्स इमेंस वैल्यू अगर हम बात करते हैं नोकिया की तो नोकिया 808 जीरो एट प्योर व्यू इट वॉज द फोन दैट केम विद 41 वन मेगा पिक्सल्स कैमरा फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम इट इज डेफिनेटली आइकॉनिक और मे बी द नोकिया लुमिया 1020 अगेन वेरी आइकॉनिक फोन अगर हम सैमसंग की बात करते हैं सो लेट से द सैमसंग मेट्रिक्स फोन जो एक मूवी में भी यूज हुआ था और मे बी द फर्स्ट सैमसंग फोल्ड फोन लाइक फोल्ड पांच आ चुके हैं बट द फर्स्ट वन इज डेफिनेटली द मोस्ट आइकॉनिक सो हमको देखना होता है कि क्या फोन लेके आ रहा है नया But if it's a generic smartphone, for example, the phone that we covered today, the Narzo 70 Pro, अब वो फोन मार्केट में एक लौता नहीं है. There are multiple phones similar to that one, so वो कभी भी कलेक्टर्स फोन नहीं बनेगा. But maybe tomorrow if Apple comes up with a phone जो कि एक फोल्डिंग आईफोन हो, तो फ्यूचर में उसकी वैल्यू होगी. So हमको देखना होता है कि वो फोन में क्या नया है या क्या स्पेशल है, जिसकी वजह से वो एक कलेक्टर्स फोन बन पाएगा इन फ्यूचर. So friends, that's it from this week's episode of your favorite show around gadgets, the Gadget 360 with Technical Guruji show. And I'm sure आपको बहुत मजा आएगा हर हफ्ते की तरह because मैं हर बार कुछ न कुछ नया लेके आता हूँ. And if you have to say anything to me, if you want to deliver any message, if you want to ask your questions, in सभी के लिए you know the address. It's pretty simple. It's tg at the rate ndtv.com. तो आप लिख डालिए अपनी emails में अपनी सारी प्यार भरी बातें. Maybe it's a suggestion, maybe it's a query, or maybe it's a feedback. और मैं आपसे मिलता हूं नेक्स्ट वीक विद सम इवन मोर अमेजिंग गैजेट्स एंड ऑल दिस इंफॉर्मेशन पैक्ड इनटू अ फ्रेश एपिसोड ऑफ द सेम शो अभी के लिए इतना ही हैव अ गुड डे हमारा स्ट्रॉगर हेल्थ सिस्टम इन अ कंट्री कैन लीड टू बेटर आउटकम्स ऑन द इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ फ्रंट Congratulations to the Public Health Foundation of India, ranked second in a global list of schools of public health. Well, we are really talking about creating a healthy society. You can't have a population which is either sick or non-productive and expect the economy to really grow. Well, climate change is already bringing in many health challenges to us in India. We are going to be seeing, for example, non-communicable diseases. Uh, because again uh, of heat as well as water stress we're going to see a lot more people having strokes heart attacks uh, kidney failure cancers chief justice dy chandrachur ndtv big exclusive we provide justice to common citizens and there is no case which is too small even for the highest court of the nation cgi ka kaam karne ka alag andaaz sometimes i get emails even in the middle of the night and i'm always available to answer those emails 25 crore final judgments and orders this data is available online as on 29 february 2024 3.09 crore cases have been heard on video conferencing mode chief justice chandrachur se judi ansuni baatein 3:30 baje subah mera din shuru ho jata hai my best friend who is my wife kalpana both of us are vegans khabron mein aapka bharosa ndtv So friends, next I have is this uh, shiny new device coming straight from the Realme factory. This is the all new Realme Narzo 70 Pro 5G. और मैं shiny क्यों बोल रहा हूँ? Because see, of course it's shiny. मतलब the way it looks, even the frame is very shiny. At the same time, this phone really shines bright. जब हम इसके features को देखते हैं, because यहाँ पे काफी interesting चीजें Realme has packed. What we have is a Sony AMX 890 sensor के साथ आने वाला 50 megapixels. वाला प्राइमरी कैमरा दैट हैज ओ आई एस एट द सेम टाइम इन साइड द फोन इज रियली पैक विद फीचर्स इन फैक्ट हम यहां पे अभी इस फोन में जेस्टर से इसको कंट्रोल कर सकते हैं बिकॉज दिस हैज गॉट समथिंग दैट रियल बी कॉल्स एयर जेस्टर्स सो अगर आप देखो इसको एंड हैव अ क्लोजर लुक अबाउट हाउ दिस रियल मी नार्जो सेवेंटी प्रो रियली इज आई वुड से वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग मिड रेंज स्मार्टफोन कमिंग स्ट्रेट फ्रॉम रियल मी फाइनली द वेट इज ओवर रियल मी इज लेटेस्ट हॉट शॉट नार्जो सेवेंटी प्रो फाइव 
5G finally India mein launch ho gaya hai. This phone is packed with amazing features that will make you go wow. Is phone mein hai ek rainwater smart touch feature. This means no more tensions about phone usage in a light drizzle. The powerful MediaTek Dimensity chipset lets you game, multitask and do everything else at lightning speed. The 5000 mAh battery and SuperBook fast charging will get you back in action in no time. The phone's horizon glass design gives it a super premium head-turning look. Realme has kept it affordable. Narzo 70 Pro 5G starts at just rupees 18,999. You can grab it in stylish glass green and glass gold colors from March 22nd on Amazon and the Realme website. With its awesome display, camera and overall performance, the Realme Narzo 70 Pro 5G is a total paisa vasool deal. If you're looking for a smartphone that's powerful, stylish and affordable, this is it. party makes big claims atishi says liquor policy money went to bjp it's up versus bjp now protests in the national capital following kejriwal's arrest opposition moves to uh, election commission they say india uh in fact the india block slams government over arrest they say uh they tell ec to curb it and ed bjp says is kejriwal above the law of land brs leader k kavita's custody ends today she will be produced at the rouse avenue court shortly A fresh setback for Congress in Himachal Pradesh. Three independent MLAs have resigned and will likely join the BJP. BJP Legislative Party in Himachal is in huddle. Chief Minister Sukhu accuses BJP of luring MLAs. At least 60 are killed in Moscow in a terror attack. Islamic State claims responsibility for the Moscow attack. US says had warned Russia earlier this month PM Modi condemns the heinous terror attack It was all yellow at Chepak as Chennai Super Kings began their IPL title defense with a six wicket victory against Royal Challengers Bangalore Welcome here's our top story Gujarat BJP MP has withdrawn his candidacy Rajan Bhatt won't contest the Lok Sabha poll uh, the Vadodara MP has cited personal reasons for withdrawing from the poll race um I I have uh, my colleague uh, Maria Shakil on the phone line for more on this story Maria uh the polls are drawing close what was that urgency what was that personal reason that led ranjan bhat to withdraw from contesting okay so rika uh, vadodara bjp mp ranjan bhat has declined uh, to contest uh, despite the party uh, repeating her ticket uh, she has taken to social media posts and said that she is not willing to contest because of personal reasons In fact uh, there was a section of local cadres who were opposing her con- candidacy that's one development and uh, news just also coming in that another bjp candidate this one is bhikaji thakur from sabar uh, so from uh, sabar kantha uh, has announced again on social media that he is not willing to contest the lok sabha polls due to personal uh, reasons uh, remember the party had fielded him replacing a city mp uh, so these are the two developments that has happened in the last mm-hmm. some time there is a sense within the bjp in gujarat 
because they had uh, you know maxed their performance they had won all 25 uh, lok sabha seats that the state offers they do not want to take any chance with a chance with the state unit if they if uh, certain candidates are being opposed by the state um, this is also coming at a time that uh, two uh, bjp candidates both of whom uh, whose names figured in the first list had withdrawn remember bjp mp upendra singh rawat withdrew his candidature from barabanki mm-hmm. um, seat in uttar pradesh after his alleged obscene video um, had gone viral and then there was also pavan singh who had withdrawn from the race from the asansol lok sabha seat and both these candidates uh, figured in the first list of candidates that the bjp had announced Hi, thank you very much, Maria, for joining us with that story. Now, on to the uh, big story that is uh, brewing in the capital. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal was uh, sent to seven-day custody by the Enforcement Directorate. Kejriwal was produced in the Rouse Avenue Court in Delhi yesterday, and uh, where the probe agency uh, requested for 10-day custody. Meanwhile, the big, big story today is that Delhi Minister Atishi has said that till date, no money trail has been found with any AAP leader. At a press conference in Delhi, Atishi insisted that Enforcement Directorate added Delhi Chief Minister the AAP Supremo on the basis of one person's testimony, Sharat Chandra Reddy, who she alleges got bail after changing his statement. Atishi further alleged that the money in the liquor scum scam actually did not go to AAP but went to BJP via electoral bonds. She said Reddy donated 4.5 crore uh, rupees worth bonds to BJP and not to AAP. Listen in to all the allegations on uh, the ruling party. Keshara Chandra Reddy and Obindo Pharma ka Malik, APL Healthcare ka Malik, Yujia Pharma ka Malik, शराब का कारोबारी उसने साढ़े चार करोड़ रुपए के इलेक्टोरल बॉन्ड्स दिए एक्साइज पॉलिसी के बनने के दौरान भारतीय जनता पार्टी को उसके बाद गिरफ्तार होने के बाद पचपन करोड़ रुपए के इलेक्टोरल बॉन्ड्स दिए भारतीय जनता पार्टी को पहली बार एक्साइज पॉलिसी के मामले में आधिकारिक मनी ट्रेल सामने आ गया है और यह मनी ट्रेल सीधा शराब के कारोबारियों से भारतीय जनता पार्टी के बैंक अकाउंट में गया है जिस व्यक्ति के ऊपर इतनी बड़ी इल्जाम लगी हुई है मैं मानता हूं कि नैतिकता के आधार पर उन्हें अपना पद छोड़ना चाहिए अब स्पष्ट हो गया है कि आम आदमी पार्टी पूर्ण रूप से कुर्सी की दौड़ में है जनता की दौड़ में नहीं है। देर आर प्रोटेस्ट टेकिंग प्लेस इन सेवल पार्ट ऑफ द नेशनल कैपिटल माई कॉलीग इशिका इज इन वन सच प्रोटेस्ट साइट भगवंत मान इज ऑल्सो देर प्रोटेस्टिंग अलॉन्ग विद सेवरल आम आदमी पार्टी लीडर्स इशिका टेलास वॉट इज द सिचुएशन ऑन ग्राउंड आई बिलीव Uh, most of the top leadership of AAP, uh, they are down there and they are protesting. Well, yes, you know, currently I am present at the Shahidi Park where the Aam Aadmi Party today was holding its Sankalp Yatra, which was being held by the Punjab Chief Minister, you know, uh, Bhagwant Maan and many, you know, many big leaders of the Aam Aadmi Party, be it the cabinet ministers in the Delhi government or be it the cabinet ministers in the Punjab government, all of them were present here today. Just a few minutes ago, Bhagwant Maan, the Punjab Chief Minister, left from here. He but you can see that these are the workers of the Aam Aadmi Party that continue to be here. They say, you know, that they are not scared of anything. And in fact, you know, uh, uh, Arvind Kejriwal, they do trust that he has done nothing wrong and he will be out, of, you know, out from there soon. But uh, certainly, you know, as you rightly said, we also heard Cabinet Minister Atishi while addressing a press conference, she, she made this big statement, big claim that, in fact, 
but till today, you know, there has been no money trail that has been found by the enforcement directorate. But, you know, yesterday also we heard in the court that ED has said that it had, in fact, you know, established uh, the, uh, the, in fact, you know, uh, the uh, Goa elections, how, uh, you know, money was used for funding Goa elections. They have already traced that and that has been proved not just via mere statements, but also via, you know, the call records. But certainly what we are seeing here on the ground, you can even hear how they continue to raise slogans. The political drama here in the national capital after Arvind Kejriwal has been sent to the ED custody, it continues to intensify. Let me tell you that the Aadmi Party for the coming days has planned a series of protests and door-to-door -door campaigns as well. They believe after this they will, you know, they will get a lot of mass support from the people, from the residents of Delhi itself. Over to you. Thank you very much, Ishika. So there are separate protests happening in different parts of the national capital. My colleague Shubhang is also at a protest site where BJP separately is protesting. Let's listen into what uh, Shubhang has to say. Well, right now I'm at Raj Ghat and I'm trying to show you the visual that you can see here BJP is protesting against the corruption that have been done by the Aam Aadmi Party. Well, uh, some of the senior leaders from Aam Aadmi Party like Dr. Harsh Vardhan, uh, BJP MP candidate Praveen Khandelpal, and uh, Delhi President Vilkas Deva, uh, BJP President Vilkas Deva, as you can see, he's arriving right now over there. Well, uh, they are definitely staging a protest today, a strong protest against the Aam Aadmi Party. Well, uh, we are also trying to show the visuals as they also offered prayers at the Raj Ghat. Well, all of them went inside the Raj Ghat and offered prayers, uh, see, uh, making the sankalp for, against the... Uh, the free against the corruption that is being made in the, you know, uh, in the uh, by the Amani party and the Arvind Kejriwal. This comes after the ED has arrested Arvind Kejriwal in this entire matter. We have some of the, you know, workers of BJP. Let's try to uh, show the visuals and also try to talk to them. Chaman Bhardu Aaj. ये क्या लगता है आप लोगों को कि आम आदमी पार्टी कितना करप्शन कर रही है कि आप आज अपनी आवाज उठा रहे हैं जो बहाने खड़ी हैं अरविंद केजरीवाल जी एक ईमानदारी के नाम पर जो बहाने दिल्ली की जनता का ठगी करके आए हैं उनसे निवेदन है आज उनकी पोल खुली है क्योंकि शुरू से ही वो कट्टर ईमानदारी गिना जा रहा है दिल्ली में सबसे बड़े बेईमान नेताओं की गिनती में केजरीवाल का नाम सुमार हो चुका है क्या लगता है आपको कि क्या बीजेपी दिल्ली में अच्छा काम करता है कि हमारे पास इससे ज्यादा देखो दिल्ली की आप केंद्र की सरकार देखो मोदी की योजनाएं देखो नीचे गरीब गरीब से लेके ऊपर तक व्यापारी तक देखो सभी तक कल्याण उसमें हो रहा है विकास का काम उसमें हो रहा है भाजपा का यकीन आ रहा है सबका सबका साथ सबका विकास और दिल्ली में अगर दिल्ली भारतीय जनता पार्टी की पंद्रह जो दस साल से सरकार है केजरीवाल ने सिर्फ दिल्ली को ठगने के अलावा इस ठगने कुछ नहीं किया है अभी तक जी तो देखिए सी एज यू कैन कैन शो यू एज यू कैन सी द विजुअल्स दे हैव बीन पोस्टर्स एंड बैनर्स व्हिच आर स्टेटिंग वर्सेस आर केजरी वाल शर्मा जी के सामने खड़े हैं जो फोटो ले रहे हैं अभी किस बार लोग हैं एंड बीजेपी वर्कर्स आर स्टेजिंग टेस्ट जस्ट ऑन द of the Raj Ghat. Well, these are the visuals coming and this is a strong protest from the BJP against the, uh, you know, against the Amal Party and Kejubal. Thank you very much. Now, the Supreme Court has refused to grant any relief to BRS leader K. Kavita, who was arrested by the ED. She will be produced in the court today. In fact, uh, she has been taken in right now. Kavita was arrested in connection with the Delhi excise policy case and asked to approach trial court for bail. The ED claims that Kavita conspired with top Aam Aadmi Party leaders, including the party Supremo and Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal and former Minister Manish Sishodia to get favours in Delhi liquor policy by paying 100 crore rupees to the political party. Kavita has refuted the allegations and has termed ED's actions against her as illegal. My colleague Ashwarya Jain uh, joins me for more on this story. Uh, Ashwarya, uh, Kavita has been taken into the court. What is going to, what is ED going to ask the court today? Well, enforcement directorate certainly is uh, going to seek more custody in uh, 
of K Kavita as uh, it was stated by the by a enforcement director yesterday that uh, it is uh, uh, Arvind Kejriwal and other Amadmi Party leaders who were in touch with uh, the South group which was headed by K Kavita and for the reason after the arrest uh, uh, of K Kavita it is confrontation that needs to be done although K Kavita and Arvind Kejriwal and other accused have been arrested in the case so far has called this arrest illegal and uh, uh, they have stated that the money trail that enforcement directorate has been presenting in front of uh, the court is completely um, un, uh, illegal uh, as per uh, as far as uh, uh, no cash recovery has been done and this is just hypothetical in nature although it is uh, enforcement directorate who had established the money trail but uh, uh, and stated that uh, more confrontations more uh, uh, uh more uh, uh you know uh, uh, confrontation in terms of uh, the statements which have been recorded and also uh, they have to present uh, um, and then record statements in terms of the digital evidences that they have acquired so far so more custody needs to be taken all remember in case of ke kavita already 7 days of custody had been granted earlier by the court yesterday ke kavita reached supreme court but uh, the plea was dismissed as stated by the supreme court that they have mm. to reach again through to the trial court to get some sort of uh, relief today it depends mm. uh, ke kavita is already produced in the court and it depends on the judge that whether custody is being granted or more custody will be given to the enforcement directorate thank you very much ashwarya for joining us with all those details with that a quick break on the show more on the other side stay tuned Hello, Moto. Motorola, India's best 5G smartphone brand. friends this is what i have for the next one because yahan pe this sleek looking laptop coming straight from apple is the latest generation of macbook air or yahan pe what sparked inside is apple's new m3 chip now to ye apple ne finally launch kar diya hai and what's amazing is that look at this profile matlab kitna sleek aapko laptop milta hai at the same time it packs some amazing performance yahan pe apple ki latest m3 chip hai it's a fanless design that's the reason ki kafi aapko sleek milne wala hai quite lightweight and this in fact is the 15 inch variant jiska 13 inch variant hai wo thoda sa aur zyada chhota aur aapko halka feel hota hai it's you know even more portable at the same time it packs some serious power because yahan pe jo memory hai it goes up to 24 gb the storage can go up to 2 terabytes hamare paas mein proper MagSafe port है, we have a headphone jack as well. At the same time, यहाँ पे USB-C ports भी हैं. We have a full-size keyboard, a nice 15-inch screen, in a very sleek form factor. And this packs a six-speaker system as well. So let's see up close how is this Apple's latest MacBook Air with M3 chip. The beloved MacBook Air just got a super power upgrade with the brand new. M3 chip ready ho jaiye for blazing fast speeds longer battery life and mind blowing AI capabilities Apple claim karta hai ki the M3 chip is up to 60% faster than the already speedy M1 chip imagine kariye ki editing videos creating music or even casually crushing your enemies in an intense game the laptop kafi aasani se ye sab kar hi sakta hai no sweat Apple promise karta hai whopping 18 hours of battery life on a single charge that's almost a full day of work और एक्चुअली इवन प्ले बिना किसी पावर आउटलेट की जरूरत पड़े टॉक अबाउट फ्रीडम द न्यू न्यूरल इंजन मेक्स दिस द बेस्ट मैकबुक एयर येट फॉर ए आई टास्क एज वेल थिंक अबाउट सुपर इंटेलिजेंट फोटो एडिटिंग एंड मच मोर यू कैन ऑल्सो नाउ हुकअप टू एक्सटर्नल डिस्प्लेस परफेक्ट फॉर दोज हू नीड अ बिग स्क्रीन वर्क स्पेस लाइक फॉर एडिटिंग एंड ऑल द मैकबुक एयर एम थ्री इज ए स्लीक पावरफुल एंड अनडिनाइबली कूल वे टू कंप्यूट ऑन द गो If you're looking for a laptop that's as light as air but packs a serious punch, it's time to catch this upgrade. Uh, friends, is new MacBook Air के आने के बाद दो interesting बातें हुई हैं. पहली बात तो ये कि हमको एक नया MacBook मिल गया है with M3 chip, the MacBook Air. यहाँ पे दो अलग-अलग size हैं. This one in particular, the 15-inch variant, starts at one lakh thirty-four thousand nine hundred rupees. But 
the second thing is even more exciting because Apple has reduced the price for the 13 inch variant क्योंकि अगर आप 13 इंच का M2 चिप वाला MacBook Air अब लेते हैं तो उसकी प्राइस 20,000 रुपए कम हो गई है and now you can get it at just 99,900 रुपीस so basically the lineup for the MacBook Air M1 chip भी है M2 chip भी है and this is the latest M3 chip you can choose basis of your requirements or your budget and I would say all these laptops they are really good because Apple Silicon ke saath mein, the kind of optimization Apple has done in terms of performance, battery, you know, the entire experience, it's really elevated. So if you prefer laptop lena prefer karte hai, let's say for college or maybe even for professional work, I would say this would be a really good pick. This show isn't just about news from the southern states. It's one that looks at the rest of India and the world from a diverse South India point of view. Because NDTV has always taken the southern view seriously. The Southern View with Veera Raghav, only on NDTV 24-7. news now at least 60 people have been killed after gunmen attacked a packed concert venue on the outskirts of Moscow according to reports more than 100 were wounded at the Crocus City Hall the Islamic State uh, group has claimed that it can down the attack. dramatic video shows panicked concert goers taking cover as shots and explosions rung out a large fire had engulfed the roof of the complex and Russia's National Guard is searching for the gunmen who, have, who are yet to be identified. The U.S. has said that it warned Russian authorities earlier in March about an attack possibly targeting large gatherings in Moscow. The U.S. also warned Americans to avoid large gatherings. We have RT correspondent Shea Bowes joining us who is on the ground giving us details. Uh, to cut to the chase, Shay, uh, what are the latest details as to uh, have the authorities detained anyone, have they questioned anyone in the recent uh, one or two hours, in the last one or two hours and what about this five or six odd men who stormed the concert hall and they killed so many people, have they been traced? Yeah, well, as of now, we still have no update as to the whereabouts of the attackers here at the City Hall, just in the northwest of Moscow. Uh, we're getting different reports coming in about the number of casualties right now. We know it's been 60 and 80 have been killed, sadly, men, women and children uh, killed behind me at this 6,000 seat venue, a very popular venue uh, on the outskirts of Moscow, still in the city of Moscow, uh, a, a city of many, many millions of people, of course. And of course, the theatre, a very popular activity. Uh, this is a band, a band called Picnic, very popular with uh, young audiences. And that's reflected in the tragic death toll, uh, men, women, and now the Russian children's ombudsman has confirmed that children are sadly among those that have been killed. As of now, we have had not had any confirmation from the Russian authorities me, as to who is responsible for this. We have seen some stories reported that uh, anonymous sources in the United States have suggested that it was ISIS. Uh, but they haven't officially confirmed that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the Russian investigators uh, committee have uh, opened an investigation, but as of yet, we're still on the wiser from the Russian side as to who's been responsible for this. Okay, those are pictures of the Ahmadmi Party protest in the capital and as you can see, uh, Punjab Chief Minister Bhagwant Man is also a part of the protest. The Ahmadmi Party has been protesting. Arvind Kejriwal, 
तो जो भी प्रचार करेगा वो अरविंद केजरीवाल की सोच का ही करेगा तो हम एक मैं साथ दिखता था इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि मैं अकेला साथ था करोड़ों लाखों और भी केजरीवाल है देश में हर उम्मीदवार केजरीवाल होगा हर वॉलंटियर केजरीवाल होगा रब मेरी औखे कमा तो जो भी ला दूंगा और शायद रब न पता कि मैं औखे कम कर लेना करा पार्टी के ऑफिस की तरफ मार्च करेंगे शहीद आजम भगत सिंह राजगुरु सुखदेव को श्रद्धांजलि देके हम उनको याद करेंगे और उनकी उनकी सोच को बचाने के लिए भगत सिंह की सोच ये थी कि मुझे कोई शक नहीं कि आजादी मिलेगी या ना आजादी तो मिलेगी लेकिन मुझे डर इस बात का है कि आजादी के बाद देश कौन से हाथों में जाएगा और आज डर पूरा सही साबित हो गया भगत सिंह का ये लोग आ गए ये लोग डिक्टेटरशिप करते हैं किसी के एमएलए खरीद लो किसी की सरकार तोड़ दो किसी राज्यसभा में खरीद लो कहीं लोकसभा में खरीद लो विधानसभा में खरीद लो ये खरीदो फरोखत वाला भाई सब काम देश में बंद होना चाहिए लोकतंत्र को बचाना है कौम को कबीलों में मत बांटिए लंबे सफर को नीलों में मत बांटिए एक बेहतर दरिया है मेरा भारत देश इसको नदियों और झीलों में मत बांटिए और एक और एक अरविंद केजरीवाल जी के लिए बोल रहा हूँ चार लाइन में कि हकूमत वो करते हैं जिनका दिलों पर राज होता है हकूमत वो करते हैं जिनका दिलों पर राज होता है यू कहने को तो मुर्गे के सर पर भी ताज होता है There's too much talking, but very little being said. Too many voices, but hardly any being heard. You turn to a show that puts you front and center. A show that headlines the stories of the people, by the people, for the people. Tracking की बात से in fact यार and pledge for inclusive. क्योंकि जो नहीं किया आज तक वही तो करना है समर्थ बाहुन रहे मंजिल उनकी साथ हमारे that you know we are having a lot of balanced meals or a lot of food throughout the day but unfortunately look at the pattern that has changed you might feel that you are eating a lot but basically you are not getting all the food requirements that your body is basically needing so unless and until you are eating right getting the right supplements and getting yourself checked you are deficient in some nutrients so that's that's something which needs to be checked on a regular basis My journey of insurance and investments began at the same time when I invested in LIC Seep. In this fast moving world, Seep can balance your funds with security and growth. Seep will take care of the ups and downs of the market and will give you fruitful results so that you enjoy the ride. And when Seep is with you, you can soar high. LIC's unit linked insurance plan Seep offers savings and protection so that you can soar high in your life. LIC, har pal aapke saath. What routine do you follow for good oral health? I try to brush my teeth at least after every major meal that I have. Brush करो time पे. Every time you have coffee or anything, just try to cleanse your palate. I have braces, so I have to like I mouthwash thrice, I brush three thrice. I brush twice a day and thrice a week I go for mouthwash and deep cleansing. कूल फैंस के स्टाइलिश डिजाइन से घर की शान बढ़ाएं। कूल फैंस जो दे आधी बिजली में ज्यादा हवा कम आवाज की है कूल फैंस स्मार्ट भी स्टाइलिश भी
मिर्ची सुनने वाले ऑलवेज खुश क्या भैया जी वाह भैया जी गेट इजी बिजनेस लोन फ्रॉम पूना वाला फिन और पहुंचो क्या से वह तक फॉर बेस्ट लोन ऑफर्स डाउनलोड द मोबाइल ऐप नाउ सीधा घर में घुसे है रईस भाई वेलकम घर रूमटा स्टील से बनाया होता तो रईस यहाँ से नहीं आ पाता रूमटा स्टील